Welcome to Dreams of Europe, where we bring to you a 540-minute report on the winning journey of Lance Grenabo as in the Swedish Cup, designed to lull you into sweet dreams of European play for your team. Brought to you by Odset. The teams are all set, and the Jorgarten and Landskrona kickoff is about to start. Players rush to their respective sides, sprinting up and down the pitch in anticipation. Jacob Whittle Zetterstrom streaks off from his goalpost to kick it away, while Armacadura readies himself to fend away any potential attacks. The ball sails through the air and comes strongly into the center of the field. A scramble quickly ensues with neither side able to gain clear possession. Eventually, Magnus Eriksson is able to break through and drive it right up towards goal with precision but Kadora is ready as ever and snatches it away at the last second. No goal was made here on this first shot of the game, leaving us at 0-0. Both teams press onward as they try to gain an advantage over one another. The whistle blows and the match between Jorgarden and Landskrona is underway. Jorgarden with the ball, looking to get things started. Piotr Johansson is on the ball and drives forward across the midfield. He attempts to send it upfield to Joel Asora, but Nicola Lodon is quick on the draw and intercepts it before playing it wide down the left flank. Camille Jabara is on it, looking to build up some momentum for Landskrona as he takes a powerful strike on goal. Aiming for the far left corner, Jacob Whittle Zetterstrom in goal commits his whole body towards the incoming shot, managing to get a hand to it, tipping it just above the crossbar. The crowd roar in awe as he maneuvers to keep their lead intact. Back in midfield Marcus Danielson has taken possession of the ball, sliding into a dangerous position just beyond defenders Kofi Fosuhin Asari and Emil Lindman who seem incredibly unaware of his presence at this stage. With beautiful finesse he manages to tap around both of them before gliding away from them with ease. His long pass soars towards Gustav Wickham who is eagerly waiting on the left flank but Philip Anderson leaps up and heads it away from danger. Both teams leave with nothing from that exchange. Jorgarden 0-0 Landskrona at half-time mark. As the first minute of the match begins, there is a palpable energy among the Jorgarden players, passionate shouts echoing and thunderous footsteps pounding across the pitch. Jorgarden left-back Marcus Danielson is in possession of the ball he boldly dribbles past a Landskrona defender and then releases an accurate through pass to Victor Edvardsson. The Jorgarden forward accelerates towards goal, looking to open up a scoring chance, but his attempt is blocked by Landskrona goalie Armakadura who dives low to make an outstanding save. The crowd erupts with applause. The game continues with several close calls for both sides, momentum teetering back and forth between them as they strive to find the opening goal dot but it's Landskrona midfielder Kofi Fosuhin Asari who stands out in this match with his stellar playmaking skills. Every time he gets hold of the ball, he never fails to pick out a perfect pass one moment dribbling away from defenders with ease, and in the very next second sending a pinpoint through ball slicing through crowded defenders and into open space for a teammate to run onto. Again and again Fosuhin Asari demonstrates his technical knowledge on the pitch, often leaving both team supporters in awe. As the first half of this exciting match winds down, neither team has been able to find that vital first goal. But as time runs out on this half, it's clear that a tightly contested match lies ahead for both teams in this exciting game. The referee starts play and the fans start cheering. Jorgarden initiates an attack with Hompus Findel making a strong run down the left flank, his pass to Joel Asoro is deflected and lands in the path of Gustav Wicken, who drives it just wide of the goal. Landskrona quickly counters and Usman Jawara powers towards goal but is foiled by a last-ditch tackle from Piotr Johansson. He collects a yellow card for his challenge. The crowd roars in appreciation at this thrilling display of defensive play. Magnus Eriksson leads a fast break but his shot narrowly misses past the post. Armakadura pulls off an impressive save to keep Landskrona in the game, diving at full stretch to deny Elias Anderson from close range. The crowd erupts in cheers as both teams fight for possession. Every move is met with wild enthusiasm from both sets of fans as they cheer for their respective sides. Spectators on their feet as your garden starts with a series of passes from the backline to their midfielders. Piotr Johansson seems to take command of the ball but is quickly taken out by Landskrona's Nikola Lodov. The challenge was hard but fair, the referee counting a foul for Landskrona and awarding your garden a free kick. Gustav Wickham strides forward to take it, 
when suddenly an amusing sight catches everyone's eye. Viktor Edvardsin is sprinting towards the goal, but he trips over his shoelaces. He looks up at the crowd with an embarrassed smile, prompting an outburst of laughter among fans. A joke comes to mind Q how many knees does Viktor need in order to score? A two left ones. The ball is with Lance Groner, who are patiently passing the ball back and forth between their midfielders. Edvardsson makes a quick pass to Asari, and he takes off down the right flank looking for an opening. But as he gets to the edge of the box, he is quickly cut off by Danielson. Lance Groner's attackers quickly shift downfield and Morris Gracia intercepts the ball in front of Jabara, clearing it back upfield for Jorgarden. Schler receives the ball and passes it to Wickham just outside the box. Wickham looks for an opportunity to shoot but is tackled just in time by Lindman. The game has slowed down considerably since the early goings, both teams seemingly content with maintaining possession without risking too much knowing an equalizer isn't required anytime soon. Both teams are playing tactical soccer and that reflects on this scoreless draw at minutes 4. It's been a tense seven minutes of play for your garden, who are doing their best to keep their composure under the watchful eye of Lance Groner. Piotr Johansson and Elias Anderson have done a great job at keeping the ball away from the Lions forwards and forcing them back into defense. The midfielders Rasmus Schler, Magnus Eriksson and Hompus Findel have had some luck with trying to power down the wings but have yet to really test Kadura in goal. The action has now shifted to the stadium which is a massive complex that was built back in 1950. It is filled with rows of stands staring down onto the turf of green beneath, towering blue walls line both sides, geometrical shaped roads between them lead up to well-respected facilities around it making this stadium a true spectacle. The ball is currently going from side to side in midfield as neither team can gain control yet. Possession switches continually until finally Joel Asora manages a through ball towards Gustav Wickham who sprints towards Kadura however he manages to read it perfectly and anticipate the ball which stops a sure goal for your garden. Both teams are still looking for an opening but so far no goals have been scored leaving us with the score at 0-0 after 7 minutes of play. On minute 9, we see Lance Groner's midfielder Ama Kadura make a spectacular through pass to forward Camille Jabara who slips away from the Jorgarden defense. But as he tries to make the shot, Jorgarden's defender Elias Anderson makes a crucial interception, preventing a probable goal. Both teams erupt in cheers as the defensive group of Elias pay off. Meanwhile, we can just admire the versatility of Elias Anderson on this match. Not only is he providing defensive coverage but his offensive capabilities are also highly impressive. We can see him moving down the midfield with an incredible agility and making some extraordinary passes even from far distances. Jurgarden's Victor Edvardsen attempts to break the deadlock, but his shot is blocked by Lance Groner's defenders. The ball trickles back to Jurgarden's goalkeeper Jacob Whittle Zetterstrom, who calmly passes it out to the midfield. The game has now slowed to a much slower pace with both teams are taking fewer risks as they try to find a way through their opponent's defenses. Both sides play cautiously, looking for openings to create chances for their attackers. Jurgarden's Magnus Eriksson and Herm Findel link up well in the midfield but can't find that elusive opening. On the opposite side of the pitch, Camille Jabara and Usman Jawara offer a direct outlet for Lance Groner but they have yet to make an impact in getting past Jorgarden's defensive wall. The first half ends without either side getting on the score sheet, so we head into half time with no goals yet scored and the score still 0 to 1 in favor of Jorgarden. The game has been relatively slow so far, with neither side dominating possession or being able to take control of the match. Your garden have had some good spells of play, but Lance Groner have done well to quell any potential attacks from their rivals. Lance Groner's defense has been particularly impressive, as Eric Hedenquist and Melka Jernsen have done extremely well to block any advances from the opposing team. The midfielders for both teams have also done a great job in keeping the ball moving, but both sides are struggling to break down the well-organized defensive lines. In the 11th minute, Viktor Edvardsen almost got through to Arma Kadera's goal but he was blocked by Melka Jernsen just in time. It was a beautiful piece of defending that stopped a certain goal. Both sides are looking for an opening and they're still looking for that decisive move that will unlock either team's defense. The crowd is on their feet waiting for the first goal of the match but it looks like this one is going to end scoreless. The match starts out with Lance Groner looking the more confident team, 
controlling the midfield through some crisp passes. However, Jurgarden soon show their ability to press and break up any Landskrona attack before it gets too dangerous. Jacob Widdle Zetterstrom is reacting well in goal for Jurgarden, gathering any loose balls in the area. Dot as the 13th minute rolls in, Landskrona have a decent spell of possession, but Jurgarden break it up once again. The game is starting to slow down now as both teams are feeling each other out and jostling for control. Nobody has had a clear shot on goal as yet, but it's been entertaining viewing nonetheless as both teams are trying different strategies to outbox each other. Both sides continue to keep it tight at the back, with no team having gained an advantage yet. The score remains 0-0 as we approach half-time but it promises to be an exciting second half ahead of us. Jurgarden injects a surge of energy into the match. Widdle Zetterstrom sends the ball deep into the field, and Warwick collects it and powers forward. He unleashes a blind pass to Asoro, who darts across the pitch and sets up an opportunity for advancing. He takes a scorching strike toward goal Kadura leaps up to try to snatch it away, but it's too powerful it's in the back of the net. Jorgarden takes the lead with a brilliant long-range shot. The crowd erupts as Jorgarden take a 1-0 advantage. The crowd is on their feet as Jorgarden advances into the opposition's half with Marcus Danielson making a cross-field pass to Victor Edvardsson, who jinks past a Landskrona defender to set up a dangerous attacking opportunity. Edvardsson whips in an inch-perfect cross, but the ball is blocked by Melka Jernsson at the very last second. The Landskrona defense stays vigilant as play resumes. Schler and Eriksson exchange passes in the midfield before Gustav Wickham slides the ball through for Asora to get a shot off from 20 yards out. The ball looks destined for goal, but Kadura in the Landskrona goal dives sharply to his left to grab hold of it. The crowd roars with appreciation at his fantastic reflex save. The referee just blew the whistle and Jorgarden break quickly on the counter. Elias Anderson starts the move with a pass to Victor Edvardsson, who then releases Gustav Wickham down the right flank. Wickham races up the pitch, and as he approaches Landskrona's last line of defense, he spots Magnus Eriksson overlapping, and plays a wonderfully weighted through ball for Magnus. Magnus takes a controlling touch and takes his shot at goal but it's blocked by Melka Jernsson. However, it looks like the referee may have skipped a clear foul from Jernsson as he raised both arms up to block Eriksson's shot. This could have been given but the referee looks adamant in his decision not to blow his whistle. The crowd isn't happy and rightfully so. Give them something to cheer about ref. There's a sudden flurry of activity in front of the Jorgarden goal post and both Elias Anderson and Marcus Danielson have made desperate attempts to keep the ball away from their box. The Landskrona players' pressure has been immense and they are making it really difficult for Jacob Widdle Zetterstrom to protect his goal. The midfielders are slowly claiming control of the ball and Kofi Fosahina Sari drives forward towards the Jorgarden box at full speed, only to be stopped by a well-timed tackle from Magnus Eriksson. Announcing his presence, Rasmus Schler chips the ball forward in an impressive curved pass that takes both Arma Kadura, keeper for Landskrona, and Philip Anderson off guard but there is no one able to take advantage of the excellent pass. The pitch is heating up, with energy levels rising among players on both sides as they compete ferociously for every inch, displaying expressions of fierce determination as they speak silently with their eyes on what appears to be a very evenly matched game. Nothing separates these two teams, yet, with the score remaining at 0-2 after 17 minutes played. The action has started to heat up on the pitch in this game between Jorgarden and Landskrona. Jacob Widdle Zetterstrom makes a great save in goal for Jorgarden. Piotr Johansson sprints forward with the ball and tries to get it past Arma Kadura, but the Landskrona goalkeeper is ready and dives in for the ball. The crowd roars with anticipation as both teams put great pressure on each other as they try to break the deadlock. Magnus Eriksson charges up from midfield carrying the ball, but he's stopped by Nikola Lodon of Landskrona who puts in a fantastic tackle that sends Eriksson's momentum flying back from whence he came. We hear thunderous cheers from fans of both team, a sign that this is going to be an epic battle. Jorgarden are looking to level it up, but dare finding it hard going against Landskrona's well-coordinated defense. They manage to string together some passes in the center of the pitch, connecting well through Magnus Eriksson and Rasmus Schler. Victor Edvardsson looks lively on the wing, as he drives forward on a great run with the ball at his feet. 
Just as he shapes up for a shot, Lanskron as Kofi Fosuhin Asari steps in to take possession, a brilliant piece of defending. Asari takes it forward in an instant, sending a long ball into Camille Jabara. He takes control of the ball at full speed and powers past the Jorgarden backline with amazing pace. With Jacob Whittle Zetterstrom standing in his way, Jabara unleashes an unstoppable left-footed strike that finds its way into the back of the net. It's 0-2 to, to Landskrona. The visiting fans erupt in joy as their side make their mark on this game with a brilliant goal. The ball is controlled by Jorgarden's Magnus Eriksson and he passes it to Viktor Edvardsson. Edvardsson skips past one defender and then, with a powerful strike from just outside the box, fires a shot towards Kadera's goal. The crowd erupts and cheers as the shot sails inches over the crossbar. Great effort from Edvardsson. Kudos to the crowd for their amazing support, it looks like all of Jorgarden's fans are here today to cheer on their team. Piotr Johansson then retrieves the ball and sends a long pass up field to Rasmus Schler who takes control of it before being pushed off by Landskrona's Camille Jabara. Schler manages to hold off Jabara, but his effort is blocked by Philip Anderson who smacks it out for a corner kick. Good defending there. The referee signals for a corner kick to be taken by Jorgarden, much to the delight of the crowd. The atmosphere is electric. The game is getting more intense now and Jorgarden is on the offensive. Jolasoro is pushing forward, dribbling past two Landskrona defenders, but his shot goes wide of the near post. He was close to giving his team the lead in this crucial match. Now, Marcus Danielson has just intercepted an attempted clearance by Landskrona and quickly gets the ball forward with a long pass out wide. Rasmus Schler takes it down and makes a brilliant burst of acceleration to get past his marker. He takes a shot but it's blocked by a defender what great anticipation and technique. This match has already shown off some great individual talent, particularly from young Elias Anderson. The 19-year-old defender for Jorgarden has been all over the pitch, displaying great defensive athleticism and skill on the ball whenever he gets possession. The game is becoming increasingly intense as we reach the 25th minute, with both teams fighting for possession as Jorgarden's attackers press for a goal. Landskrona keeper Ama Kadura shows good reflexes to catch a powerful shot from the feet of striker Joel Asora, a great show of athleticism and concentration from the keeper. The ball transitions quickly to the midfield where Nakola Lodon makes a crisp and accurate pass to Kofi Fosuhin Asari. Asari dribbles with purpose and speed down the right flank, evading an aggressive challenge from defender Piotr Johansson and delivering a looping cross right into the box. Keeper Jacob Whittle Zetterstrom reacts quickly and jumps up to collect the ball midair, showing off great reflexes yet again. The match is heating up as Jorgarden pushes forward for the opening score. Magnus Eriksson leads the charge to the penalty area, sending a powerful cross into the box. Joel Asura meets the delivery with a strong header towards goal, but Armakadura is alert between the posts and makes an impressive save. The referee clears a free kick just outside Landskrona's penalty area. Carlos Moros Gracia stands poised to take it, energetically taking his run up before sending an ambitious effort towards goal, only to see it sail narrowly over the bar. Landskrona breaks upfield on a swift counterattack as Usman Jawara floats a pinpoint pass to David Edvardsson near midfield, who turns outward and looks for an opening. Piotr Johansson slides in critically at opportune moment though and wins back possession for your garden dot down on the pitch, play is end to end on both sides, with each team fighting doggedly for every inch of ground, every moment of control. Their movements become blurred into one continuous action as they sprint down the length of either side of the field in pursuit of victory. Tackles fly in from all angles and shots rage from every imaginable range. The fans' chants fill up the stadium, invigorating and encouraging their teams as they continue their fight to rightful victory. Play is underway here in the 30th minute as Jorgarden and Landskrona battle for ball control. Jorgarden's Viktor Edvardsson makes a move to the right, getting past Melka Jernsson of Landskrona before passing the ball off to Rasmus Schler. Schler charges forward, drawing defenders in, but his ambitious shot goes just wide of the left post. The momentum shifts as Cameron Jabara from Landskrona comes charging into possession and passes it off to Adam Ignell. Ignell takes control and quickly accelerates toward the goal unfortunately, Jorgarden's Marcus Danielson cuts him off deftly and snatches the ball away. Despite repeated attempts from both teams, no goals have been scored score remains 0-3 with the outcome looking ever more uncertain. Unfortunately, 
the game is feeling a bit stagnant not much action has been seen in recent minutes, with neither team having any real edge over each other. Will either team be able to break away and take home the victory? Stay tuned, and find out. The ball is with your garden who are pressing the ball hard and looking to get an early goal. Rasmus Schlo passes it to Magnus Eriksson on the right flank who looks determined to make his presence felt in this match. He takes a shot at goal but it drifts off target by inches. The crowd erupts as Landskrona dodge a bullet. The Landskrona defenders slap each other's hands, clearly delighted with their defensive work. Jorgarden may have missed the shot but they're still putting up a strong fight as they continue attacking Landskrona's end of the pitch. The crowd can sense the excitement and is making their presence felt in this exciting match, chance of Jorgarden. Landskrona. Echo in the stadium. Game is still 0-0. The game is heating up as Landskrona's David Edvardsson puts up a valiant fight, trying to tear through the Jorgarden defense. He avoids a tackle from Elias Anderson and skips past Marcus Danielson with ease, but Piotr Johansson snatches the ball away just in time. Jorgarden's Gustav Wickham takes it up the field and has plenty of space ahead of him, but Eric Hedenquist cuts him off and clears the ball away. The crowd cheers as Magnus Eriksson retrieves the ball and effortlessly passes it to Joel Asora. The 20-year-old player is known for his extraordinary dribbling skills, and he shows them off here with ease, evading multiple players before setting Viktor Edvardsson up for a shot on goal. The attempt sails wide and the audience sighs in unison, disappointed at missing a chance to take an early lead. The teams are finally settling into a rhythm and the game is slowing down as Jorgarden and Landskrona cautiously move the ball around the pitch. Jorgarden is looking to control the midfield, but Landskrona's dog determination has kept them in contention. Elias Anderson breaks up a promising attack by Landskrona, clearing the ball out of defense. It's Magus Eriksson who takes possession, quickly passing it on to Viktor Edvardsson. Edvardsson passes the ball on to Joel Asora who tries to squeeze through Landskrona's defense only to be intercepted by Melka Jernsson. Jernsson makes a great pass in turn to Kofi Fosuhina Sari on the right wing who does his best to find an opening for a shot, to little avail, however, as Jacob Whittle Zetterstrom is there to stop it and make a save for Jorgarden. Score still 0-0. Landskrona on the offensive now, with a lightning fast play by Kofi Fosuhina Sari. He dodges his way past three Jorgarden defenders, and finds himself in front of goalkeeper Jacob Whittle Zetterstrom. Fosuhina Sari takes a shot but it sails just wide of the goal, an incredible miss. Jorgarden fans are relieved and the Landskrona supporters are dismayed. There's not been much to criticize either team for thus far, but Marcus Danielson's sloppy footwork has been noticeable throughout the first half. Hell need to step up his game if he wants to be able to keep up with Landskrona's attack in the second half. The ball is now advancing towards Jorgarden's Marcus Danielson who is driving it down the center of the pitch. He passes it to Magnus Eriksson who is then quickly outnumbered by Landskrona's midfield. Eriksson manages to keep the ball and pass it back to Danielson then on to Elias Anderson. It looks like Danielson will have his shot at the goal from outside of the box. He takes a shot and Kadura, Landskrona's goalkeeper, dives for an incredible save. It's electric on the pitch as Jorgarden's Viktor Edvardsson roams around waiting for a second chance opportunity. He puts in effort as he runs up and down during his shift, always looking lively and alert, a remarkable example of dedication that sets him apart from others on the field. Now Edvardsson is sprinting away with the ball while getting pressure of defenders from Landskrona's back line. He has a few seconds to make something happen. The action at Gamla Alivi Stadium is heating up. A through pass from Schla finds Wickham who takes a powerful shot on goal. Kadura dives for the save and makes the stop, keeping it scoreless at 0-0. But Jorgarden isn't giving up. Midfielder Magnus Eriksson plants himself in front of the keeper, setting up a dangerous header opportunity for Joel Asora. It's off his forehead and headed for the upper corner. Unbelievable save from Kadura who gets a firm hand on it to keep it out of the net. Landskrona breathes a sigh of relief as we remain scoreless. The intensity is palpable on both sides, both teams making offensive runs down the pitch. It's Edvardsson garnering possession and taking it into Jorgarden's half but Elias Anderson slides in with an aggressive tackle, dispossessing him of the ball. 
Jorgarden immediately try to launch and attack themselves but Lindman makes a crucial intercept, keeping them out of their box. We are still at 0-0 with only minutes to go until halftime. This is surely going to be an exciting second half. The game has reached a critical moment as Landskrona's midfielder Kofi Fosuhina Sari picks up the ball in a dangerous area and heads towards goal. The Jorgarden defenders brace themselves, but Asari quickly passes the ball to forward Usman Jawara. The defender Marcus Danielson is hot on his heels and right in front of goal, Jawara takes a shot, but his efforts are blocked by Jacob Whittle Zetterstrom in goal for Jorgarden. What real agility by the goalkeeper. Speaking of which, did you know that back when he was just 17 years old, Whittle Zetterstrom traveled to England with dreams of playing for top Premier League sides such as Arsenal and Manchester United. He soon joined their prestigious academies and it's no wonder that he's playing like an ace here tonight. Jorgarden is controlling the ball in their half as the crowd cheers for Landskrona. Victor Edvardsen passes to Gustav Wickham who launches the ball into midfield but it doesn't make it very far. Landskrona chants as Philip Anderson pick up to ball and breaks away from his marker but he loses control of the ball and Jorgarden take back possession. Marcus Danielson collects the ball in defense and starts advancing downfield, drawing in two opponents with his skillful dribbling. He sends a tremendous pass to Joel Asura but he can't keep a hold of it and Landskrona's Ama Kadura claims it with ease. Kofi Fosuhina Sari has been putting on an impressive performance so far and he is at it again as he turns his marker inside out before making a clever pass to Usman Jawara in the box, who is denied by Jacob Whittle Zetterstrom's excellent save. The crowd erupts with every close attempt on goal and both sides are giving their all in this exciting match. Jorgarden is pushing deep into Landskrona's half of the pitch with a steely determination. Piotr Johansson takes the ball and flicks it to Viktor Edvardsen who sprints down the left wing. He finds Rasmus Schuller at the edge of the box and his swift pass to Magnus Eriksson sends him through on goal. Eriksson unleashes a rocket shot that looked sure to find its way into the back of the night, but Amakadura dives full length to make an incredible save as the stadium erupts in deafening cheers. The Jorgarden supporters are absolutely elated by this titanic effort from their players and urge them forward with shouts of encouragement. Meanwhile across the pitch, Kamil Jabara is weaving his way through midfield towards Jorgarden's goal mouth but is quickly intercepted by Marcus Danielson. The stands thunder as all eyes are fixed on Danielson as he dribbles upfield before spotting bright orange shirts at his disposal, Gustav Wickham and Joel Asora break free and casually make their way up the right flank. Asura surges past a hapless defender, taking control of the ball just outside Landskrona's box and competently finds Wickham who in turn tackles a dummy run by Elias Anderson who's positioned just inside shooting range from goal. This game is tightly contested and exciting, never failing to excite and delight. Both teams approach this stage of play with equal measure of intensity looking for an opportunity to secure themselves advantage with a solid strike at goal any minute now. The stadium encapsulates all these thrills, its architecture providing an elevated perch overlooking an immaculate green field which these two sides venture, clash and strive upon. Conduit lights fill up both short ends looming above hoardings advertising sponsorships whilst flags drape along tiers laden with passionate spectators passionately cheering on their team giving it their all. Your garden is now aggressive in attack, with midfielder Rasmus Schler making a run into the penalty area, and Victor Edvardsen trying to cut back to the far post. Lance Sprona is able to prevent any serious danger though, as goalkeeper Ama Kadura rushes off his line to clear the danger. The crowd cheer every move of their team, as they look for an individual moment of brilliance from one of their players. Now it's Lance Sprona on the ball, and Nicola Lodon receives a pass from defender Emil Lindman. He drives forward with the ball but is unable to find his way into the penalty box. Jorgarden regains possession and this time it's Magnus Eriksson on the ball. He looks up, searching for an option forward. A pass is sent towards Gustav Wickham but it's intercepted by Kofi Fosuhina Sari who clears the ball away from danger. Jorgarden have possession of the ball and make an aggressive push towards the Landskrona goal. Joel Asora makes a break down the right wing, but his pass is intercepted by Emil Lindman. Lindman attempts to carry the ball out of defense, but Elias Anderson closes down quickly putting pressure on him. The crowd is roaring as Valhalla Stadium sees a fast-paced and tactical battle between these two sides. But just as Eli tosses the ball upfield to start a counter-attack, he gets caught on the ankle by Adam Ednell's challenge. He limps off, signaling for some help from the medical staff, 
with your garden having to make an early substitution to replace him in this crucial matchup. As we approach the 45th minute of play, your garden is making a last push to get on the board, but Landskrona's midfield appears to be shuttering any chance of that. Landskrona is controlling possession and taking the offensive, managing a few dangerous long-distance shots from outside the box. In contrast, your garden is struggling to get on the ball in their final third and looks for space between the fullbacks. The near-capacity crowd here at the National Stadium is electric with anticipation as both teams battle it out in their half of the field. Neither side has been able to create much of a scoring opportunity but the close passes and aggressive play in the midfield more than makes up for that. The scoreboard still reads 0-0 and Therese no telling how this match will end as we enter stoppage time. The game has been intense, with both sides showing their very best in a battle of possession on the pitch. Jorgarden made several attempts to secure the lead, with goalkeeper Jacob Whittle Zetterstrom and defenders Elias Anderson, Marcus Danielson, Carlos Moros Gracia, Piotr Johansson putting on a strong defensive performance to thwart any advances from the opposition. Midfielders Rasmus Schler and Magnus Eriksson continue to move the ball swiftly down the pitch with fullback Hompus Findel assisting in build-up play. Despite some decent runs from forwards Victor Edvardsson, Joel Asora, and Gustav Wicken, none of them could break through the Landskrona defence guarded by Arma Kadura in goal. Philip Anderson, Eric Hedenquist, Melka Jensen and Emil Lindman are relentless in their efforts to keep your garden at bay. Midfielders Nicola Lodon and David Edvardsson are pivotal in controlling the middle of the pitch while Adam Ignell and Koki Fosuhina Sari help maintain pressure on their opponents. Up front Camille Jabbar and Usman Jawar have looked dangerous but yet unable to breach the Your Garden defence line leading us into half-time with an 0-3 scoreline in favour of Landskrona. Live from the pitch in Stockholm, we're now deep into the second half of this exciting soccer match between Your Garden and Landskrona. The score remains 0-3 as neither team manages to breach the net yet. Jurgarden's players Zetterstrom, Anderson, Danielson, Morris Gracia, Johansson, Schler, Findel have been giving it their all, but so far have been bested by Landskrona's Arma Kadura in goal and Hedenquist, Jensen, Lindman, Lodon in defence. Jurgarden's forward Victor Edvardsson takes control of the ball and dribbles it up pith but is stopped short by Asari from Landskrona who is showing superior defence from his midfield post. Edvardsson tries again and a Lindman of Landskrona makes a dive for the ball but both players miss their marker leaving the ball free and rolling up to Landskrona's Jabara who takes a daring shot at goal. Whittle dives for the ball just inches away from making it a save it's just not enough as Landskrona extends their lead to 0-4. The ball is back in play and your garden with possession now. Dare looking to get the ball towards Victor Edvardsson, but Landskrona's defense is pressing hard, scrambling to keep control of the ball. Marcus Danielson wins the ball and passes it to Elias Anderson and he passes it straight back again. Now they've got eyes on goal and Dare pushing forward, Landskrona hurriedly regrouping Magnus Eriksson fires a pass forward but it's just out of reach for Gustav Wickham and the keeper can take possession easily. The crowd trying to lift your garden as if sensing their disappointment and frustration. Landskrona look to mount further pressure, driving upfield towards Jorgarden's penalty box. Kofi Fosuhina Sari attempts a shot from outside of the box but Jacob Whittle Zetterstrom dives quickly to block it, preventing any damage from being done. We're approaching the last 20 minutes of play now, but despite both teams' efforts this has been an uneventful affair so far, with no goal scored yet. Both sides are going through the same routine battling for possession then losing it, trying to keep defensive shape then being picked apart with hopeful passes, running out of ideas as they approach the danger zones in their opponent's half. It's tedious watching every time they go through this process without any results getting produced at either end, your garden have found themselves stuck in a footballing rut since Landskrona took a comfortable three-goal lead earlier in the game. The whistle blows and Landskrona is on the attack. Jawara takes the ball down the right side, dodging past Danielson and Gracia while Olsen attempts to keep up. He looks up and crosses it into Jabara in the box, but Whittle Zetterstrom dives to make an impressive save. The crowd roars with delight. Now Jorgarden regains possession. Wickham and Findel combine on a nice 1-2 pass before Wickham finds Asora with a through ball and just as he is about to take a shot, Hedenquist makes a critical interception. 
Landskrona rushes upfield looking for another goal and Lindman goes for a long shot from distance that sails over the crossbar. The sun beats down from above, reflecting off the well-manicured pitch. The temperature is slowly rising as a light breeze runs across the stadium. It's going to be hot out here for another hour at least. The game has been intense in this second half as your garden strive to close the three-goal gap created by Landskrona in the first half. Their goalkeeper, Jacob Whittle Zetterstrom is proving his worth as he pulls off a brilliant save from an attempted shot from Kofi Fosuhinasari, who had been working hard to penetrate the defense. Marcus Danielson has been an impressive contributor on the field for your garden today, showcasing his talent with some nifty passing moves and taking some outstanding shots on goal which just missed out by inches. As he runs across the left side of the pitch, he launches yet another arrow of a shot forcing Arma Kadura to fully stretch himself and make an expert save. The tempo of the game is increasing as we approach the final stretch, and both teams are pushing for that elusive go-ahead goal. Your Garden have the ball at their feet and are trying to break through Landskrona's defensive line Marcus Danielson with a cross from the left-hand side and Gustav Wickham connecting with a header, but Arma Kadura is quick to make the save. Kadura passes it on to Philp Anderson, who kicks it deep. Crowd roaring and on their feet as Jawara surges forward with unparalleled speed in an attempt to bring the ball back towards Jorgarden's danger zone. The pressure is building for both teams, as this could be their last chance for a breakthrough. Landskrona pushing for the fourth goal here. Sending in a long ball from midfield to Usman Jawara and the Landskrona forward takes the ball away from his marker and into the Jorgarden box. He holds off the defender, looks up to spot Kofi Fosuhinasari cutting inside, but at the last second Elias Anderson slides in to make a crucial interception. Great defending by Jorgarden to keep this scoreline intact. A quick foray forward by Jorgarden as Gustav Wickham speeds down the right flank, outpacing two opponents and firing in a low cross trying to find Victor Edvardsen in the center of the box. But Emil Lindman is there again with another vital intervention, this time managing to get ahead of his man and clear it away. At the moment we are seeing great energy level on both sides of the field. The pitch is rocky with several small hills due windy weather conditions over past few days, making it difficult for players to find their footing at times. On this day though, we're getting one heck of a game. Landskrona not willing to settle for just three goals, as they continue probing forward through midfield looking for an opening in Jorgarden's defense. Here comes Nicola Lodon on a swift run down the wing, he shoots. But his effort sails well above goalkeeper Jacob Whittle Zetterstrom's outstretched arms and inches wide of the post. Well wide of target there from Leyden's boot. The players of your garden have picked up momentum in this second half, dominating possession and pressing the Landskrona defensive line with some clever runs from forwards Gustav Wickham, Victor Edvardsen and midfielders Rasmus Schler and Magnus Eriksson. Landskrona seek to hold their ground and keep the lead but they cannot match up to the pressure being exerted by Jorgarden. Landskrona goalkeeper Arma Kadura is doing his best to deny an equalizer, producing a series of stunning saves to retain the three-goal cushion. Emphatic vocal support rings out from the stands as Jorgarden's Joel Asora races down the flank, negotiating two players and beating them in a dazzling dribble run that brings the crowd to its feet. An electrifying moment on the pitch, Landskrona's Kofi Fosuhina Sari certainly has proven himself worthy of captaincy today. He has been a rock in storms for Landskrona's defense all game long and has come up with some impressive tackles. Your Garden are in attack again, applying intense pressure on the Landskrona defense. Midfielder Magnus Eriksson steps up, winning a hard-fought tackle and taking the lead as his teammates follows up. He passes to forward Gustav Wickham who quickly breaks through to the box but trips on an awkward touch. Arma Kadura, Landskrona goalkeeper, makes a timely move and calmly blocks the shot with an expertly placed hand. Eriksson stands back and watches with admiration, this is something he has become quite used to of his teammate's tenacity as one of the senior players on the team at just 22 years old. He has really come into his own during this match and is sure to excel in future games as well. Fans cheer for both sides for a highly entertaining game so far despite neither team managing to break the deadlock yet. It definitely looks like it could go either way. The whistle blows, and play resumes. Your garden pressing forward with a vengeance, 
their forwards making quick, swift interchanges and looking for an elusive goal. Piotr Johansson leads the charge as Lance Krona's defense drop back, every man doing their part to retain the lead. The crowd is enthralled as the ball moves from one end of the pitch to another in an unrelenting surge of passing and movement. Magnus Eriksson drives for the box, but an amazing save from Landskrona's keeper Kadura denies him a goal. The crow erupts in cheers for both teams as they put on a show of brilliant soccer. Jurgarden are still applying heavy pressure but their defense is holding strong, no goals just yet. The ball is kicking off from the center of the pitch, where Magnus Eriksson for Jorgarden receives it. He's quickly looking for a teammate to pass it to, and finds Viktor Edvardsson with a well-timed ball. Edvardsson takes a few steps forward before sending a cross in the Landskrona's direction, which Arma Kadura bravely intercepts with a diving save. Kadura quickly redirects the ball to the midfielders, Nicholas Lodon and Adam Ignell exchange several passes as they build up their attack play. Emmanuel Lindman picks up speed and makes his way towards the opposing side of the field where he stops on a dime to avoid two defenders who were attempting to force him out of bounds. The crowd erupts when Lindman then plays an amazing through ball for Usman Jawara who nearly gets away with what would have been an incredible solo run leading to an incredible goal. However, Jurgarden defender Marcus Danielson reads the play brilliantly and is able to make a last-minute slide tackle to keep Landskrona from scoring. After 54 minutes in this hard-fought match nobody has scored yet. Jurgarden's Piotr Johansson steps up to challenge Landskrona's Usman Jawara and both players go down in a heap. Referee blows the whistle and quickly awards a free kick to Jurgarden. Jurgarden players are up in arms as they think it should have been the other way round, but the referee is standing firm with his decision. Magnus Eriksson takes the free kick, but it is blocked by Philip Anderson and cleared away. The Landskrona players rush forward on the counter-attack, with Kofi Fosuhinasari leading from midfield. He threads a perfect through ball to Camille Jabara who looks set to receive, but out of nowhere, came a fantastic last-ditch challenge from Piotr Johansson that sees the ball go out for a throw-in. Brilliant defending. The referee does have a point to prove though, his decisions seem to be favoring your garden far too much today, let's see how he handles things going forward. And we kick off for the second half. Lance Krona have a potential goal but Jacob Whittle Zetterstrom throws himself in the way and makes a spectacular save. The crowd goes wild. What a sight to see. Now it's your garden with possession on their own half. Victor Edvardsson collects the ball in the midfielder, dribbling his way up the pitch while shielding off Kofi Fosuhi Masari. He fires off a shot from just outside of box though, how unlucky. It goes wide of the post. Lance Krona takes over with some quick passing through David Edvardsson and Usman Jawara who manages to take it into Jurgarden's side of the box and heaves a shot which is blocked by Elias Anderson. The crowd is engaged in Therese and electric atmosphere in the air tonight. Let's see what these two teams can conjure up for us next. Piotr Johansson bites deep into midfield, passing off to Magnus Eriksson at the edge of the box. He shoots but Armakadura is on hand and makes a terrific reflex save to deny the Jurgarden midfielder. Lance Krona break quickly, Melka Jernson passes to Camille Jabara who runs at full velocity up the right side before sending a superb cross in towards Usman Jawara, waiting in front of goal, only for his shot to be blocked by an incredible dive from Whittle Zetterstra. The crowd are roaring as both teams battle back and forth with great energy, dodging tackles and making daring runs forward. Elias Anderson slides in with a tackle that catches Adam Ignell off guard it's a tough challenge but one that the referee allows to go on. Nevertheless, both teams are playing great football with none managing to convert their chances into goals so far. Jurgarden is pushing up the pitch, energized by the possibility of a goal to get back in the game. Magnus Eriksson has the ball in midfield, but is quickly challenged by Kofi Fosuhinasari. Magnus pulls away and passes it forward to Viktor Edvardsson, who quickly thread the ball forward to Joel Asoro on the right wing. Joel passes it forward and Piotr Johansson sends in a shot from close range. Arma Kadura dives across the goal mouth and makes a brilliant save, dominating his box and keeping Jurgarden scoreless. A joke about one of the players? Ochu's main Jawara might be extremely superstitious before every game he cleans his boots six times, throws salt three times over his shoulders, and ties five double knots on his laces before taking them off again and putting them back on four times.
The Jorgarden team is playing with a high tempo surge of energy in these last few minutes, pressing hard to get something on the board. Landskrona's defense has held strong, but it looks like they could be feeling the pressure as Viktor Edvardsson regains possession. He's weaving through the midfielders, and he plays it forward to Joel Asora. Asora moves it up the pitch to Gustav Wickham, but Philip Anderson stays close in defense and blocks his attack. The ball is given away back to Landskrona's control. Kofi Fosuhin Asari leads the charge upfield, passes it over to Usman Jawara and he's straight towards goal. He shoots for the top left-hand corner, but Jacob Whittle Zetterstrom manages to leap up and make an acrobatic save with just one hand. That was extraordinary from Jorgarden's goalkeeper. The game is getting more intense by the minute as both sides ramp up their intensity in the second half. Every move they make is calculated and controlled, no team wants to give anything away cheaply. The stadium crowd roars with every pass and shot attempt, cheering on either side depending on who's in possession. The score still remains 0 to 3, so your garden will be fighting until the very last second if they hope to get something out of this match. Your garden has possession now with Piotr Johansson doing much of the work in midfield. He looks to release forward Gustav Wickham with a cross-field pass, but it's intercepted by Landskrona's Kofi Fosuhin Asari. The midfielder is quickly tackled by Marcus Danielson who knocks the ball out of play for a throw-in. Referee gives it to Landskrona and the game continues. The referee should have rewarded your garden for their hard work here as it was a clear foul from Fosuhin Asari and should have been awarded a free kick. Big missed call from the referee. The Jorgarden midfielders are fighting hard to gain possession of the ball as they strive to break the Landskrona defense. Elias Anderson is leading the attack with strong determination and skillful footwork. He spins around the defender and passes it to Magnus Eriksson who continues his run up the pitch. The crowd inside Stockholm's impressive friends arena erupts in applause as their team looks to take an advantaged lead. Meanwhile, Amakadura is keeping his goal safe as he accurately blocks shots made from beyond the box. The players from both teams are swiftly switching from defense to attack as each side looks for that all-important breakthrough. On the left side, Joel Asora has managed to keep control of the ball and break through two defenders with a perfect cross he sends it towards Gustav Wickham just outside the six-yard box. The striker has a full view of goal but his shot is deflected away by a brave clearance from defender Philip Anderson. The game carries on with unrelenting excitement and energy. The arena buzzes with anticipation as both teams look to get ahead on the scoreline while successfully defending at their own end of the field. With close to only 20 minutes left in regulation time, Landskrona will be looking to keep its 3-0 lead intact until full time whilst your garden presses forward in hope of salvaging something from this contest. Your garden is controlling possession and the pace of the game with a majority of their players on the team pushing forward. Elias Anderson leads the attack with a wide pass to Gustav Wickham. Wickham controlled the ball down in stride, but his shot is blocked by Melka Jernsen of Landskrona. Jernsen takes control of the ball and sends a long pass to Adam Ednell who quickly dribbles towards Jorgarden's goal, only to be denied by Jacob Whittle Zetterstrom who dives to make an incredible save. Outstanding reflexes from Zetterstrom keep Landskrona from breaking through. The Jorgarden team is pushing with full force, working together to control the ball and make their way towards Landskrona's goal mouth. Marcus Danielson is regulating the midfield well, confidently intercepting passes and clearing the ball away to safety. Suddenly, Elias Anderson takes off on a run down the right flank, sending a well-placed cross into Gustav Wickham who surges into action and cracks a shot off at Kadura in nets. However, Kadura is up to the challenge as he dives low and palmed the ball away from danger. Moments later on the other side of the pitch, Landskrona counterattacks in an attempt to capitalize on the windfall chance. With Kofi Fosuhin Asari leading the push forward, he dribbles toward Jacob Whittle Zetterstrom with lightning speed and sends an unparalleled strike that could have been a game changer. Fortunately for Jorgarden, Zetterstrom was able to parry away what could have been a surefire goal. The intensity of this game continues to rise as neither team seems to be slowing down anytime soon. Both teams are battling fiercely for supremacy on the pitch but so far neither team had recorded any goals. It remains 0-3 in favor of your garden as we head into stoppage time here at Stockholm. Landskrona's Philip Anderson attempts to make a pass to Kofi Fosuhin Asari, but your garden defender Marcus Danielson quickly intervenes and intercepts it. 
Danielson quickly passes the ball off to Rasmus Schler, who starts running down the pitch with possession. Schler is pursued by Adam Ignell of Landskrona, but the Jorgarden midfielder manages to keep Ignell at bay. Schler continues downfield and tries to find Gustav Wickham in the box with a pass, but it's blocked at the last minute by Hedenquist of Landskrona who makes an excellent defensive play. The ball is now back in Landskrona's possession and they look to mount a counterattack. Usman Jawara receives the ball and passes it off to Jabara who attempts a shot on goal, but Jacob Whittle Zetterstrom is quick on his feet and makes an impressive save. The crowd cheers wildly as the score remains 0-3. Your garden take possession of the ball and move it up the flank, with Gustav Wickham dangerously dashing into the box in search of a goal. Landskrona's Kofi Fosahina Sari is hot on his tail, closing in and pushing Wickham back as he passes through. The crowd at the stadium rises to their feet in suspense, hoping for a goal but it isn't to be. Your garden turn away, passing the ball between Marcus Danielson and Piotr Johansson, working it upfield. Landskrona regather possession and send David Edvardsson on a cutting run through centerfield. Cheers from both sides of the stands as fans revel in his skillful footwork. But again, no result from their combined efforts the score remains 0-3 as we enter minute 80. Jurgarden's Jacob Whittle Zetterstrom clears the ball away from their goal zone to midfield. Elias Anderson takes possession of the ball and passes to Rasmus Schler who is moving up quickly on the right flank. Schler swiftly moves up and takes a shot at Landskrona's goal but Arma Kadura is there to make a save. Kadura kicks the ball out wide, but Landskrona can't recover it in time, allowing Jorgarden to swarm back in and regain control of midfield. The teams are contesting for possession in midfield, pushing each other back and forth as they jockey for the upper hand. Jorgarden's attack proves too strong for Landskrona as Gustav Wickham fires off a shot towards goal, only for Kadura to make another miraculous save and deny them a goal yet again. The whistle is blown and the match comes to an end with your garden victorious with a score of 0 to 3. As the clock ticks down, your garden are pushing hard for a late goal, but Landskrona are digging deep to keep them at bay. Magnuson Eriksson plays a long pass to Joel Asora who breaks away near the penalty area. He goes for the shot looking to snatch a point for his team but Armakadura smothers his effort. Landskrona break away from their defensive stance to launch a counter-attack. Kofi Fosuhina Sari knocks an electrifying pass towards Usman Jawara who takes it in stride and takes it upfield. Jurgarden's defenders mobilize quickly to close down the play, and an intense battle commences on the edge of the box. Marcus Danielson slides in with an exceptional tackle right as Jawara is about to shoot he manages to dispossess him of the ball, sparking wild cheers from Jurgarden fans. What an incredible defensive performance. The heat of this match is rising as both teams make every effort to break this 0-3 deadlock. The ball is currently in Landskrona's possession and David Edvardsson is in control of it. He's weaving amongst a few defenders, showing great skill and accuracy to avoid being tackled. All of a sudden, he takes it on the outside and passes it off to Camille Jabara who is ready to take the shot but Jacob Whittle Zetterstrom comes out of nowhere and dives into an amazing save. Q how often does Gustav Wickham score goals? A 99 of people would say rarely, but after all he has 9 lives. Your garden defending fiercely now they win the ball back in their own half and try to build an attack. Probing passes are being fired in between the midfield and attacking line as they search for gaps in Landskrona's defense. Danielson drawing attention from both Lindman and Hedenquist now, quickly shifting the ball off to Wickham who turns and sprints upfield. Wickham finds Findel running on the far side, but his pass is intercepted by Fosuhina Sari, who clears out for Landskrona. Kadura immediately launches a long through ball over Jorgarden's defense for Jawara who is just about offside as he races towards goal. Widdle Zetterstrom is alert and rushes out to collect the ball safely gathering it in his grasp with a confident dive. The home team, Jorgarden, can almost feel the pressure as the final minutes of the game are ticking away. The crowd is roaring, senses a comeback and urging them on. But Victor Edvardsson's shot is blocked by Landskrona keeper Arma Kadura as he dives to his right to make the save. The ball goes back towards midfield where Melka Jernsson collects and starts a counter-attack. He finds midfielder Kofi Fosuhina Sari who makes some powerful runs with the ball. Magnus Eriksson from Jorgarden puts on fierce pressure but Asari manages to hold him off until he reaches the penalty box. 
but he can't find any pass options before Elias Anderson steps in to interfere and clear the ball for safety for Jorgarden. The crowd cheers in appreciation. The score remains 0-3 with two minutes left in the game and Lance Sprona looks set to take all three points home. The ball is still in play and Jorgarden are pushing hard for a goal, their spirits not dampened by the three-goal disadvantage. Defender Piotr Johansson lunges aggressively up the left side of the pitch, inching closer to Lance Krona's goal. He sends a hopeful pass across the box, looking for striker Gustav Wicken. But Lance Krona midfielder David Edvardsson has different planche steps in and cleanly intercepts, averting the attack. Boos erupt from the Jorgarden stands. An anecdote shining through Edvardsson hasn't been camera shy throughout this match, his calm confidence evident on each cleared ball and attempted pass. He's been an unyielding asset to Ledskrona's defensive line all game long and looks ready to help them slip away with this one-sided victory. The players on both sides are breathing hard as they fight for the ball. Jurgarden's defense works hard to block passes to Larsen, but Landskrona continues to play relentlessly. Kadura in goal shows his reflexes, pushing away a shot from 25 yards out. Ignel forces an interception and drives forward, seeking the goal. A flurry of passing from Lance Krona setting up the perfect opportunity, but the defenders are there blocking the shots each time. With time ticking away in minute 88 of the game, both teams sense that it's now or never win or draw. Jurgarden's Widdle Zetterstrom dives for a crucial save and sustains for what appears an eternity before the ball finally goes out of play. Weary faces litter both sides as heads hang in disappointment with no one willing or able to make that difference in the scoreline 0-3 it stays. The final minutes of the match drag by with errors and breakdowns on both sides as energy levels drop off significantly, it looks like both teams will have to settle for a draw. Jorgarden reigns supreme as they take the trophy in this highly contested match against Landskrona. The game started with some quick passing and threw balls from both teams, but it was Jorgarden who took the lead early on and never lost it. Everyone was on their toes while Elias Anderson, Piotr Johansson, Magnus Eriksson and Viktor Edvardsson made timely runs. However, it was Gustav Wikim's defensive work that stood out as he denied any chance for Lance Krona's fullbacks to make any progress. In an impressive display of attacking football, Jorgarden scored three goals in the first half which proved to be enough for them to take the win. Despite Lance Krona giving their all in their attempt to reach back into the game, Armakadura had to come up with clutch saves that prevented any chance of a comeback. The final whistle saw Jorgarden crowned victorious with a 0-3 scoreline. Congratulations go out to Jorgarden as they become today's champions. As we enter the last minute of play, Jorgarden's keeper Jacob Whittle Zetterstrom manages to deflect a shot from Landskrona's Kofi Fosuhi Masari. An incredible save. Jorgarden displays some scrappy and desperate defending as time ticks away but they can't seem to break the stranglehold of Lance Krona. Despite being down by three goals, the Jorgarden fanatics are still energetically cheering in support of their team. What an incredible display of dedication from these fantastic fans. The tide in the game has shifted to Jorgarden as the team ramparts up the pressure on Lance Krona. Elias Anderson is making a move towards the center of the penalty box, carrying the ball across to Victor Edvardsson with a sharp pass before sending it quickly upfield towards Gustav Wicken as he looks to make a break for goal. The Landskrona players are doing their best to keep up with Jorgarden's relentless attacks, but dare having difficulty thwarting off this onslaught. The crowd starts to roll louder as Wickham advances downfield towards Kadura with determination and effort, as if winning his team onto victory. Wickham takes one final touch of the ball and shoots from long range outside of 18-yard box, but Kadura is quick enough to turn aside the shot and prevent your garden from scoring. All around, you can feel the electric atmosphere on this cold winter evening filled with suspenseful anticipation, an impressive display of commitment and dedication from both teams, and an even more impressive show of unity and enthusiasm from these fans. The defender for your garden, Marcus Danielson, shows incredible determination in the extra time as he battles with the strikers from Lance Krona. He shows no signs of fatigue as he thwarts every attempt from the opponents. He puts his whole body into goalkeeping as he slides for a diving save and manages to block it before harm can be done. His dedication to his team's cause does not go unnoticed, punctuated by cheers and claps from the home crowd.
Your garden goalkeeper Jacob Whittle Zetterstrom intercepts a low cross from Landskrona's Kofi Fosuhina Sari and leaps up to the ball. Piotr Johansson, the left back, quickly slides in to make a last ditch tackle on Usman Jawara who was through on goal and was about to have a shot at goal. That challenge is excellent defending from Piotr Johansson who manages to get his foot toe the ball just before Jawara could get his shot off at goal. Now with seconds ticking away, Jorgarden make one last desperate attempt to get an equalizer as Rasmus Schler picks up a loose ball on the edge of the box and tries to cut it back in to find Gustav Wickham in the middle but gets intercepted by Landskrona defender Emil Lindman. Great defending as Lindman sees off two Jorgarden players with one measured challenge. The teams come out for the beginning of extra time, but neither team looks eager to score as Jorgarden appears to be content with a 0-3 lead. The crowd can be heard clapping to show their support for their respective teams, but it isn't helping inspire either side to go forward. For long stretches, neither team makes much progress upfield, with most of the play concentrated in the midfield and rarely straying into attacking territory. Players are getting tired and their passes are becoming sloppy as the clock continues running down. Jurgarden's players are happy to let possession slip away and focus on defense, while Landskrona is struggling to carve out a clear opportunity despite attempting a few speculative shots from outside the box. At this rate, it seems like extra time is going to run its course and Jorgarden will take this game with a score of 0-3. It's been an entertaining match at times but now fans of both sides have been forced to watch an increasingly dull spectacle as both sides settle for a draw. It's the start of extra time and Jorgarden needs to make something happen fast. The crowd is behind them, bellowing and cheering them on, lending their support as they drive forward. Marcus Danielson controls the ball and passes it to Magninus Eriksson who tears down the pitch, but his shot is blocked at the last second by Philip Anderson. The audience erupts into applause for the Landskrona defense. Now Piotr Johansson takes control of the ball, weaving through defenders and catching Kadura off guard with a long-range strike but the keeper is equal to the task and scrambles to make a miraculous save. Jorgarden are pushing hard but the Landskrona backline are holding firm, impressing fans with their composed defending. The crowd buzzes in anticipation as each team trades off chances, one moment it's your garden, next it's Landskrona. The intensity builds as we continue towards the final whistle 90 minutes have now passed and still no team has scored. What an incredible display of commitment from both sides. The fans here are enthralled by this spellbinding match. The game is starting to ramp up in intensity, as both sides are desperately trying to find a way through on goal. Jorgarden continue to press forward, trying to launch one last attack in the remaining minutes. Piotr Johansson comes racing down the right wing, easily evading defenders with his fleet of foot skill and agility. He delivers a dangerous cross into the box but Lance Frohner is able to quickly nullify it. The crowd roar with every instance of close call. One particular Lance Frohner defender, Philip Anderson is having an incredible day seamlessly shutting down every single threat while simultaneously displaying great leadership on the pitch. He's definitely the man of the match thus far. What an impressive display of defending. The teams trudge back onto the pitch after the break, slowly jogging to their positions. The referee blows his whistle, and the game resumes. Jorgarden is putting on an energized effort to even up the score, yet Landskrona is doing all they can to protect their lead by controlling possession and playing defensively. Possession switches back and forth as both sides move up and down the pitch. Neither team is able to gain any meaningful advantage or penetrate the opposition's defense, resulting in a stalemate between the two sides. The clock winds down and neither team can make a breakthrough. In the dying minutes of extra time, Jorgarden's attack seems to be petering out, with passes going astray and countless blocked shots. Landskrona are now content with holding their shape at the back as they look to close out the game without conceding a goal. With one final whistle from the referee, this match is over with a final score of 0-3 in favor of Landskrona. The momentum of the game has shifted back and forth but the score remains brutally unchanged as we enter into extra time. Landskrona have been hard at work pressuring Jorgarden, with Kofi Fosuhina Sari bringing the heat from midfield. Meanwhile, Captain Marcus Danielson for your garden is playing a defensive masterclass, denying several attempts to breach the goal. The beat of the game picks up with multiple attempted shots from either side of the pitch. Gustav Wickham takes a scorching shot from your garden, sending it spinning just inches over the Landskrona goal. 
Not to be outdone Usman Jawara dribbles through Jaw Garden's box only to shoot just by Jacob Whittle Zetterstrom's right post. Outside, a large storm cloud looms largely in the night sky. Gusting winds send sheets of rain off in all directions but nothing can dampen this electrically charged atmosphere as these two teams are putting forth an exhilarating performance on a wet and windy night. The tension is palpable as your garden and Lance Groner battle it out in extra time. Both teams are fighting hard, pressing the tempo, letting their hunger for the game be visible. Lance Groner's goalkeeper Armacadura is proving to be the star of the day, denying your garden one chance after another. But it's not only about saving shots Kadura is actively playing his way out of trouble and keeping his composure in unclear situations. But your garden isn't backing down either Rasmus Schler intercepts a through ball brilliantly as he feeds Magnus Eriksson wide on the left flank. Eriksson has acres of space and is looking to make something happen, but Emil Lindman puts in a great defensive effort and clears the danger for Lantzrona. Down at the other end of the pitch, Usman Jawara picks up a loose ball and tries to beat defender Marcus Danielson with a quick change of direction, but Danielson stands strong and blocks off his run. From there on out it's all Diego, Jorgarden are dominating possession, with Piotr Johansson leading the midfield while Elias Anderson starts every attacking play with pinpoint passes from deep inside his own half. As we enter the dying minutes of extra time, both sides increase their intensity, never before have we seen such an intense match. The game has clearly been decided already at this point, but both teams continue to fight with all they've got until referee blows the whistle for full time it remains 0-3. to three. This enthralling battle goes down as one for the history books. The atmosphere is tense as the game moves into extra time. Your garden is pushing forward, Ragnarok Elias Anderson and Piotr Johansson displaying excellent defensive presence. Meanwhile, Magnus Eriksson and Rasmus Schler's solid midfield efforts have kept the ball in Lance Groner's half of the field. Lance Groner's goalkeeper Armacadura has been in impressive form, denying numerous attempts by Your garden to pull one back. As Your garden pushes forward and Loden Nicola from Lance Groner snatches he ball and passes it to David Edwardson. Edwardson makes a break for goal but his attempt is stopped by Hompus Findel, who had moved quickly up the pitch to guard his goal and make the tackle. A customary move that earned great applause from the crowd, it seemed this wasn't the first time Findel had done something like this. The clock is ticking down in the second half and both Jorgarden and Lance Groner are pushing for the elusive winning goal. Despite their efforts, neither team seems to be able to find a way past the opposing defense. Jurgarden's Gustav Wicken goes for goal, but his shot is blocked by Kadura between the sticks for Lance Groner. The ball stays in play and Nico Lodon takes it forward from his team's half. He cuts inside onto his favored right foot, but is unable to evade the attentions of Piotr Johansson rushing back to defend. Elias Anderson drives down the right flank and sends a well-placed cross into the penalty area. Victor Edvardsen rises highest at the near post but his header sails wide of Armour Kadura's left post. It's still goalless here at Tele 2 Arena. We're entering into added time now two minutes for each side to make something happen and grab a winner. Marcus Danielson threads a long ball through for Joel Osoro on the left flank, but Kofi Fosuhina Sari reads it perfectly and gets there first to shut it down. Well, the sound of the final whistle brings us to the end of an exciting match between Jorgarden and Lance Kronobo is in the Svenska Kupen. Lance Kronobo is pull off a great victory here today leading them on a path of success. It was a match for the ages, with both teams playing a fantastic game. Each team will leave with their heads held high in respect for their counterpart's strong performance. Lance Kronobo's victory today is not only celebrated as a great win, but is also indicative of a strong run so far in the cup tournament. The team have etched out their place in soccer history tonight and are sure to bring something special on their way up the next round. Great job and kudos to the winning team. Well, the sound of the final whistle brings us to the end of an exciting match between Jorgarden and Lance Kronobo is in the Svenska Kupen. Lance Kronobo has pulled off a great victory here today, leading them on a path of success. It was a match for the ages, with both teams playing a fantastic game. Each team will leave with their heads held high in respect for their counterpart's strong performance. Lance Kronobo's victory today is not only celebrated as a great win, but is also indicative of a strong run so far in the cup tournament. The team have etched out their place in soccer history tonight and are sure to bring something special on their way up the next round. Great job and kudos to the winning team.
the referee blows his whistle and the game is officially underway. Romapojkana kicks off and right away passes to Samuel Crow. He takes a few touches and dribbles ahead, testing the defenders of Landskrona. Krohn is ultimately boxed in by Eric Hedanquist but he does manage to move the ball wide to Ludwig Fritzen on the left flank. Fritzen is quickly closed down by Emil Lindman but manages to get two more touches off before Philip Anderson sprays a pass upfield all the way from goalkeeper Arma Kadura. David Edvidson makes a gallant run for it and nearly reaches it ahead of Alexander Abramson, but Abramson does well, tracking back hard and winning the ball in a tackle. The players exchange some nice passes back and forth as they build up their offense before finally running out of space just outside Landskrona's box. Romapojkana and Landskrona are starting off the game slowly, both teams focusing on keeping possession around the midfield. The ball is moving from one side to the other but neither team is able to breach the opponent's defense and create a threat in the opposition's box. Landskrona's midfielder Kofi Fosuhina Sari attempts to take on his man down the left flank with a fancy dribble but his poor technique lets him down as the ball goes straight out of play. A huge disappointment for Landskrona. The teams are off. Romapojkana quickly takes control of the ball, using academic passing to move up the pitch. Gustav Sandberg Magnussen is slipping in between players to open space as Samuel Holm makes a run deep into Landskrona's territory. Holm passes to Nikola Vazitz, who rockets it right at the goal but right into Arma Kadura's gloves. Landskrona regroups and begins a push up the field, but their efforts are cut short by a beautiful tackle from Oskar Krusnow. The ball is freed and swiftly picked up by Gustav Sandberg Magnussen again. He sends it forward in what could be a crucial pass, Oscar Pettersson is there to receive it. He puts on a burst of speed with an incredible show of agility and power, breaking through Kadera's defense and shooting for the goal. The ball smacks against the back of the net, who are all for Bromopoj Kana. The stadium erupts in cheers as the home team takes the lead. What an amazing play. It's an exciting start to the match as both teams have gone right at it with lots of energy and enthusiasm. Romapojkana's Oscar Pettersson is running with the ball and has a great chance at goal, but it's snuffed out by the Landskrona defense. David Edvidson from Landskrona tries a cheeky lob from outside the box attempting to surprise the keeper, but it goes wide. Now Therese some pushing and shoving in front of the referee after a tackle by Samuel Krohn on Usman Diawanda while the referee is issuing a yellow card. That seemed a bit harsh, he didn't even give them a chance to settle things before blowing his whistle. The crowd isn't too pleased. All in all an exciting opening few minutes to this matchup. The two teams are neck and neck as they battle for control of the ball. Romapojkana midfielder Samuel Holm has just sent a long pass to forward Oscar Pettersson on the edge of the box. Pettersson quickly passes it off to Nikola Vazitz who gets his head on the ball and directs it down the center of the pitch. Landskrona defender Melka Jernsson races to intercept, but Vazitz is too quick and nearly breaks away before Jernsson manages to make a tackle and block his advance. The ball goes out of bounds, giving Bromopojkana another chance to break through to an open shot. The home side looks determined as their midfielders Gustav Sandberg Magnussen and Ludwig Fritzson swarm forward in support. Landskrona midfielder David Edvidson is making a valiant effort to keep possession for his team, but he's having trouble finding any support from his teammates. The intensity of the game is rising with both teams keen on securing a chance at goal. The whistle has just blown to start the second half of this intense matchup between Bromopojkana and Landskrona. Bromopojkana looking to press the attack early but are finding it an uphill battle against a tough Landskrona defense. A long pass by Kadura to Jabara is controlled by Abiba Masson, but Jabara quickly recovers and is able to regain possession. All eyes turn now to Jawara, who quickly looks for an open team mate down the line. Fosuhina Sari receives the pass and works his way into the box as Melka Jernsson applies pressure. The Landskrona fans roar their approval as Fosuhin just manages to get a shot off, but his attempt sails wide of goal. The crowd here in Broma continue to show their enthusiasm with cheers and claps. Romapojkana and Landskrona have been locked in an intense battle in the first few minutes of this game. Both sides have seen their chances come and go as they maneuver their way around the pitch. On one side, we've seen Oscar Pettersson break through the opposition defense with his speed and skill, 
only to be cut down by a tough tackling from Philip Anderson. The referee issues a stern warning, but somehow refuses to waive his yellow card for the challenge. On the other end, David Edvardson nearly got Lance Krona into a dangerous position with a long pass over the top of the Bromopojkana defense but was eventually closed down at the last second by Amadeus Sogar. Despite these thrilling moments, neither side have been able to put the ball in the back of the net yet, leaving us with a scoreless affair so far. The crowd is roaring as Bromopojkana take the kickoff to start the match. This could be a great game as both teams look ready to put in a performance. Oscar Pettersson charges down the left side for Bromopojkana, muscling through two defenders and firing the ball towards goal. But Armakadura is alert in net for Lance Krona, diving low to save the shot. The crowd loves it, but Pettersson isn't done yet. He collects the ball off the rebound and whips across into box, looking for his midfielder Gustav Sandberg. Kadura dives out of the way but suddenly out of nowhere comes Philip Anderson who makes an incredible sliding tackle to slash across Sandberg's run and clear it away from danger. What an amazing bit of defensive work by Anderson, Lance Groner will certainly be grateful he's there now. Both teams continue on their defensive work as we near 10 minutes gone in this match, there hasn't been any breakthroughs just yet but tensions are high as both teams clash for dominance on the pitch. The action is heating up as Lance Groner launches a series of dangerous attacking moves. David Edvardson plays the ball through to Camille Jabara who unleashes a powerful strike at goal that Oscar Lina just manages to deflect away with a diving save. The game is getting more intense as both teams challenge each other hard in midfield, trying to move the ball upfield. Now it's Bromopojkana on a counter-attack but the shot from Oscar Pettersson goes just wide of the mark. The crowd can feel the tension rising, but still no one manages to find that elusive first goal. Bromopojkana are looking to add a second quick goal here. Gustav Sandberg Magnussen sends a powerful cross into the box, but Armakadura dives out of his net to make a spectacular save. Lance Krona counterattack down the left flank, with Nicola Lodon and Adam Ignell combining brilliantly and carving out plenty of space. Kofi Fosuhina Sari takes possession of the ball and unleashes a rocket shot from 25 yards out, narrowly missing the target. Oscar Liner is still standing tall in goal and hasn't been truly tested yet. Bromopojkana launch another attack, this time through Samuel Krone, who races down the right wing before hitting an intelligent pass through to Peterson. Peterson rounds he then quist at the edge of the box and drives towards goal, but his shot sails over Kadra's goal. The shot bounces right back off the crossbar. Unlucky for Bromopojkana. The away team. Lance Groner, is taking the initiative in this match, quickly grabbing hold of the ball and pushing into Bromopojkana territory. There's some powerful play from midfielders Kofi Fosuhina Sari and David Edvardson who managed to link up with forward Usman Jawara, who pushes forward into the penalty area. He takes a couple of touches to settle the ball before striking with precision and power across Lina in goal. Go on. Lance Groner take a commanding lead thanks to a beautiful goal from Jawara. Bromopojkana kick off the first half of the game and Oscar Pettersson storms down the pitch shouting for the ball from Alexander Abramson. He fires a through ball to Oscar Krusnell who passes it forward to Samuel Holm, nearly losing possession with a heavy touch. Holm advances into the attacking third and kicks the ball along to Gustav Sandberg Magnussen at the edges of the box. Charging in on goal, Magnussen sidesteps a defender, rocketing a powerful shot towards goal, Amakadura dives out of harm's way but he's too late as the ball cannons off the post and into the back of the net. Lance Krona evens up with a stunning goal. The speed of play has been scintillating in this first half and Therese certainly more entertainment still to come. Romapojkana launch a swift counterattack as midfielders Samuel Holm and Gustav Sandberg Magnussen combine to send midfielder Ludwig Fritzen racing through on goal. Lance Krona keeper, Armakadura rushes off his line to close down the angles but Fritzen presses on, fizzing a curling shot towards the far corner of the net. It appears destined for the back of the net, but defender Melka Jernson throws himself in front of it, desperately blocking the ball on the goal line with a perfectly timed slide tackle. The crowd erupts in appreciation of such brave defending as Lance Groner breathe a collective sigh of relief.
The ball is back in play and Bromopojkana has possession. Gustav Sandberg Magnussen puts his foot to the ball, passing it in the midfield with pinpoint accuracy to Oscar Pettersson. Pettersson looks to make a run towards the goal, but he's met with heavy pressure from the Landskrona defence. Philip Anderson shows good form as he blocks off any chance of a breakaway and clears the ball out of play. The crowd is really getting involved here, cheering from every end of this stadium. The passion from these fans is undeniable. Lance Kroner now takes control of possession and Kofi Fosuhinasari looks for his chance in front of goal. He takes a shot but it's blocked by Amadeus Sogard. The crowd here at the ground erupts into applause for Sogard's defensive awareness and explosiveness. We still have no goal scored here but the action on the pitch is incredible. The Lance Kroner defense hold their formation well, putting pressure on the Brome Pojkana forwards and denying them space. Amadeus Sugard is fouled by Philip Anderson in the midfield but referee doesn't call it, much to the annoyance of the Bromopojkana players. Nikola Lodon of Landskrona zigzags his way past three Bromopojkana defenders with a show of great skill that is then brought down by Amadeus Sogard just inside the penalty area. The referee takes several seconds to make up his mind before pointing at the spot. It looks like Landskrona have been given a golden opportunity to take the lead. The players are spread out across the field as hands-on play continues in the center of the pitch. Romapojana's Oscar Pettersson pops up on the left side with a quick pass to Samuel Holm, who races past Landskrona's defenders towards the goal. He manages to slip away but runs right into Kadura, who pulls off a terrific save. The ball is cleared for a throw-in, with Landskrona regaining possession. David Edvidson takes control of it and makes an impressive pass to Kofi Fosuhina Sari who is quickly closed down by two defenders from Romapojana forcing him to turn away from goal. The crowd roars as Philip Anderson charges forward and slices through a gap in the opposition's defense. He takes a shot but it sails just wide and lands in the stands. It's a warm summer evening with clear skies and some clouds rolling in from time to time, giving the air a slight chill. Despite this perfect weather no team has been able to find that breakthrough yet as we have come halfway through the match without any goals being scored. The first half of the match is off to a slow start, with Bromopojkana and Lance Kroner both struggling to create any clear-cut chances. The players are giving it their all on a sultry day in the stands, with summer sunshine beaming down onto the pitch. Both teams look toothless up front and neither goalkeeper has been tested so far. Lance Kroner are trying to build from midfield and attack down the wings, but Bromopojkana's defense is proving resilient as Abramson and Sogard show some impressive defensive understanding. The referee is playing a good game, Waving off any contentious calls as both sides continue to battle for control. Both goalkeepers remain alert, watching closely for any loose balls or potential crosses into the box. It's an evenly contested game so far, without any major talking points or chances, but with the score still at 1-2, expect both teams to have their eyes firmly fixed on getting onto the scoreboard before time runs out. We're 18 minutes into the game now, and we've seen a few mild skirmishes here in the early goings, but a lot of back and forth passing between both teams. Romapojkana are pressing hard on the right flank, with Sandberg Magnussen and Pettersson switching positions routinely, trying to probe the Landskrona defense. Sogard and Krusnell have been keeping their shape at the back well and doing a good job of passing out of danger when pushed into tight spots. Landskrona however seem content to buy their time in possession as they're seeing rather little success getting up into dangerous positions thus far. Armakadura had some great saves before to deny Bromopojkana seemingly certain goals, though at this point it looks like he has been well protected by his defense as neither team has found an opening yet. The game is slowing down now as players from each team look for opportunities on the ball but have not quite found a major breakthrough yet. Still no goals for either side and the score stands at 1-2 in favor of Lance Grona. It's an action-packed 20 minutes so far as Bromopojkana gained possession and quickly moved the ball upfield. The midfield of Krohn, Holm, Magnussen, and Fritzen make some neat passes between them in the center of the field. Abrahamson makes a good run down the right side and crosses it into Varsitz in front of the goal but Jawara is there in time to make a perfect clearance. The ref fails to blow his whistle for a potentially dangerous tackle by Jernson on Krohn earlier in play, dangerously putting Bromopojkana's skillful midfielder at risk. He really should have blown his whistle there. What can Lance Krona do to take advantage? 
Kadura pulls off a heroic save from Pettersson's free kick from outside the box. Pettersson was disappointed not to score there as was Lance Groner for not getting a corner out of that as well. So far, no scoring chances for either side and it's still 1-2. The teams are still working hard to try and break the deadlock scoreline, but neither side is able to find a breakthrough at this point. Roma Pojkana is controlling possession with long-range passes and Tolin Sandberg Magnussen by the midfielders into the attacking line. Lance Krona is pressing on their defense, aiming to block any incoming shots from the opposition. We can feel that the game is slowing down as we approach the end of the first half, however, both teams remain determined to score before we go into halftime. No chances for either team so far as Mshkadwa stands strong in goal for Lance Krona, denying any chances for Bromma Pojkana. With just five minutes left of this first half, will either side come out with a goal? We'll just have to wait and see. The ball is now in Bromma Pojkana's possession and they quickly move it up the field. Here comes Oscar Pettersson, dribbling deftly around a Lance Krona defender, duking and fainting with quick footwork. He shoots toward the goal, but the shot is blocked by Amakadura, who dives to his right to make the save. The crowd come alive in anticipation as both teams battle for control of the ball back and forth across the pitch. Roma Pojkana pressure Lance Krona with a hard tackle that sends the ball to midfield where David Edwardson collects it for Lance Krona, who quickly counterattack with a lightning pass downfield. The ball is intercepted by Amadeus Sogard in defense for Bromma Pojkana and he passes to his midfielder Samuel Holm. On the pitch, players move rapidly from one end to the other while they tirelessly try to create an opening on net. Both teams press their opponent hard and fast, showcasing their endurance and agility in an impressive display of athleticism. We enter the final minutes of this first half without any score yet, setting up an exciting second half of play with much anticipation. The ball is still in the possession of Roma Pojkana after Oscar Pettersson drew in a surprise defender before playing a brilliant through ball for Holm. Smashing towards the Lance Krona box, Holm relays it to Fritzen who controls it deftly before being stopped by Philip Anderson from making any further progress. Great tackle from the Lance Krona defender there. He looks to be one of the more consistent players on his team so far and has been reliable in defending for them. Lance Krona are on the attack as Jawara runs through the defense but Abramson is there in time to make a crucial interception to take the ball back. Sandberg Magnussen sends a long ball up the pitch to Vazitz who takes the ball down and drives forward with it. He sends it over to Krohn who takes a shot from just outside of the box, but it's blocked by Jernsen and goes out for an indirect free kick. The Bromma Pojkana players decide to take it and Fritzson steps up, looking for an equalizer, but his effort is sent wide of the post. The game continues, with Bromma Pojkana dominating the midfield and exchanging quick passes back and forth to gain ground. Lance Krona's defense is proving tough, but the resilient Bromma Pojkana team is not backing down. Lance Krona's striker Camille Jabara launches a long ball pass to Usman Jawara on the right side of the pitch. Jawara receives it, dodging one attack at a time before finally making a breakthrough. He takes another couple of steps before shooting towards goal, but Lina saves it easily with his quick reflexes. The roar from the crowd builds in anticipation as both teams fight for possession. Roma Pojkana's midfielders pull off several impressive tactical dribbles while Lance Krona waits anxiously in its defensive formation awaiting the possibility of breaking through. The game takes a momentary pause as everyone looks up at the architecture surrounding them a large open stadium complete with three tiers of seats for fans featuring amazing views of the pitch and modern facilities like VIP lounges, individual seating areas and luxury restaurants providing delicious food to enjoy during halftime celebrations or during regular breaks throughout games being played here. The score remains 1-3 in favor of Bromma Pojkana. The ball is currently being chased by Lance Krona's Kofi Fosuhina Sari, sandwiched between two defenders from Bromma Pojkana. He navigates around the first defender with a swift turn, but is stopped in his tracks by the second defender. Play has come to a halt temporarily as a foul had been called on Lance Krona. The game is slowly settling into a pattern as both sides have become increasingly tactical and conservative with their play. Both teams are looking to control possession while keeping their opponents at bay with solid defending. Roma Pojkana are creating some chances through crosses, trying to find the end of them with multiple attackers laying on the final line. 
Unfortunately, nothing has come of those attacks yet, and the score remains at 1-3 against Broman Pojkana after 39 minutes of play. The game is getting more intense as Broma Pojkana press forward, looking to claw back the deficit. Oscar Pettersson nearly gives them the goal as he attempts a shot from just inside the box, but it's blocked by Landskrona keeper Arma Kadura. Oscar Liner at the other end is also forced into action as he dives low to his left and manages to get a finger on Camille Jabara's effort, sending it out for a corner. The action continues with Gustav Sandberg Magnussen dribbling the ball along the touchline and managing to beat two defenders before crossing it into the box, where it's cleared away by Landskrona defender Eric Hedenquist. With neither side able to create any clear-cut chances, the score remains at 1-3 after 40 minutes of play. The game is getting more intense as the players from both sides put forth tremendous effort. Roma Pojkana is pushing hard to reduce the score gap with Lance Krona, while the latter is defending desperately to keep their lead intact. Krusnell launches a long ball forward, with Pettersson rushing to meet it. He turns and spots Abramson making a run up the right wing. Abramson controls the pass beautifully and accelerates past Lindman, he's in. He feints to shoot, and passes instead to Sogard who lashes a powerful shot at goal. Kadura makes an impressive save, but Krohn is lurking dangerously close in by the far post, ready to pounce on any rebound. The shot rebounds off Kadura's gloves and out, saved. Both sides continue to battle fiercely as they look to take hold of the match. The score remains at 1-3. The referee blows the whistle and play resumes in Bromma Pojkana's half. Oscar Pettersson challenges for possession in the midfield, but is quickly shut down by Usman Jawara. Lance Krona's Emil Lindman carries the ball forward before passing it to Kofi Fosuhina Sari on the left flank. Fosuhina Sari takes a shot on goal but his effort is blocked by Holm before it can cause any damage to Oscar Lindman's goal. Lance Krona retained possession and continued to search for an opening in Bromma Pojkana's defense. However, Neither team can penetrate each other's backline and the game looks to be heading for a draw as both teams struggle to muster up any meaningful attacking opportunities. The fans are growing restless as the clock ticks down, with plenty of size around the stadium but no celebrations yet as both teams fail to create anything out of nothing. The game continues at a punishing pace with both teams eager to make their mark. Roma Pojkana is pressing forward as goalkeeper Oscar Lina sends a long ball flying upfield. Lance Krona quickly regroups and counters, stringing together some impressive passing moves before being stopped by the Broma Pojkana defense. Amadeus Sogard looks like waving his magic wand on the pitch, showcasing incredible skill in tackling players and keeping them at bay. In minute 43 of the game he puts on one of his signature tackles, launching himself full force at an opposing player with extraordinary agility and grace. The Lance Krona team is clearly impressed, but remain determined to break through the rock-solid wall that Broma Pojkana has constructed in defense of their goal. The score remains at 1-3 as we near the end of the first half of what has been an exciting battle between two talented sides so far. The first half of Broma Pojkana against Lance Krona was a whirlwind of activity. Broma began well as off a great save from goalkeeper Oscar Liner and some tight defending from Amadeus Sogard, Oscar Krusnell, Alexander Abramson, and Tim Söderström, they immediately applied pressure to the Lance Krona offense. Midfielders Samuel Krohn, Samuel Holm, Gustav Sandberg Magnussen and Ludwig Fritzen controlled the midfield while forwards Oscar Pettersson and Nikola Vazic wreaked havoc on the opposition's defense. However, despite Bromma's enthusiasm and determination on the field Lance Krona was relentless in their attack with Arma Kadura making frantic saves and Philip Anderson, Eric Hedenquist, Melka Jernsson, Emil Lindman creating chaos in the defensive end. As everyone thought that perhaps Lance Krona's efforts would be too much for Broma to handle Nikola Lodon, David Edvidsson, Adam Ignell and Kofi Fosuhina Sari put more pressure on their opponents with Camille Jabara and Usman Jawara leading the charge with some spectacular ball movement. It seemed that no goal would be made this half as we reach our halfway point with the scoreline of 1-3 in favor of Lance Krona. Roma Pojkana are kicking off this second half against Lance Krona with an infusion of strength and intent. Both teams are giving it their all, but so far nothing has come of this further. 
Oscar Pettersson tries his luck and makes a swift run down the left side of the pitch, only to be shut down by a hard tackling Philip Anderson. Kofi Fosuhina Sari drills a through ball to Usman Jawara who attempts a strike on goal, but is denied by a well-timed save from Oscar Lina. Now it's Brahma Khojkana's turn to attack as Alexander Abramson sends in an accurate long ball over the defenders, however Gustav Sandberg Magnussen's header goes wide of goal. Lance Sproner regains possession and David Edvardson looks to turn the game in their favor with his effort from outside the box, yet it fails to hit target, however close. No changes currently in play as we keep our eye on this thrilling game. The teams are back out on the field after the half-time break and it looks like it's going to be another intense 45 minutes of soccer. Lance Sproner have the 3-1 lead and Bromo Pojkana need to muster up some energy and fight if they want to equalize. On the pitch, the energy is high, with both teams pressing forward in search of goals. Oscar Pettersson from Bromo Pojkana takes possession but he's quickly closed down by a tenacious challenge from Nikola Lodon to Lance Sproner who hustles and harasses him for the ball, succeeding in pinning him back into his own half. Linder in goal for Brahma Pojkana edges off his line as two strikers advance towards his box, but Amakadura stands tall in goal for Lance Grona and clears easily with a long throw, sending play back down the other end of the pitch. Play swings back to the center as David Edvardson of Lance Grona passes to Camille Jabara who looks to cut inside onto his stronger left foot, but Gustav Magnussen puts in a strong challenge that blocks his progress, sending play out wide near Brahma Pojkana's penalty area. The crowd are getting pumped up with each passing tackle as these two teams battle it out for every single inch on this lush green grassy field. Lance Krona kick off and the ball is sent to left winger Adam Ebnell. He easily drives past two Bromopojkana defenders, Otto Krusnell and Alexander Abramson, with some fancy feints on the way. Now he is closing in on the penalty box and lays off a pass to his teammate Kofi Fosuhina Sari who is storming down the right flank. Great link-up play. Fosuhina Sari puts in a cross into the box, but Samuel Holm is there to clear it away for Brahma Pojkana. That was a great block from Holm, which denied Lance Grona's attacking momentum. However, Holm needs to work on his first touch he almost cost his team a goal there. It's minute 48 in the game and Lance Grona's Eric Hedenquist is getting ready to take a big throw in. He launches the ball into Brahma Pojkana's box but it's quickly snaked away by Amadeus Sogard. Sogard advances the ball to midfield, where Samuel Holm connects with his pass, slipping past one defender before firing off a shot. But it sails just wide. Lance Grona nearly had a chance there to close the gap on Brom Pojkana's 3-1 lead. Meanwhile, you can tell that Brahma Pojkana's Nikola Vazitz has done his research on the playbook as he always passes it short only, much like a well-read book. The crowd is on the edge of their seat as Brahma Pojkana kicks off the second half. Oscar Pettersson has possession of the ball for Brahma Pojkana, trying to take it past Lodon and Edvardson of Lance Krona, but they double-team him and finally succeed in winning it back and forcing a turnover. Now Fosuhina Sari takes the ball upfield, sprinting towards the goal. He looks to be one-on-one -on -one with Abramson, but Sandberg Magnussen steps in just a time to intercept a potential pass and take possession of the ball for Brahma Pojkana. He dribbles upfield past Ednell looking to put in a pass for one of his strikers, but his attempt is intercepted by Hedenquist. He sends a long pass out to Jabara who is running onto it from beyond Lina's reach. Jabara takes on Sogard, knocking him off balance before firing off a shot from outside the box that screams just wide of the post. The Lance Grona supporters in attendance erupt with joy while rejecting Sai's echo from the Bromma Pojkana fans. The match is being held at Stadsparksvalen which is a picturesque arena nestled within Helsingborg City Park. The field lies amidst the tiered stands where robust fans clad in either blue or yellow packing into their respective sides show their eagerness to witness the match unfold right before them. Everywhere you look are lush trees and budding flowers adding to the grandeur of this iconic location that sits at an altitude of 52 feet above sea level. The second half is underway and the Brahma Pojkana is putting up quite a fight against their opponents. Oscar Linner is doing a great job at the goalkeeper and is looking completely focused on every attack from Lance Grona. Alexander Abramson and Tim Söderström in defense are blocking every move from Lance Grona. Meanwhile Samuel Krohn, Samuel Holm, Gustav Sandberg Magnussen, Ludwig Fritzen are hustling and running across the field trying to create chances to score. On the other side of the field Armacadura has been extremely solid as goalkeeper for Lance Grona. The defense, made up of Philip Anderson, 
Eric E. Denquist, Melka Jansen, Emil Lindman has been working hard to try and keep out any attempts at goal by the Bromma Pojkana side. In midfield Nicola Lodon, David Edvardson, Adam Ignell and Kofi Fosuhina Sari have been passing around with ease in an attempt to breach through the Bromma Pojkana defence wall. Up top Camille Jabara has proven to be quite a big threat as he sprints all over the field trying to find that perfect spot for him to score. Usman Jawara on his side is hoping that one of his colleagues can provide him with a good chance too and we can see that he's ready to take his opportunity when it comes along. It's minute 50 on the clock but no team has been able to break through yet as they still remain 1-3. The second half begins with Bromopojkana on the offensive, as a hard shot from Oscar Pettersson sails just wide of the goal. Lance Kroner regained possession but Oscar Krusnell does well to win it back for Bromopojkana and push it up the field. Arma Kadura is doing well in goal for Lance Kroner, coming out of his penalty box to smother down any dangerous passes or shots. At minute 51, Lance Kroner almost find their way back in the game as Camille Jabara finds himself alone in front of goal only to be stopped by a spectacular save from goalkeeper Oscar Lina. The mood of the game has shifted dramatically with neither side willing to yield ground as they battle it out in midfield. Fouls are frequent and tensions are running high as both sides have their sights set firmly on three points. It's a thrilling match so far but still no goals to show for it leaving the score 1-3. The pitch is heating up as the teams take it to the field in anticipation of a possible goal. Lance Krona forwards are putting heavy pressure on Bromma Pojkana's defence, with Usman Jawara in particular proving dangerous. He passes it to David Edvardson who whips a long-range shot towards Oscar Lina's goal but the keeper is alert and saves it. Just when Lance Krona looked like they were mounting a serious challenge, Lina stands tall and stops them in their tracks. Good save Oscar. He's certainly earned his keep in this game so far. The crowd is roaring as the Bromopojkana attackers take the pitch in search of a game-tying goal. Oscar Pettersson launches a through ball across the pitch to Nikola Vazitz, but Philip Axelsson backtracks to intercept and clears it out for a Lance Grona throw-in. Kofi Fosuhina Sari receives the throw and looks to counter, but Amadeus Sogard slides in with an expertly timed tackle to regain possession for Bromopojkana. Sogard quickly moves forward on the attack and finds Gustav Sandberg Magnussen streaking down the right flank. The crowd holds its breath as Magnussen delivers a cross into the box, but Melka Jernsen battles through a packed penalty area to punch it away and keep Lance Krona's lead intact. The teams are back in position as the second half starts with a sprint. Romapoj Khan as Nikola Vazitz jumps into action, his strength and agility on full display as he muscles his way past two defenders from Lance Krona, but is just narrowly denied at the last second by a speedy tackle from Kofi Fosuhinasari. Kofi can only watch as the ball rockets towards the goal, with Oscar Pettersson ready to tap it in, but Ama Kadura produces an incredible diving save to palm it away. The crowd goes wild as all eyes are on Kadura, a young goalkeeper who is coming into this game off an incredible performance in last week's match, and today he has more than lived up to expectations. With a roar of frustration, Romapojkana press on, Gustav Sandberg Magnussen emerging from the pack. He pushes upfield with remarkable energy and grace, weaving his way between tackles from the Lanskrona defense before feeding Amadeus Sogard just outside the box, but Lanskrona recover quickly, blocking the shot and keeping it goalless for now. Nevertheless, Lanskrona remain confident in their possession, seeking focused attacks across all parts of the field. Each team presses in turn, hoping for a breakthrough, but in minute 54 there is still no change on the scoreboard one goal for Bromopojkana and three for Lanskrona. Keep your eyes peeled though. This game is far from over. The game is heating up as Bromopojkana's striker Nikola Vazitz fights to win the ball off Lance Grona's defense. Vazitz battles through on the pitch, but Kadura rushes off his line to intervene and clear the ball away from danger. The attack is over and Lance Grona's midfielders Kofi Fosuhina Sari and Adam Ignell grab the pitch by the reins, recycling possession for their side. Fosuhina Sari shows his quality with some confident dribbling down the left wing, making a run towards goal. However, Hector Abramson puts in an excellent tackle at just the right time, stopping what would have been a promising attack for Lance Krona. Meanwhile, Philip Anderson has been an engine powering Lance Krona's game all afternoon despite typically being seen in defense. Anderson has worked tirelessly to move forward along the right flank and create chances going forward. 
even now as he faces a counter-attack from Bromopoj Khanna's Gustav Sandberg Magnuson, he manages to intercept his pass with an skilled touch that prevents any chance of counter-attack. Bromopoj Khanna have just won a corner, and the away team is trying to break out of the defensive pressure. Usman Jawara quickly picks up the ball and runs it down the flank, blazing past a few defenders. He sends an exquisite cross into the penalty area and Camille Jabara meets it with his head, thumping it into back of the net. Goal. Lance Krona score away from home and now lead by two goals, one to three. What a fantastic piece of attacking football this has been so far. The fans are in raptures and Jawara is jumping with joy as his teammates congratulate him on a superb assist. Let's see if Bromopoj Khanna can launch a comeback in these final minutes. The referee signals that the second half is back in play, and the stadium buzzes with anticipation. The Bromopoj Khanna side look determined as they start to pressure the Landskrona midfield, with Oscar Pettersson eager to get on the ball. He shows his pace as he sprints past two defenders and slides a through pass to Ludwig Fritzen. With brilliant footwork, Fritzen manages to keep the move alive and bursts forward towards goal. He fires a fierce shot from just outside the penalty box, but Ama Kadura manages to push it away for a corner kick. The ensuing cross is collected by Kadura who then quickly launches it downfield in search of his forwards. Usman Jawara takes control of the loose ball and motoring forward, looking for an opening. He weaves past two defenders and dribbles down the left side of the pitch at full speed. But suddenly, he loses his footing resulting in a foul near the touchline and a yellow card for Bromopoj Khanna's Alexander Abramson. Kadura takes the goal kick and boots it deep towards Landskrona's attackers who are now pressing their advantage in numbers. They break into a counter-attack but are unable to find an opening as Oscar Krusnell puts in another outstanding defensive challenge to take back possession for Bromopoj Khanna. Bromopoj Khanna's Usman Jawara is running the ball down the left wing surrounded by Lance Krona defenders. He cuts inside, beating two players and looks to find an opening in the box. After some slick passes between Sandberg Magnussen and Pettersson, the ball is back at Diawara's feet. He spots Abramson making a run behind the defense but his through pass is intercepted in a superb piece of defending by Lance Krona's Anderson. The crowd comes alive, very much aware of what almost happened there. Bromopoj Khanna will have to find another way to break through Lance Krona's defense if they are to make something happen in this game, looks like this crow is knowledgeable about their team's tactics. Bromopoj Khanna is currently in possession of the ball with Gustav Sandberg Magnussen controlling it. He passes it to Nikolos Vazitz who manages to outrun two Lance Krona defenders before whipping the ball into the box, aiming for Oscar Pettersson. Unfortunately, Amakadura quickly darts out and makes a fantastic one-handed save before the Bromopoj Khanna forward can get close enough to take a shot. The goal kick is taken by Kadura who looks to launch a counter-attack. In the stands, Lance Krona supporters are buzzing with anticipation as their team is knocking on Bromopoj Khanna's door looking for goals while the Bromopoj Khanna supporters are staying quiet, hoping their team can pull something out of this situation and change the score. There's a sense of tension permeating through the stadium that has everyone on edge as every second passes. Bromopoj Khanna's goalkeeper, Oscar Lina jogs back into the pitch, raring to make a stop. Lance Krona's Camille Jabara attempts to cut through the defense but is intercepted by Amadeus Sogard just in time. Skillful passing plays from Samuel Krn and Gustav Sandberg Magnussen spark a counter-attack for Bromopoj Khanna. The ball eventually finds its way up to Nikola Vazitz. He charges towards goal but is quickly blocked by Kofi Fosahina Sari, Lance Krona defenders. The sun glistens off the field and a light breeze ruffles through the stadium as both teams fight for possession of the ball. Defenders step in one after another, throwing their bodies on the line as Bromopoj Khanna attempt to get back in the game. As we reach minute 60, no team has been able to break through and score on either sides, the scoreline still remaining as 1-4. Bromopoj Khanna take the initiative as Sandberg Magnussen carries the ball from midfield and initiates a promising attack. He passes it to Freitzen in the center, setting off a swift sequence of passes with Abrahamsons before Pettersson crosses it into the box. Lance Krona's keeper Kadura is quick to react and controls the situation before launching an attack of his own. He sends the ball flying downfield, 
with Camille Jabara chasing it hard in a race against time. He crosses it towards Jawara at last minute, but his shot only crashes against left post. The crowd shows full appreciation for this thrilling action as they applaud and chant in unison. Such an exciting match here at Brahmapojkana Stadium tonight. The referee just blew their whistle, signaling the start of play. Oscar Lina quickly watches the ball, looking to make a pass to either Nikola Vazitz up front or Samuel Krohn out wide. He gets the ball upfield and Romapojkana makes a move into Lance Krohner's territory. Amadeus Sogard sends a long pass towards Oscar Krusnell in the center who then sends it to Gustav Sandberg Magnussen out wide who swiftly passes it to Oscar Pettersson on the left flank. Lance Krohner's defense are struggling to cope with Bromopojkana's attacking pressure as Oscar Pettersson swiftly skips past Kofi Fosuhi Nassari and crosses it in, looking for Ludwig Fritzen in the danger zone, just at the edge of the box. But before he can connect with the ball, Usman Jawara cleverly uses his body position and shoulder barges him away from it. Referee calls a free kick for Bromopojkana. Bromopojkana fans shout at referee for not giving an obvious foul but referee stands his ground and waves play on, harsh decision from referee. The game is still underway with Romapojkana leading 1-4. They are currently pressing hard, with Oscar Pettersson making some great passes to his teammates. He has been a consistent threat so far. Gustav Sandberg Magnussen just made a daring tackle on Nikola Lodon, showing his strength and determination. The crowd are showing their appreciation of the aggressive play with loud cheers. Amadeus Sogard is creating some space out wide while Nikola Vazitz is pushing forward. Emil Lindman stepped up to the challenge and forced an error from Vazitz, denying Bromopojkana any chance of scoring in this attacking move. Lance Krona have been pushing Antrona back as they look for an equalizing goal, making some threatening runs towards goal. Both teams are giving it their all in this evenly matched game, and the crowd are loving it. Right now we've got Bromopojkana and Lance Krona attacking from both sides and the crowd is taking it all in. Oscar Pettersson gets the ball from a pass, he sprints like lightning down the attack turning past his defender with ease. He's taking aim at Kadura in net but his shot goes wide. Lance Krona is quick to respond as Usman Jawara takes it up. He's got some momentum now and passes it on to Melka Jansen, who dribbles quickly past Abramson and going for the goal but Lina saves it. What a performance by the goalie. The crowd here is surely energized and showing their support throughout the match, here at Brahmapojkana. Dare chanting, cheering. This truly is an electrifying atmosphere. Romapojkana are looking to become the comeback story of the season as they fight to level the score against Lance Krona. Oscar Pettersson shows off his footwork skills by sending off a strike from just outside the 18-yard box, but Amakadura is quick on his feet and makes an impressive save. Lance Krona's Nikola Lodon immediately responds with a deep pass to Usman Jawara lighting up the pitch. Oscar Krusnell belts ahead, intercepting the ball, and fighting for position against David Edward's own peaking performance in both offense and defense. The ball is kicked towards Romapojkana as Oscar Liner advances to catch it. Oscar Pettersson and Amadeus Sogard of Romapojkana attempt to pressure Lance Grona's Usman Jawara and takes the ball away from him toward the middle. Gustav Sandberg Magnussen feeds a through pass to Samuel Holm in the middle but Lance Grona's Melka Jensen comfortably clears the ball out of play. Armakadura rushes out of goal to collect the long ball but it sails just wide. Romapojkana's Alexander Abramson draws a foul from Kofi Fosuhina Sari and Lance Krona receive a free kick. The kick is taken by Adam Ignell who launches it into Romapojkana's box, but finds no takers. The ball bounces out on the sidelines and the referee awards a throw-in for Lance Krona. The Romapojkana captain, Oscar Krusnell, starts a promising counter-attack from his defensive position. He delivers a precision through ball to Samuel Krohn, who pushes forward into the opponent's half of the pitch with deft control and strong dribbling. Krohn quickly passes to Magnussen on the right, who chips in an inviting cross towards the box. The Lance Krohner defense is caught off guard and Oscar Pettersson steps up to meet it, but all his effort yields no result. The ball sails just wide of the target. The players appear fatigued as they slowly trudge back into position, and the game has become yet another eerily quiet stalemate between two teams unable to breach each other's defenses. The spectators in attendance look bored, as do numerous fans watching from home, 
This match may be 1 to 4 in favor of Brahmapoj Khanna, but it's not for lack of trying on either side. The crowd is delighted as Brahmapoj Khanna's Samuel Krohn is charging up the pitch, but Lance Krohn's Kofi Fosuhin Asari appears quickly and snatches the ball away with a great tackle. Fosuhin Asari whips a pass cross field to Camille Jabara, who takes off down the sideline. The crowd cheers as Jabara takes shots after shot on goal, but Brahmapoj Khanna's goalkeeper Oscar Lina stands tall and makes a couple of crucial saves. Lina stays focused, and after a few minutes of intense play, he stops the attack and its tracks a real turning point for Brahmapoj Khanna. Looking back to his days playing part soccer with his mates, it's no surprise that Lina has developed this level of skill it was just in his blood. Romapoj Khanna's midfielder Samuel Holm has the ball in open space and sends it across the pitch in the direction of forward Oscar Pettersson. Lance Krona's defender Melka Johnson is able to make an interception but his touch is heavy and Oscar takes advantage of the opportunity, slamming past Melka and dashing towards goal. Arma Kadura is quick off his line and blocks Pettersson's shot before it can reach the goal. The crowd roars with excitement as both teams battle for possession of the ball. Romapoj Khanna's midfielders put up a strong fight but Lance Krona's defense holds firm. With a few well-timed tackles they manage to keep Romapoj Khanna at bay they are unable to find an opening. The game continues with no team able to increase their score, still at 1-4. It's a tight battle between Brahmapoj Khanna and Lance Krona with no team claiming a goal in the second half so far. Both teams have their midfields locked and we haven't seen any clear-cut chances yet. The play has been focused in the center of the pitch for most of the last few minutes. Romapoj Khanna's Oscar Krusnell and Lance Krona's Kofi Fosuhin Asari have been at the center holding up possession for their respective sides. It looks like Lance Krona has begun to adopt a more attacking stance as we approach minute 80 with Camille Jabara making his presence felt on the left wing. He sets up Usman Jawara in the box but a great clearance by Amadeus Sogard sets up a counter-attack. The ball is now with Romapoj Khanna and Ludwig Fritzen is on it. He drives it forward but suddenly loses control and his teammates groan as they clap him off the pitch. Ludwig, you had one job. Laughs one of them, off to lunch, lad. The referee blows his whistle and play resumes. Lance Krona take the kickoff, with Kofi Fosuhin Asari making a strong run all the way up the pitch. He passes to Usman Jawara, who attempts to make a move, but it's blocked by Brahmapoj Khanna defender Tim Söderström in an impressive tackle. The ball is played back to the midfield, where Brahmapoj Khanna midfielder Samuel Holm controls it and finds Nikola Vazitz in space. He unleashes an attempted cross towards Oskar Pettersson, but Arma Kadura in goal for Lance Krona comes off his line quick enough to collect the ball. The rain has been pouring throughout this match here at Brahmapoj Khanna Arena. Weather conditions have made it extremely difficult for both teams to gain any traction on the pitch. Nevertheless, they play on undeterred. It's been a wild second half. The Brahmapoj Khanna keeper, Oscar Lina, continues doing an impressive job despite the pressure from Lance Krona. The midfielders and forwards are doing a tremendous job controlling the pitch, and Lance Krona haven't managed to break through so far. The crowd has gone wild as Jawara and Jabara rush to tackle the ball. But Sandberg Magnussen is not deterred and he sends an incredible pass to Krohn in the box but it's just out of his reach. Krusnell is relentless as he runs back from defense with the ball and passes it straight to Vazitz, who lands another dangerous shot on goal. The crowd noise is deafening as Lina manages to make yet another save for Brahmapoj Khanna. Great work from both teams and amazing display of skills. The score remains 1-4. The players are looking a bit sluggish as we enter the final quarter of the game. Romapoj Khanna's Oscar Lina is put to the test as he dives full length to tip away a fierce strike from Lance Krona's forward Camille Jabara. Lance Krona are pressing hard now, with David Edvardson in midfield moving up and looking for space. Romapoj Khanna take a quick break, as Samuel Krohn and Oscar Pettersson break quickly on the counter-attack but their shot is blocked by Emil Lindman. Now Lance Krona reclaim possession of the ball and Usman Jawara takes on Tim Söderström but the Brahmapoj Khanna defender puts in a crunching challenge to send it out for a throw-in. 
This game has been slow going so far with neither side managing to trouble either goalkeeper, leaving spectators on their feet wanting more excitement. Landskrona kick off the second half and are attacking towards Bromma Pojkana's goal. Camille Jabara receives the ball from Kofi Fosuhina Sari and tries to make his way into the box. But Oscar Krusnell has closed him down nicely and secures the ball well. Landskrona continues to attack now, as Usman Jawara takes a cross from Emil Lindman but goalkeeper Oscar Linna is alert and catches it easily, sending a loud cheer over the stadium. The crowd is applauding to both teams' efforts so far in this intense game, with Bromma Pojkana having a lead of four goals over Landskrona. Bromma Pojkana looks to take advantage of their lead and pushes forward. Sandberg Magnussen and Fritzen look to push up the pitch but Kadura reads the move and rushes off his line to cleanly collect the ball. Lance Krona then looks to counter-attack and Jabara finds some space on the right side of the pitch. He fights past Sogard and bursts into box but Abramson slides in at the perfect time and makes a crunching tackle, clearing the ball away from danger. The momentum swings back in Bromopojkana's favor as Barzitz charges forward, weaving past several defenders before slipping a pass through towards Pettersson who is denied by an outstanding save from Kadura. Lance Frona breathe a sigh of relief as they scramble back into position as Brome Pojkana continue to press for a fifth goal. The Brome Pojkana defenders clear the ball away from the danger zone, but then we see Nikola Vazic sprinting upfield. He plays a beautiful long ball to Ludwig Fritzen in the center of the box, where he gets off a shot, but it has too much power and goes wide. We then see Lance Verona's midfielder Kofi Fosuhin Asari with a particularly poor performance, failing to make a crucial pass to his forward Usman Jawara. Clearly an opportunity lost with less than 10 minutes left in the game. The game is in full swing. Roma Pojkana are trying to make a comeback, putting all their efforts into the attack with Petrosin and Vazic leading the show. Both teams now having a go at goal, but neither able to commit that final push. Lance Krona's Armacadura is keeping them at bay with some magnificent saves. It's clear and sunny, a perfect day for football. The warm sunshine means that the pitch is in ideal condition as the players continue to give it their all in search of a goal. They don't seem tired yet despite the 79 minutes of play already seen today. The crowd are fully engaged in the action and making some noise to egg on their team. It's a great atmosphere here at Bromopojkana Stadium. Lance Krona with an impressive possession as they weave through Bromma Pojkana's defense, with Lodon leading the attack. He passes to Jabara on the edge of the box, but Sogard from Bromma Pojkana makes a crucial interception. The crowd roars with approval as the ball is quickly intercepted and cleared away from Lance Krona's attacking third. Both teams battle for possession in midfield, with no major chances in sight. The game continues but neither team manages to break through, meaning the game enters its dying minutes at 1-4. Lance Krona continue to dominate possession and attempt to find a way back into this match late on, but it seems as if it is too late for an equalizing goal. The fans keep up their enthusiasm and roaring cheers in support of their team despite the scoreline. The action resumes with a Lance Krona attack. Kofi Fosuhina Sari plays the ball to Camille Jabara, who carefully passes it along to Usman Jawara. Jawara is looking for an opening but runs right into a Bromma Pojkana defender. As they struggle to take the ball out of the mix, David Edvidson speeds into the space and picks up the loose ball. He takes a shot from 25 yards out, but it sails wide of the post. Ah, this match is really heating up. Inevitably, the players are tiring in fact, I heard one player call for a substitution and ask for his twin brother to come on instead. The crowd cheers as Bromma Pojkana plays the ball around, keeping possession as they look for an opening. Lance Krona press forward, but some smart passing from Gustav Sandberg Magnussen and Ludwig Fritzen prevents them from getting a shot on target. Abramson intercepts yet another through ball and lays it off to Sandberg Magnussen, who launches a counter-attack. He sprints down the pitch before slipping it off to Pettersson in the box, who quickly attempts a volley. But Kadura is there in an instant to make the save. The fans erupt into applause for some truly exciting football being played by both sides.
Romapoge can't afford Oscar Pettersson charges down the left flank, pushing the ball to his feet. He blasts through a gap and nears the goal on a thrilling slalom run. Landskrona defender Philip Anderson dives in at the last moment, sliding into Pettersson and sending him sprawling onto the turf. The crowd gasps in anticipation but their sense of dread is short-lived as Pettersson quickly regains his composure and bounds back up to keep challenging the Landskrona defense. The game continues at an absolutely frantic pace, with Bromopojkana looking for a miraculous comeback and Landskrona fighting like cornered tigers to seal their victory. Both teams are pushing for a goal but so far it is coming up empty at both ends as we approach the end of regulation time. There is no lack of breathless excitement from players and fans alike, as this game has been nothing short of electric since minute one. The tension is palpable as players from both sides grapple for control of the ball whilst seeking to make their presence felt on the pitch. Romapojkana's Oscar Pettersson has shown some deft moves on the attack but Landskrona's defense is staying resolute, thwarting his efforts time and time again. The crowd in the stands can sense the imminent threat as they yell and cheer in support of their teams. Now, Landskrona's Kofi Fosuhinasari looks to make a break down the wing but loses control of the ball to Samuel Holm who rapidly launches it upfield. Romapojkana voices fill the arena with roars of approval as Samuel Krohn latches onto the ball and sets off the goal. Cries of attack echo throughout and adrenaline courses through veins as he does his best to outpace defender Philip Anderson. Receiving a pass from Nikola Vazitz, Samuel lines up for a shot at goal but just falls short. He slides and stretches for any opportunity, but it isn't enough. The crowd erupts in disbelief, so close, yet so far away. Landskrona clears their lines and prepares to counterattack yet again. Romapojkana's forward Oscar Pettersson runs towards the box, looking for an opportunity to score. He commits a defender, fakes a shot, and sends a cross into the six-yard box. Meanwhile, Landskrona's goalkeeper Arma Kadura is out of his goal but the defenders scramble to clear the ball away. The crowd is on their feet as Kadura closes the box. Romapojkana midfielder Samuel Krohn rushes in with some nifty footwork to take control of the ball but he's forced it out of bounds. Landskrona quickly throws in and now have possession. Fun fact about Nikola Lodon from Landskrona he was born in Sweden but raised in Ivory Coast. He often takes time during his warm-up to practice his African dance moves that make him stand out among teammates. As we enter minute 87 of play, Bromopojkana and Landskrona are locked in a tense battle. Both teams have created chances but no goals have yet been scored. Oscar Pettersson relentlessly presses the ball upfield for Bromopojkana, but Adam Ignell stands his ground and manages to quell the attack. The players are fighting on despite the scorching sun above them and the pitch appears to be getting increasingly dry as the game progresses. The clouds gradually move away, allowing for plenty of sunlight to reflect off the pitch. Landskrona now launch a counter-attack with Camille Jabara leading the way, but Amadeus Sogard stands firm and manages to win back possession for his team. At this point, Neither team can seem to edge out an advantage as they inch closer towards full-time. All eyes are on the pitch with both teams playing aggressively for a chance at scoring. Romapojkana's Oscar Pettersson is playing with tenacity and skill, fearlessly taking on defenders from Landskrona as he moves closer to their goal. But Landskrona's goalkeeper Arma Kadura is ready for him, quickly making a last-minute save. The other players on the field can do nothing but watch, as Pettersson comes up with one daring move after another, but none of them manage to get him a goal. Pettersson is not giving up though, receiving passes from his teammates and propels himself towards the opposing goal once more, but his final shot goes wide of the post. The clock winds down and the game comes to an end without either team being able to score another goal. The final score stands at 1-4 in favor of Lance Groner. Romapojkana still lead by a three-goal difference. Oscar Pettersson looks to break away and as he bears down on Landskrona's goal, Philip Anderson makes a perfectly timed challenge and puts a stop to the attack. Landskrona regains possession, now it's up to them to make something happen in the final minutes. The sky is overcast, but the sun is fighting its way out through the clouds definitely an improvement over earlier in the day when rain threatened the match. The temperature has cooled off slightly, making it pleasantly breezy on the pitch. The crowd are cheering for their respective teams and trying to will them on to victory as we enter into the final minutes of this intense match.
the final minute ticks by, with Brahmapojkana fighting to hold on to their one goal lead. Lance Krona's defenders move forward in the last minute to try and keep the pressure on. They are pressing hard, and it's clear they want a scoring chance before the final whistle. But it's too late. As the referee signals the end of regulation time, the Lance Krona team drops their heads in disappointment. The Brahmapojkana players fall into celebration as they run off the field cheered and applauded by their fans in the stands. The score remains 1-4 in favor of Brahmapojkana, ending victors in this matchup. The referee brings the game back in play and Brahmapojkana puts pressure on the Landskrona defense. Nikola Lodon clears a pass from Samuel Krohn, but Oscar Pettersson gets to the ball. He takes a shot at goal, but it's blocked by Philip Anderson. Landskrona players try to keep hold of their lead as they continue to press their opponents. The crowd is still cheering on, singing and clapping as both teams fight for possession of the ball. It's a thrilling moment as Brahmapojkana push forward with every ounce of effort they have but it looks like the match will come to a close without any further scoring. The final whistle is blown and the score remains 1-4 in favor of Lance Groner. A huge cheer from the crowd here at Bromer Stadium as the game comes to an end. The second half of this exciting match is winding down with no change to the score. Bromer Pojkada have a flurry of activity in the offensive third, moving the ball around in search of an equalizing goal. Oscar Pettersson weaves his way into the penalty area but his shot is stopped by Arma Kadora. The Landskrona goalkeeper bats away another shot from the right side of the penalty box moments later. Roma Pojkana continues to pressure Onti backline, executing some nice linking passes up front. Alexander Abramson works up a shot from 25 yards out but it's over the crossbar by inches. The referee blows their whistle and Landskrona clear it away quickly. Landskrona look to counter-attack with a long ball from Kofi Fosuhinasari. Camille Jabara makes a great run downfield and gets past Oscar Krusnell and Tim Söderström with his pace, coming close to scoring but it is deflected away just in time by Amadeus Sogard at the edge of the penalty box. We're into extra time now. Both teams are pushing hard and each knows that one well-placed shot can turn this match around in an instant. Both teams have shown great determination thus far and it promises to be an exciting finish. The ball is rolling in the middle of the pitch and Lance Groner quickly passes it forward to Kofi Fosuhin Asari. Asari sends a strong cross-field pass to Jabara, but Brahmapojkana's defenders are quick to pressure him and prompt him to make an error in control. Amadeus Sogard takes the ball from Jabara and quickly passes it forward into Brahmapojkana's attacking third. Nikola Vazitz is holding up the ball well and dribbling towards the goal, but he is brought down by a dangerous tackle from Philip Anderson. The referee's whistle blows, but he only awards a free kick for Brahmapojkana instead of penalizing Anderson with a yellow card. The referee really should have been more attentive and punished this dangerous tackle accordingly. The players are now pushing to score that all-important goal. The suspense is palatable you can feel the anticipation from the Brahmapojkana supporters, hopeful for a last-minute equalizer. On the other side, Landskrona fans are edging their seats, eager for their team to bring home the win in extra time. Oscar Pettersson breaks out and charges forward, sprinting past three defenders. But his drive up the field is stopped short by a decisive tackle from David Edwardson. Landskrona goalkeeper Armakadura runs out to collect the through ball just in time. The crowd roars with excitement as play continues. Landskrona moves upfield but their attack is cut short by an excellent interception from Alexander Abramson. The spell of counter pressure there under forces Brahmapojkana further and further back into their own half of the field and they struggle to keep hold of possession in and around their own box. As time ticks away, both teams are running on fumes and exhaustion sets in, but neither side is willing to give up and throw in the towel as they fight for a valuable point away from home. The game has been exciting so far, but it's all been going Lance Groner's way. Romapojkana is still pushing for an equalizer in extra time, but it remains to be seen if they can do it. Oscar Pettersson and Nico Vazitz are desperately trying to get past defenders Emil Lindman and Melka Jernson, but the Lance Groner defense stands strong. Anderson and Hedenquist are using their tactical prowess to block passing lanes and disrupt Romapojkana's passing game. On the other side, Camille Jabara, Usman Jawara, 
Kofi Fosahina Sari and Adam Ignell are weaving paths and patterns that seem impossible to break through. All the effort is not translating into any real threat on either side of the pitch, and it looks like we're no closer to deciding this match than when we started extra time. The players on both teams are starting to look exhausted after their long efforts and the energy levels in the stadium have gone down significantly as the previously thrilling game has become dull set pieces heavy on defense and with little creativity or flair. It looks like we'll be heading into a penalty shootout. The game is getting more intense as players from both teams rush up to their opponent's goal in an attempt to score the winning point. Both teams are putting on a determined effort to even the score Brahmapoj Khanna are surging forward trying to create dangerous attacking opportunities while Lanskrona defenders stand firm, repeatedly blocking and deflecting shots. The midfielders on both sides are competing fiercely for control of the ball and possession is switching rapidly between rival squads. With minutes ticking away, desperation is setting in for both teams. Oscar Lina, in goal for Brahmapoj Khanna, quickly dives to block a strong shot from Kamil Jabara but almost falls over from the force of it. Kofi Fosuhina Sari takes advantage of Lina's hesitation and steals forward with speed, attempting a header towards goal that narrowly misses at the last second. A flurry of activity follows as passes are completed between players on both teams, attempting to get control closer towards their way however, despite the effort neither team can break past the other's defense and find a way to goalpost. The game continues with an intensity that has built up over extra time as both teams strive for that winning point. Romapoj Khanna continue to press, desperate for an equalizer as the clock winds down. Sandberg Magnussen bursts down the left wing, playing a ball in field for Pettersson. Pettersson pulls away from his marker with a deft first touch and charges for goal. He dribbles past one defender and unloads an effort from the edge of the area but it sails just wide of the post. Lance Krona try to break away downfield but Abramson is quick to react and swipes the ball away, disrupting their attack. The referee blows his whistle signaling full time. Romapoj Khanna will rue that missed opportunity but Lance Krona take a 1-4 win away from home. Nine hundred and three Brahmapoj Khanna have been desperately pushing with the extra time, hoping not to be too late, but Lance Krona keep the pressure and now Oscar Pettersson tries to break through their defensive line. He finds an opening and sprints for it nearly out of breath but Philip Anderson is closing in quickly. Pettersson manages to shoot from a few yards away from the goal, but Kadura dives and catches it safely. As the crowd holds their breath in anticipation, Ama Kadura Lance Krona's goalkeeper calmly jogs back to his place in goal, amidst cheers of admiration from his teammates. They know how hard he's worked all through the game way they've seen several times how he's managed to save some of their shots despite being obviously outnumbered. He is definitely a player that stands out on the pitch. The teams are playing frantically now, chasing the ball all around the pitch with frenetic energy. Romapoj Khanna is pressing high up on the pitch in a desperate attempt to score before time runs out. Lance Krona is doing their best to defend while trying to counterattack whenever an opportunity arises. Nikola Vazit sprints down the right flank with the ball and sets up a cross into the box, but it's cleared away by Melka Jensen. David Edvidson cuts inside and sends a through ball towards Usman Jawara, but Alexander Abramson slides in from behind and clears it away. The players take a corner kick each one of them hoping for that goal that will tie the match but unfortunately it falls short each time as both defenses remain on top of their game. Camille Jabara takes control of the ball and drives up the left side for what looks like a promising attack but gets stopped by Ludwig Fritzen who manages to block his shot and clear it away from danger. And staying with a football theme what do you call an attacker who can never score? A nil striker. We've entered the second minute of extra time and Brahmapoj Khanna have just earned a free kick on the edge of the box. Gustav Sandberg Magnussen steps up to take it, but his effort is blocked and Lance Krona managed to clear the danger. Now Brahmapoj Khanna's Oscar Krusnell is down in pain after a clash with the Lance Krona forward Usman Jawara. He looks to be suffering from an ankle injury and is going to need some medical attention here. The physio is out on the pitch now to assess him as play moves on without him. The game is still delicately poised at 1-4 and this could have an impact on Brahmapoj Khanna's chances of salvaging something from this match. The third extra time period has just started and things are heating up on the pitch. Brahmapoj Khanna is desperately searching for an equalizer, but Lance Krona is putting up a tough defense, 
not giving away any easy chances. The tension is tangible as every player runs their hardest in pursuit of the ball. The whole stadium is cheering wildly in anticipation of a goal, but so far neither team has been able to find the net. The referee seems to be letting play continue despite what looks like a few possible fouls, angering supporters of both teams with the perceived lack of officiation. Both sides are pushing and shoving each other as they fight for possession but these challenges seem to have gone unpunished by the ref who needs to assert control over this fast-paced and heated match if it's going to be decided on the field rather than in the court. Well, that is the end of this riveting battle in Svenska Kupin with the Landskrona Bow is emerging victorious after putting in a tremendous effort. They walked away with the three points and now they can look ahead to their next opponent with confidence. This is an amazing success for the team from Landskrona. Just to qualify was a challenge and now that they have reached the next round it is definitely time for celebration. The players put in an incredible shift and showed real determination and it is going to give them such an advantage moving forward. To get this far is an incredible accomplishment for any team and the Landskrona Boers have seized the moment. It's certainly exciting times ahead as we wait to see who they will face in their quest through Spanska Kupin. Well, that is the end of this riveting battle in Svenska Kupin with the Landskrona Bow is emerging victorious after putting in a tremendous effort. They walked away with the three points and now they can look ahead to their next opponent with confidence. This is an amazing success for the team from Landskrona. Just to qualify was a challenge and now that they have reached the next round it is definitely time for celebration. The players put in an incredible shift and showed real determination and it is going to give them such an advantage moving forward. To get this far is an incredible accomplishment for any team and the Landskrona Bowers have seized the moment. It's certainly exciting times ahead as we wait to see who they will face in their quest through Spanska Kupin.
the referee blows the whistle to kick off the match between Landskrona and Uwe Bru. The two sides cautiously square up against each other in a tense first few minutes. Landskrona's Amakadura is first to make a good save from an early chance from Orobro's Eric Bjorndal. The ball is quickly cleared away and the response from Landskrona brings the ball up to their forwards Usman Jawara and Camille Jabara. A good pass finds Jabara inside the box, but his shot goes just wide of goal. Now it's Uwe Bru who have possession and they look to move it quickly up in search for an opener, but a solid defensive line from Landskrona stops them in their tracks as the score remains 0-0 almost 15 minutes into the game. The referee blows his whistle and Landskrona's Kadura quickly launches the ball up the pitch to Jabara who strides with it to Orobro's goal mouth. Jabara unleashes a powerful shot, but Esklinen is up to the task and saves smartly, pushing the ball wide. The momentum of the match starts to slow as both teams battle for control in midfield, engaging in a tactical battle of give-and-go passes. Joe attempts to break free with a mazy dribble, succeeding in beating one Oe Bru defender but failing to breach their defensive line. Oe Bru counterattack, sending Walker on a run down the right flank with his teammate Bjorndal in tow. Walker cuts back inside as Dahl runs across his cover, creating enough space for Larson to collect the ball and fire off an effort from 25 yards out, only to be denied by Kadera's impressive reflex save. The halftime whistle is blown with neither side able to break their deadlock, the score remains 0-0. The first few minutes of the game have been a cagey affair, with both sides content to take their time and get a feel for one another. Lance Kroner looks to be taking control of the ball possession gradually, with David Edvardson and Adam Ignell moving the ball around quickly in the midfield in search of an opening. Suddenly it looks like disaster for Lance Kroner as Emil Lindman goes down with an apparent knee injury it's certainly a worrying moment as he limps off the field and is replaced by Pontus Bergström. Now Uwe Bru will look to take advantage and build some momentum, while Lance Kroner faces a challenge on how best to reorganize and maintain their balance defensively. The two teams are off to an intense start as they both come out looking for an early lead. Lance Krona midfielder David Edvardson has already had a couple of close opportunities at goal but just narrowly missed the target. On the other end of the pitch, Ourobro's forward Jake Larson receives the ball and bulldozes his way into the box, managing to keep possession of the ball under immense pressure from Eric Hedenquist and Philip Anderson. His aggressive approach has really helped set the tone for this match. The ball is up in the air as Lance Krona midfielder Nicola Lodon pins it with a well-timed header. He spots the streaking Camille Jabara who runs into the box along the right-hand side, leaving Oe Bru defender Samuel Dahl in his wake. Jabara receives a perfect cross pass and quickly looks to take the shot on goal, but he's just a hair too late as the goalkeeper William S. Glynin dives and manages to get his hand on it, barely deflecting it away from goal. That was such a close opportunity for Lance Krona the crowd roars in excitement. Now with possession in hand, Oe Bru look to launch a counter-attack of their own. It's minute four and already the game is taking a feisty turn, as Lance Krona midfielder David Edvardson and Oe Bru defender Nazi Rumoro come together in a fierce battle on the half-line. Edvardson was looking to make an early foray forward, but was stopped in his tracks by a committed tackle from the Oe Bru defender. The two players went shoulder to shoulder before exchanging a few angry words, an early glimpse at the kind of determination and spirit that will characterize this matchup. Lance Krona continue to pressurize their opponents, as Adam Ignell skips past his marker with a deft touch before firing in a low cross along the edge of the six-yard box, only for it to be cut out expertly by Arbro's goalkeeper William Esklinen. A breathless moment of action from Ignell keeps this match alive. The intensity is palpable as the teams go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, but it's been Kofi Fosuhina Sari who is setting himself apart thus far. The combative midfielder has been driving forward with intent and directness, ever eager to link play between his defensive and attacking colleagues. With an eye for a killer pass, he's beginning to carve his own little niche in this game. Lance Krona are playing with speed and determination right out of the whistle, as Philip Anderson finds an opening in the middle of Orobro's defense with a well-placed ball. The pitch stretches wide, with patches of tawny grass indicating the frequent heavy foot traffic of the two teams' hotly contested possession. Kofi Fosuhina Sari takes a courageous run towards the goal, only to be stopped at last by Daniel Bjornquist's timely tackle. 
Armacadura steps up in defense for Lanskrona and successfully diverts William Eskalinen's attempted pass as momentum shifts back to Orobro's side. David Seeger shows power in midfield, passing it masterfully to Eric Bjorndal who is moments away from striking a shot from 10 yards out, but Emil Lindman sprints forward to block his effort. The crowd cheer wildly as neither team have been able to open up the scoreline yet. The Landskrona team is on the attack early in this game and Uwe Bru has yet to find a foothold. Arma Kadura launches a long ball forward to one of their forwards, Camille Jabara, who flicks it on skillfully with his head in turn to Usman Jawara. He brings the ball forward at speed and sends it into the penalty area. Elias Vasum desperately lunges in an effort to clear it but the ball has too much pace and sails right past him and into the back of the net. It's goal! Landskrona take the lead after some clinical attacking play. The crowd are going wild as they celebrate their first goal of the game. The action is hotting up in Landskrona as the teams take to the pitch for the first half. You can feel the tension in the air as Ouroboros Eric Bjorndal moves quickly down the right flank, while sending a long ball towards Kevin Walker. Walker neatly passes it back to Elias Barsum, who sends an ambitious shot sailing right towards Arma Kadera's goal. The Landskrona keeper dives and sends a beautiful save, managing to keep the scoreline still level at 0-0. Seconds later, Philip Anderson flies down the left side of the pitch for Landskrona and crosses a perfectly weighted pass towards Usman Jawara in front of goal. He takes aim but his shot is blocked by Nazi Rumora from Oe Bru. It's a thrilling show so far as both teams display exceptional skill and tactics in their plays. Lance Krona is pressing hard into the Oe Bru half, with Usman Jawara leading the charge. He's quickly joined by Kofi Fosuhina Sari, who tries to send a through ball forward. Ouroboros' defense holds firm and shouts from defensive midfielder Elias Barsum keep him from having time and space to pick his pass. Lance Krona's attack stalls and eventually leads to a counter from Oe Bru, with Eric Bjorndal leading the break. He looks up and spots Jake Larson in space at the far edge of the box. He sends a searching cross in for Larson, but Philip Anderson is there to make an impressive sliding interception just inches before it could reach him. The crowd roars in approval, applauding both sides' determination and skill on display this early in the game. Both teams jostle for possession as they look to make something happen inside the opening 10 minutes. In this moment of calm following Anderson's last-ditch save, we'd like to take a closer look at today's man of the match, Philip Anderson. A number 4 on Lance Krona's defense line, he has been making sure that nothing gets past him so far in today's game. His skills as a defender are being put off good use by his team today as his tackles have kept Ouroboros' offense at bay so far. Players on both sides of the pitch are not giving up as they battle for possession of the ball. Lance Krona's Nicola Lodon puts a brave tackle to win the ball back after Ouroboros' Jake Larson had forced his way through their defense. Both teams rush forward trying to create chances, but Kofi Fosuhina Sari is unable to keep the ball in play with his close-range shot. Sven Mortensorn is quick to take control of the ball away from Emil Lindman, before his pass is blocked by Eric Hedenquist for Lance Krona. The crowd roars on in anticipation as Victor Backman feeds through a beautiful pass towards David Seeger, but Nazi Rumora manages to deflect it cleverly away from danger. Kudos to both teams for showing incredible enthusiasm and dedication this match is getting more intense by the minute. Players are pushing hard and challenging each other's every move Usman Jawara nearly gets past Daniel Bjornquist for Landskrona, but is stopped just short of crossing into their box. The score remains 0-0 at half-time, with both teams still evenly matched. Great job by all involved tonight, kudos to the crowd in attendance who have been eagerly cheering on throughout this exciting game. The Uwe Bru side starts to gain more control of the ball and the home team's defense is struggling to keep up. Elias Barsum takes possession and advances towards Lance Krona's defensive line before making a superb through ball to Eric Bjorndal who breaks through the defense and unleashes a powerful low strike from close range that beats Arma Kadura. The away team has taken the lead as Bjorndal puts them ahead in emphatic fashion. The Uwe Bru supporters are roaring in delight as their side scores first in this thrilling match. The ball is played back to Kadura in the Landskrona goal and he quickly sends a well-placed square pass out wide to Nikola Lodon. Lodon hops and charges forward, shielding off a defender with his body strength and skill. 
He manages to find and open David Edvardson who slipped in between two Oi Bru defenders. Edvardson confidently maneuvers his way through the tight corridor of Oi Bru defenders, displaying extraordinary control and dribbling skill as the crowd roar in excitement. In the meanwhile, Eric Hedenquist displays outstanding defensive work on the other side of the pitch. He wins possession from his opposition hard and fast, sending a direct pass ahead to find Kofi Fosu-Inasari waiting upfield. The match is getting tense as both teams work tirelessly in the midfield, exchanging passes and looking for ways to break the deadlock in this fiercely contested game. Both teams have had promising counter-attacks but have been well defended by their opponents. Right now, it's Landskrona who are on the offensive, driving forward towards the Uwe Bru goal with a quick passing move, trying to open up gaps in the defense. Their hopes are dashed though as a great clearance from Daniel Bjornquist sends them back into their own half of the field. The pitch looks lush and inviting but clearly carries some dampness in the air. Players' boots slide slightly on this natural grass field, keeping everyone wary of potential missteps that could swing the balance of power away from them. One wrong move and you can be sure the other team will make them pay for it. There's a scramble for the ball in midfield now as Nico Lodon of Lance Groner battles for possession with Kevin Walker from Oi Brew. The two players are both vying for the ball but it's an impressive display of athleticism from both Nico and Kevin as they try to gain an advantage. Suddenly, Nico skillfully dispatches the ball to the feet of Camille Jabara who releases it out wide to Kofi Fosuhina Sari. Kofi swiftly sends a powerful cross into the penalty box but it's cleared off the line by Nezi Rumoro, who slides in spectacularly. Great defending there. The stadium is alive with excitement everyone here is fully engaged in this gripping battle between two evenly matched teams. We could be heading towards extra time if these teams can't be separated after 90 minutes. Also, a quick shout out to David Edvardson of Lance Groner, just before the match he shared with me that he was playing in his fourth game since returning from an ankle injury last week, great resilience from David. Give him a round of applause folks. The UA Bru side is starting to take control of the game with a combination of short, quick passes between their midfielders, Victor Backman and David Seeger. They make a few attempts to break through Lance Groner's defense but so far they have been held off by Eric Hedenquist and Melka Jernson. Adam Ignell of Lance Groner receives the ball and drives it down the center towards Kofi Fosuhin Asari. Asari makes a run for it down the left wing but is stopped in his tracks by Nezi Rumoro who slides in from behind with an impressive tackle. The crowd erupts with cheer. Joke alert Q what did Kofi Fosuhin Asari say to his teammate before taking the corner kick? Hey it's time to kick up a storm. We are just past the 20th minute of play in this high stakes match between Lance Krona and Uwe Bru and the game is still tied at 0-0. Things on the pitch have been intense, with neither side willing to give an inch. The ball is currently in possession of the Lance Krona midfield, in particular Kofi Fosuhina Sari who started out as a winger but has a penchant for popping up in all places on the pitch. He dodges past three players from Oi Bru before unleashing a powerful shot from outside of the box, but it goes just a bit wide, much to his, and the other Lance Krona players. Disappointment. Now we see Philip Anderson at it for Lance Kroner, making an exhilarating run down the center of the field. His teammates quickly follow suit and join him in attack before Ouroboros' defense is able to regroup their shape. Eric Hedenquist takes over possession and seeks out an opportunity, but a strong challenge from Daniel Bjornquist results in a free kick for Lance Kroner instead. Underscore Anderson steps up to take it and puts his effort just inches short of hitting target. Oh and what a game it is turning out to be here. 22 minutes in and both teams are still searching for a breakthrough. Lance Krona's midfielder Fosuhina Sari seems to be getting the better of his opponents with his speed and agility as he drives up the field, but Ouroboros' defense is standing firm and William S. Clinton looks solid between the sticks. We're hearing lots of cheers and jeers from the crowd of 17,000 today inside this stunning stadium. Both ends of the field are surrounded by colorful stands giving it an amazing atmosphere to play in. The surrounding architecture is breathtaking with its glistening white walls mixed with red tiling and a domed roof that circles around like a halo above, creating a great view for fans here in Landskrona. Landskrona's Kofi Fosuhina Sari is making a run down the left flank, swiftly controlling the ball and breezing past defenders. 
he sends a long-range pass towards Nikola Lodon who is winding himself up for a shot at goal. The crowd roars with anticipation as he strikes, but his shot is blocked off by Daniel Bjornquist from Oebru before it can reach the net. The stadium erupts with cheers and applause. Oebru quickly tries to launch a counter-attack, with Victor Backman looking to start something on the right flank. He takes on two Landskrona defenders before cutting inside and releasing an exquisite pass towards Jake Larson up front. There's an audible gasp of air around the stadium as Jake takes a touch and shoots, but Amakadura in goal pulls off an incredible diving save, pushing the ball out of play. Landskrona's supporters let out an almighty cheer in relief. Landskrona comes away from Uebru with the ball, probing for an opening in the defense. Kadura sends a long ball out wide to Adams Ednell on the right flank, who dribbles towards the middle and slices through three defenders with an array of quick touches. Points his run up to the penalty box and cuts back out to Lindman, who receives and takes a shot on goal, Esklinen spills it wide but parries a follow-up drive from Jabara into his hands. Now a long ball over the top puts Shawara in one-on-one -on -one with Bergmark, but just as he takes aim at goal, Dahl makes an important last-ditch sliding tackle to deny him a chance at goal. What composure and strength from Dahl to make that stop. We're still at 0-0 as we move into the 25th minute. The game is getting more heated as the clock ticks on. Landskrona's midfield combination of Lodon, Edvardsson, and Kofi Fosuhina Sari have been trading passes in the center of the pitch, trying to work their way through Ouroboros' defense. Meanwhile, Eric Hedenquist, in defense for Landskrona has continued to throw himself in front of attacking balls in an effort to keep the visitors at bay. In contrast Oebru have had plenty of attacking threats down the left-hand side with Walker and Elias Barsum looking to combine and combine again making small runs into the final third and then breaking away just as quick. The crowd is really roaring now with plenty of support for both sides. The two teams continue to battle back and forth in the midfield with neither side able to seize the advantage. Landskrona have a great chance as Philip Anderson volleys across from Kofi Fosuhi Nassari, but the shot is blocked by Ouroboros Niklas Bergmark. The tempo of the game picks up as both teams desperately search for the opening goal. Eric Hedenquist looks to make amends, launching a long-range effort which narrowly misses over the crossbar. Meanwhile, David Edvardsson receives a harsh criticism from his teammates after his sloppy losing of possession in his own half. The match is set to resume as the players of both teams storm back onto the pitch, eager to take the game in their own hands. Kofi Fosuhi Nassari of Landskrona steals the ball from his counterpart at Hoi Bru and launches a thunderous strike on goal. Esplinin dives for the save but he just can't make it with an incredible show of reflexes. The home crowd erupts as the ball lands at the back of the net, giving Landskrona a 1-0 lead over Hoi Bru. The roar of excitement is deafening. Fosuhina Sari celebrates with his teammates under volleyed cheers from the stands. They will try to keep their advantage through this hard-fought encounter. Landskrona is on the offensive as Kofi Fosuhina Sari fights his way through defending midfielders. He lays a pass off to Camille Jabara who takes off. Jabara drives upfield, leaving his opponents in his wake and approaches Ouroboros' box. He looks for an opening, stops and shoots, a powerful strike but saved by Esklinen. Landskrona never backs down, the ball quickly bounces back into play as Adam Ignell pounces on it. He navigates past the defenders, gets to the top of the box and slams a powerful shot into the back of the net. The stands erupt with a deafening roar as Landskrona takes the lead with an unstoppable strike from coveted midfielder Ignell. And now it's 1-0 in favor of Landskrona. This is shaping up to be an intense match, folks. The Uebru midfielders push the ball into the final third, with David Seeger acting as on the facilitator and orchestrator of the move. Seeger finds Eric Bjorndal near the edge of the 18-yard box who unleashes a beautiful shot that just misses wide of goal. The Landskrona centre-backs join in the attack as Nikola Lodon drives towards goal. He evades several would-be defenders, brushing off some adamant defending from Daniel Bjornquist and Eric Hedenquist. However, Hedenquist manages to get his foot in before Lodon can shoot and he goes down in pain. The referee briefly stops play for an injury check on Hedenquist and Hell have to be stretched off the pitch for further assessment, with Kofi Fosuhinasari set to come on in his place. 
Despite these valiant efforts from Oe Bru, Lance Krona still leads 2-0 as we enter halftime. The midfielders of Landskrona continue to fight through Ouroboros' defense to try and get in a goal, but Ouroboros' back line holds them off. Passes are exchanged quickly among both teams, as the game stays balanced for a few intense minutes. In minute 33, however, an aggressive tackle from Ouroboros' Victor Backman takes down Landskrona's David Edwardson, sending him to the ground in pain. Play stops as the medical team rushes onto the pitch to attend to him. After a few moments Edvardson apparently has escaped injury and is able to rejoin the action, signaling a big sigh of relief from the home side. Despite some challenged attacking play by both sides, no goal is scored, as the players head back into their respective changing rooms with the score still unaltered at 2-0 in Lanskrona's favour. The crowd is cheering as the teams take their positions and kick off the match. Landskrona quickly gained possession and set up a promising attack. Kadura, Lindman and Jensen push up for the attack, shifting Oe Bru on their back foot. Fosuhina Saru slips A through pass to Jawara in the box, but Nazi Rumoro, tracking back for Oe Bru, is all over him and dispossesses him with a well-timed tackle before he can get his shot off. Landskrona still have the ball though and Lodon finds Camille Jabara in space on the edge of the area, who threads an accurate pass through Backman's legs towards Edvardson on the right wing. Edvardson takes one touch to control it and quickly spots an opportunity to cross, only for Bjornquist to cut it out just in time and clear it away from danger. The crowd is getting louder now with every tackle they see. Spectators on the edge of their seat in anticipation as the Landskrona offense is quickly entering the Ouroboros' last line of defense. Goalkeeper William Esplinen is forming a tight wall of defense with his defenders Samuel Dahl, Daniel Bjornquist, Nazi Rumoro, and Niklas Bergmark for any oncoming attack. The midfielders Elias Barsum, Victor Backman, David Seeger and Kevin Walker are tracking the movement of David Edvardson as he posses with the ball. Adam Ignell joins him in a dual offensive move when suddenly Kevin Walker slides from behind and challenges the play by snatching away possession from both players. The intensity in the stadium increases as these competent opponents battle it out on the pitch. The fans roar in admiration at Kevin Walker who races toward Lance Groner's goalpost with skillful speed leaving all players behind him in awe. It looks like he will be able to score a goal until goalkeeper Ama Kadura dives forward and stops the ball just inches away from hitting his goalpost. What an incredible save by Kadura. Everyone can feel their heart pounding at this point especially coach Eric Hedenquist who jumps up off his seat roaring with energy. After more exhausting moments Landskrona finally manages to send its counter-attack forward with Usman Jawara leading its arduous struggle for a goal but nothing is settled as we are closing in on finish of first half and score remains 2-0 in Ouroboros' favor. The ball is in play with Landskrona attacking Uwe Bru as the teams fight for control in the midfield. Philip Anderson on the left side unleashes a long pass deep into Ouroboros' defense, looking to connect with Kofi Fosuhina Sari, but Daniel Bjornquist is there in time with a timely tackle. Bjornquist takes possession and immediately moves forward, but Emil Lindman is quick to challenge him, resulting in a skirmish which sees Lindman come out worst. He's limping away, clutching his knee and calling for medical attention as he's helped off the pitch, it looks like an injury for the home team. Play continues and both sides are launching attacks against each other, but so far neither side has been able to break through the other's defense and convert a chance into a goal, the score remains at 2-0. The referee signals for the match to resume, and Philip Anderson passes the ball to Kofi Fosuhina Sari in the midfield. Ouroboros' Victor Backman challenges him for the ball, but Fosuhina Sari deftly sidesteps him and sprints forward before winning Lance Krona a free kick. Usman Jawara strides confidently forward, striking the ball brilliantly towards William Eskalinen's goal. The goalie dives to make a spectacular save and his team manages to clear away the danger safely. The crowd roars in appreciation of Eskalinen's reflexes. Outside the stadium, sunny skies rain down on Landskrona while a gentle breeze blows. The perfect day for a game of soccer, ideal conditions for playing and watching. The full stadium remains in a buzz of excitement as the action continues on the pitch. Lance Krona starts an attack with Kadura punting a long pass upfield which is picked up by Jabara and sending it to Jawara. 
He threads a clever pass back to Jabara who is immediately closed down by Bjorndal, who manages to make a sliding tackle and get the ball away from danger. The battle for possession rages on as Anderson gets the ball in his feet and darts forward, beating several Uwe Brew players with his skill but sadly playing a bad cross that goes wide of goal. The fans groan in disappointment. Bjornquist looks to take advantage of this opportunity, picking up the loose ball and running forward before having it taken away from him by Fosahi Nasari who quickly covers back defensively. The two teams are locked in an intense battle for control, with both sides displaying great levels of individual skill and teamwork. The grass looks well groomed underfoot as the players race around trying to make something happen, but both keepers are making great saves so far for their respective sides. The ball is passed back to Lance Frona's keeper, Armakadura, and he quickly clears it up the field. Oye Brew forward Jake Larson picks up the ball on the right wing and skips past his marker as he heads towards the goal. He comes up against Eric Hedenquist of Landsfroda, who puts in an excellent tackle to take the ball away just feet in front of goal. Camille Jabara, Landsfroda's forward and star player, makes an amazing run upfield with the ball at his feet. He passes it to Kofi Fosuhina Sari on the left flank, who one touches a pass back to Jabara just inside Ouroboros area. Jabara has only a split second to react but manages to shoot into the bottom corner of Freddy Eskalinen's net, wonderfully worked from start to finish by Jabara and Asari. The score is now 2-0 in favor of Landskrona and eagle-eyed fans have no doubt noticed the outstanding bit of teamwork between Jabara and Asari during that successful play, a testament to their skill. Outstanding work from two world-class players. The match is coming to a close and the score remains 2-0. It's been an exciting match, with Uwe Brew dominating in the first half, using their passing accuracy and offensive flair to put Landskrona under pressure. They created several chances, only for Landskrona's outstanding defensive line including Emil Lindman and Melka Jernsen to shut down every attempt. In the second half, Kofi Fosuhina Sari led the way for Landskrona with some breathtaking runs that created opportunity for Oye Bru to unsettle their opponents. With exceptional defending from Samuel Dahl and Daniel Bjornquist in particular, Oye Bru were able to maintain their clean sheet. In the end it was Lance Groner who took the victory but both sides should be commended for a well-contested match. Kadura takes the ball from the kickoff and looks to spark something from the back, opting for a long ball forward. But it's intercepted by Bjornquist, who instantly starts Ouroboros counter-attack. He finds Walker on the edge of the box, who plays a dangerous pass across goal. Jawara steps in to clear the danger for Lance Groner. Back and forth we go as Varsun picks up the loose ball and tries again. He chips it through two defenders towards Larson, but Anderson slides in with a well-timed tackle and clears it away to safety. Lance Krona regained possession and now dare breaking quickly. Jabara feeds Jawara on the edge of the box he takes a touch, cuts inside past Morrow and unleashes an unstoppable shot. Esplinin is beaten gu u o a o Lance Krona go 2-0 up with a magnificent finish. They haven't been able to grab one back yet. No sign of slowing down here as Armakadura throws it long into Ouroboros' half. Bjorndal sends it down his left flank as Fosuhina Sari charges forward. He looks for an opportunity but Bergmark steps in to make an important challenge oh that was close. Lance Krona still have possession though, and they look like Dare about to launch another attack. Lance Krona's Nikola Lodon is making a strong run at the middle of the field, dodging past Uwe Brew players with ease. He passes the ball off to Usman Jawara on the left wing, who immediately looks for options. David Edvidson comes in for support and together they break through Ouroboros' defense. Camille Jabara collects the ball at the edge of the box and takes a powerful shot, just missing the goal. Eric Hedenquist is a defensive rock for Lant Krona and is having an excellent game as usual. Just now he made a seemingly impossible sliding tackle that thwarted an attacking move from Oe Brew. His agility and awareness are what makes him so impressive to watch this season. The ball is back in play as an Uwe Bru midfielder kicks off. Landskrona's Camille Jabara is looking to get involved, running at the opposing defense with his trademark speed. As the possession passes to the Uwe Bru backline, Teresa crunching tackle by Melka Jernsen. The referee on the scene calls for a foul, much to the frustration of the Uwe Bru players and manager. The referee has missed a few calls tonight and these Landskrona players are feeling hard done by it seems like they should have had at least one penalty this game. 
Eric E. Denquist now takes possession for Lance Groner and sets up David Edvardson for a long-range effort. Oh, it sails just wide. Close but no goal. Kofi Fosuhina Sari is quickly picked up by Niklas Bergmark from Oe Bru who clears it away towards Victor Backman. Backman plays it low for Jake Larson to break through. He bounds ahead with a clear track but Philip Anderson is there in time to take the ball away from him and send it over to Adam Ignell on the left flank. Ignell drops his shoulder and steals past Bergmark, what control. He sends a teasing cross into dangerous territory but Dahl gets in front of Usman Jawara to head away into safety great defending. As the second half of this thrilling matchup between Lance Kroner and Oe Bru starts, Kofi Fosuhina Sari takes possession and gallops forward. He passes to David Edvardson on the left, who turns it upfield to Adam Ignell. Ignell dribbles around Samuel Dahl, keeping pace with the ball, and strides into the opposing half. He threads a pass through Victor Backman's legs towards Nikola Lodon in the center circle. Lodon takes one touch to settle himself and then plays a beautiful chipped pass over the top for Usman Jawara in the box. The pitch is alive with tension as Jawara shoots from 10 yards out. But his goal kick flies narrowly wide of William Escalinen's far post. Inches away from an equalizer for Lance Kroner. Lance Kroner kicks off the play and a nimble passing game between Armacadura, Eric Hedenquist, Melka Jensen, and Nicola Lodon puts pressure on Oe Bru. Through the midfield Elias Basum reclaims possession for Oe Bru but soon to find his path blocked by a well-positioned Daniel Bjornquist. Oye Bru begins a dizzying passing game with Jake Larson on the wing and Victor Backman at its center pushing through defense. The ball is sent soaring towards William Escalinen's box as David Seeger leaves his mark on the pitch with an energetic tackle towards Kofi Fosuhina Sari. The ball is knocked loose and sent careening across to Lance Kroner's side of the pitch, where an unfortunate collision sees Camille Jabara coming away with an injury. He's stretched off the pitch as Melka Jernson replaces him in midfield and play resumes in spite of Lance Kroner's loss of a scoring threat but so far it continues to be 0-0 to zero as the game rumbles on. Lance Kroner's Asari takes the ball forward, charging down the pitch. He's got a few players in his way, but dives past them with ease. You can see he has intention to shoot, only for Oye Bru defender Dahl to make a crucial interception. Now Oye Bru have possession, dare passing it around their backfield in an attempt to build their attack. But Lance Kroner are hot on their heels, pressuring them diligently. Referee blows his whistle and awards a free kick to Lance Kroner for a reckless tackle committed by Backman of Oe Bru. The referee had no choice but to make this call and booking Backman in the process. Fans from both sides cheer as play is now back in full swing. The second half kicks off, and Kadura starts with a long kick out to Jabara. He plays the ball up to Jawara, and they pass it among the midfielders before Seeger puts it out wide to Walker on the left side. Walker takes a touch and cuts inside before looking for Larson in the middle, but Lindman is there to break it up and send the ball back towards goalkeeper Kadura. Just as he's about to go for the clearance though, Kadura gets taken out by Morrow in a reckless challenge, sending him down and holding his leg in pain. The referee awards Kadura a free kick and Morris into trouble with a yellow card. A stretcher is brought on for Kadura looks like he won't be able to continue but there will be no substitute goalkeeper as Lance Kroner have already made all three of their substitutions last half. Ignell intends to step into goal for now as Armour hobbles off the pitch. The score remains 0-2 early on in this second half but Lance Kroner are potentially facing a huge setback here with their goalkeeper out of the game. Lance Kroner are pushing forward searching for a way to get back into the game against Oe Bru. They nearly have a great opportunity as Nicola Lodon charges into the box and sends the ball towards on-rushing forward Usman Jawara, but Ouroboros Nazi Rumoro gets back just in time to make a last-ditch tackle and clear the danger away. The Lance Krona players are still full of energy despite chasing a two-goal deficit, as Kofi Fosuhi Nasari plays a long ball out wide to Camille Jabara. Jabara charges down the right flank with the ball at his feet, displaying some fantastic skills to take on several defenders before skating past them and sending in an inch-perfect cross towards an unmarked Jawara in the six-yard box. In an act of faith, Jawara throws himself into an acrobatic ability upon contact with the ball in hope of finding the target for a goal, but his effort breezes agonizingly wide off the post. 
The crowd hold its breath momentarily before being broken up in cheers as it was nevertheless an inspired display from Lance Kroner and their players need not be disappointed with this heroic effort. The commentators are calling it a tight match and Lance Kroner seems determined to extend their lead. They press forward, launching a string of successive attacks on the Oi Brew defense. Nicola Lodon looks to break past defender Samuel Dahl, but is stopped short by a trip from the defender, the referee awards Lance Groner a free kick. However, disaster strikes when Kofi Fosuhi Nasari goes up for the ball and takes a nasty fall resulting in an injury. The crowd collectively groans as medical staff runs onto the pitch to attend to him. The referee stops the game while they check on Kofi's condition and stretcher him off the field, it appears he may have broken something. The game restarts with the score still 2-0 in Lance Groner's favor and both teams cautiously returning to action to avoid any further injuries before the final whistle. Lance Groner launch an attack and the ball is played forward to Camille Jabara in the midfield. Camille curls a beautiful pass to Kofi Fosuhina Sari who is charging down the left wing. He cuts inside and whips a shot towards Esklinen in goal for Oi Bru, but Daniel Bjornquist dives in with a last-ditch tackle and clears the ball away. The players are all battling hard under the warm summer sun. The pitch is full of energy, both teams pushing for a goal, yet neither giving away any space on the field. The sky is clear blue with a few fluffy white clouds, while the sun is beating down on the pitch providing an ideal atmosphere for a soccer match. The second half of the Lance Grona vs. Oi Bru soccer game is underway. Both teams are desperately searching for a goal, but so far neither has been able to break the deadlock. The ball is suddenly played out wide to Adam Ignall in midfield for Lance Grona. He cuts quickly inside in an attempt to open up some space for his team. But just as he does, David Seeger from Oi Bru moves into position and makes a perfectly timed interception. Seeger quickly plays the ball forward to Victor Backman in the midfield. Backman controls it brilliantly and puts himself in a great attacking position. It looks like Hell be able to launch an attack from here. Backman takes off on a long run across the field as his opponents struggle to keep up with him. He blows past one defender before being forced out of bounds at the other end of the pitch, much to the delight of the Oi Bru crowd. Seeger again demonstrates his fantastic ability to read situations and make perfectly timed interventions, saving his team from potential danger while inspiring them with positive attacking intent. Lance Kroner is launching an attack, with the midfielders leading the way in an organized and strategic move. Arma Kadura, the goalkeeper from Lance Grona, throws the ball and its rope to Nicola Lodon down the pitch. Kofi Fosuhinasari jumps into action and takes control of the ball. He evades two defenders and is heading towards the top corner of Ouroboros' goal. He takes a powerful strike, but his shot is blocked by David Seeger just inches away from the target. The intensity is rapidly increasing on the pitch as Oe Brew rallies around the ball and attempts to score an equalizer while they gather their strength and momentum. Samuel Dahl keeps a close watch on Usman Jawara as he quickens his pace across the field, dodging passes to break out of Ouroboros' defense line. Daniel Bjornquist intercepts Jawara, who responds with a powerful shot on goal which Esplin encounters with a tight save. The crowd erupts in an electric cheer as time winds down to its conclusion. Lance Krona striker Camille Jabara is making a good move on the pitch, he sprints past two of the defenders from Oe Bru, but his shot is blocked by William Esklinen. Eric Hedenquist manages to get past Samuel Dahl, but fails to make anything of it as Nazi Rumoro blocks his attempt at goal. Moments later, David Edwardson sends a powerful strike that just misses the far post of the net. The score is still 2-0 and both teams are finding it difficult to find a way through each other's defense. However, there have been a few sparks of brilliance from Oe Bru midfielder Victor Backman. He has almost single-handedly been keeping the team afloat with his creative passing and tireless energy on the pitch. He is truly showing why he is one of Ouroboros' most important players this season. The game resumes with a fierce battle in the midfield, Lance Groner's Adam Ignell and Ouroboros' David Seeger pushing each other back and forth trying to reach the ball first. Ignell successfully outmaneuvers Seeger and launches a long pass down the pitch towards Camille Jabara, a promising young forward recently signed by Lance Groner. 
Jibara goes up against Uwe Bru defender Daniel Bjornquist and manages to quickly get the ball out of his feet, shooting marginally wide. The referee calls for a break in play and Uwe Bru takes an opportunity to regroup their defense. On the sidelines, it's all smiles between some Uwe Bru players, specifically Nazi Rumoro, who iconic celebrations have captivated fans around Sweden. Even in today's match where there is no score to celebrate, he can be seen clapping his hands and doing several dance moves to encourage and motivate his team. Landskrona's goalkeeper Kadura dives swiftly to his side in an attempt to save a powerful shot from Oye Bru. The crowd cheers with excitement as Kadura makes an incredible save. Eric Hedenquist from Landskrona has been making too many sloppy passes, leaving a lot of attacking opportunities for Oye Bru. He needs to pick up the intensity if Landskrona is to get back into the game and avoid a brutally embarrassing defeat. The teams are in the middle of a thrilling match as Uwe Bru try to find the back of the net and close in on Landskrona's lead. The stands are buzzing with anticipation and both teams have a sense of urgency in their play. Down on the pitch, Landskrona have just won a free kick, with David Edvardsson readying for a shot at goal. He sends an arcing shot towards Eskalinen's goal. The goalkeeper manages to make an impressive save and sends it out for a corner kick. Now Kofi Fosuhina Sari is ready to take it. He places the ball carefully before sending it towards the penalty area. But there is some strong defending from Oe Bru, who managed to clear the danger away from their box and upfield. The action continues, with both teams trying to gain control of the game fast-paced, frantic offense versus resolute defense. The pressure is on and the match hangs in a balance. The referee has blown the whistle, and it's the restart of play at Landskrona vs Oe Bru. Nikola Lodon strides forward with the ball at his feet, making a weaving run through the midfield before releasing a pinpoint accurate pass to Camille Jabara out on the wing. Jabara shows incredible skill to control the ball, keeping it expertly under pressure from two defenders before he's able to send it arcing back towards goal. David Seeger is in hot pursuit for Oe Bru, but he can't make up ground quickly enough as Jabara unleashes an unstoppable shot past an outstretched William Esklin. What a remarkable solo effort from Camille Jabara. The ball is currently in the possession of Oe Bru, as they make their way up the pitch. Their midfielders spread out wide, looking for an opportunity to get a ball forward to their forwards. However, Landskrona's defense is proving sturdy, with careful marking and difficult challenges interrupting Arbro's progress. The play moves back into the middle of the field now, with both teams battling hard for possession. The intensity picks up with every touch of the ball and the crowd gets louder. Dot it seems that both teams have hit a point of stagnation in this game, as most of Arbro's attacks are unable to make an impact on the Landskrona defense. Neither team is really creating any clear-cut chances either all this passing and counter-attacking has become quite tedious and uneventful for spectators to watch. It looks like neither team will be able to break through this deadlock and score another goal clearly not what the fans had expected from this game. Landskrona midfielder Adam Ignell takes the ball, dribbling it and weaving through the midfield with deft skill. He passes to Camille Jabara, who advances and sends a shot curling towards the goal of Ouroboros keeper William Esplinen. The crowd gasps as Esplinen dives for the ball, but his fingertips are just a second too slow. It sails into the net and Landskrona scores. Jokes abound in the stands as Uwe Bru defender David Seeger comes alive on the pitch. He sprints from one end of the field to other with tremendous speed, leaving his opponents in his wake. A fan shouts out his speed is so great that if he were a race car, he would have to be taken to a mechanic for regular oil changes. The match is heating up with both teams pushing hard for a goal, but they are locked in a stalemate. Landskrona's Kofi Fosuhina Sari is making an absolute impact out there, fighting for every ball and driving his team forward. He's been the catalyst of their offense all game long and almost netted his first goal a few minutes ago with a perfectly placed shot that just smacked off the post. But so far ending this match without any goal scored is looking likelier as both teams battle for a breakthrough. The second half of the Landskrona Stadium continues, with the home side Landskrona in command of a 2-0 lead over their opponents Oye Bru. 
David Seeger of the visiting team is determined to give his team the momentum they need, and makes an electrifying run forward. He sails past three players in the midfield and marches towards the box, but his shot is blocked by a collapse of blue shirts. The stadium booms with cheers as Usman Jawara leads his team in an impressive counterattack. The nimble winger speeds across field and passes to Kofi Fosuhin Asari on the wing, but the attack stalls out before it can reach its destination. Goalkeeper Esplin and surrounds himself with a wall of defenders who scramble back to shut off any passing lanes. As minute 66 ticks on, Niklas Bergmark takes control for Uwe Bru and commands possession for his side. He passes out wide to Kevin Walker on the wing, who dribbles twice inside before smashing a long cross towards Eric Bjorndal in front of goal. It's just too far away Daniel Bjornquist on defense is there to neutralize it before any damage can be done. The atmosphere here at Landskrona Stadium is electric, towering edifices wrap around a bowl-shaped pitch, providing shade and acoustics that echo around every pass and tackle made on this lush green field. And today has been no different, with a jeering crowd behind them and their faithful fans ready to jump up out of their seats each time their team possesses the ball. Kadura makes a crucial save with an incredible stretch to keep out a shot from Bjorndal. The rebound falls to Seeger, but his shot is blocked by Lindman. Brilliant defending from the experienced centre-back. Saw Edvardsson attempt an ambitious chip at the other end that was poured away by Esplin in the Oe Bru goal. Play switches sides and it looks as though Oe Bru will launch an attack on Landskrona's goal. The ball finds its way back to Walker who sends a tantalising cross into the heart of the box, only for Fosuhin Asari to head clear. The ball runs kindly back to Backman and he drives upfield before firing a long-range effort off towards the goal, but Kadura shovels it wide. No clear-cut chances yet but Landskrona are still holding firm at 2-0. Landskrona have possession at the moment, and they are pushing for the goals. The defenders are pushing up the pitch, trying to create chances for their forwards. David Edwardson is doing exceptionally well skillfully pushing forward through midfield and passing short balls to other attacking players. Morrow is putting in a great defensive performance, intercepting every Landskrona attack with ease. Down the left flank, Kofi Fosuhin Asari is struggling with his passing accuracy, his passes often being overhit and missing their intended targets all too often. Landskrona has possession of the ball and is pushing forward with Camille Jabara leading the charge down the right side of the pitch. Kofi Fosuhin Asari accelerates past several Uwe Bru defenders and charges into the penalty box. He takes a shot on goal, but it flies just wide of the post. The crowd roars their approval in response to this intense action. Meanwhile, David Edvardsson dribbles around his defender and passes further up to Adam Ignell. Ignell puts pressure on Victor Backman as he tries to take control of the ball, but Backman wins out in the end and passes back to Nicholas Bergmark. Bergmark takes a few quick steps towards goal and attempts to chip it over Arma Kadura, but Kadura is able to reach up in time and make a spectacular save. The crowd erupts into cheers for such an exciting save. The Uwe Bru goalkeeper Esklinen quickly sends the ball down the pitch, with David Seeger chasing it down and passes it to Jake Larson. Larson turns and dribbles around a few of the Landskrona defenders before passing to Eric Bjorndal at the edge of the penalty box. Bjorndal quickly releases a powerful shot, but Kadura is equal to it, leaping up and tipping it over the crossbar for a corner kick. The Uwe Bru corner does not bring them luck this time, as Kofi Fosuhin Asari springs up from midfield and rockets past two defenders with lightning speed, leaving them stranded in his wake. He takes control of the ball inside the penalty area, slaloming around two more defenders, as he nears the goal line he fires off a shot that bends beyond Eskalinen's reach and into the top left corner. It's an exquisite goal from Fosuhin Asari and Lance Krona extend their lead 2-0. The ball is with Lance Krona as Usman Jawara launches across towards Kofi Fosuhin Asari. He connects with a header, but it's blocked by Naziru Moro in defense for Oebru. The ball looks to have gone out for a corner, but the referee has called for play to continue. Lance Krona keep the pressure up and equal from midfield slides the ball to Jabara who takes on Bergmark outside the area. He breaks through and shoots, but it goes wide of Eskalinen's near post. The match is taking place at the spectacular Bevetling Sanken Stadium in Sweden its soaring archways provide an inspiring home atmosphere for both teams. Coupled with this are thousands of passionate supporters, proudly displaying their team colors for all to see. This is a formidable arena and it is sure living up to its reputation as one of the best stadiums in Europe.
The ball is back on the pitch and Lance Groner has possession of it. They make a pass from Nicola Lodon to Adam Ignau. He dribbles towards Orobro's goal but then gets blocked off by Daniel Bjornquist just outside the box. The referee awards Lance Groner a free kick in an excellent shooting position. The crowd in the stands roar with excitement. Camille Jabara steps up to take the free kick and smashes it towards goal with all his strength, but William Esplinen makes a great save tipping it away at full stretch. Lance Groner keep trying to get back into the game though, they make multiple attempts towards goal testing the goalkeeper's reactions, but he is up to the challenge and makes some impressive stops denying them chances. The score remains 3-0. Lance Groner midfielder Kofi Fosuhi Nassari is making a strong presence on the pitch as he fights through two Uwe Brew players to collect the ball and drive it towards the goal. He takes a heavy shot, but it's blocked by Esklinen. Lance Groner quickly regroups, Nicola Lodon passes to Adam Ignel who charges forward and launches across towards Usman Jawara. The ball lands perfectly for Jawara who strikes it with all his might but watches in dismay as Esklinen makes a diving save. Lance Groner keeps up their relentless offense as Eric Hedenquist sends a long ball across half-field to Ever Jabara. The defender closes in but Jabara slides past him and knocks on an outstanding shot, this time Esplinen can't save it. Lance Groner takes the lead 4-0. At minute 76, Lance Groner's Camille Jabara is making a strong drive forward as he takes on a couple of Uwe Brew defenders. He's showing exceptional technical skill on the ball as he elegantly weaves his way past them with a cleverly timed pass to Usman Jawara. Both teams remain in defensive shape and Uwe Brew goalkeeper William Esplinen cuts out the pass. Lance Groner's Nicola Lodon shows his impressive work rate again, closing down in midfield and intercepting the ball before it can reach the Uwe Brew backline. Great hustle by Lodon to break up play. Lance Groner looking to keep possession as Fosuhi Nassari is back near the center circle, laying the ball off to Adam Ignau. He's got Eric Hedenquist and Nicola Lodon making runs on either side of him, but he can't quite play them in. Meanwhile, Nazi Rumoro is now sliding across Orobro's defense to win the ball back. He lays it off to Victor Backman and sends him forward, but Kofi Fosuhi Nassari is back in position and slides in hard to regain control of the ball. The crowd's going wild with every attempted attack. But it looks like these two teams are determined not to see a goal scored tonight, much to our dismay. Speaking of dismay, did you hear about the Lance Broner player who showed up late for practice today? Everyone was asking him why, his response was I wanted there to be more time between me and my mistakes. Lance Sprona attempts an attack with Kofi Fosuhina Sari on the ball and he launches it forward to Camille Jabara. Jabara sets up for a shot, but his effort is blocked by Nazi Rumoro and lands at the feet of Adam Ignell. Ignell cuts it back to David Edvardson, but his shot is also blocked. The ball pops out to Eric Hedenquist, who sends it far upfield and out of danger for Ole Bru. The crowd goes wild with cheers, their support is really lifting Lance Sprona's spirits. The Lance Grona offense is making their presence felt, as Amakadura passes the ball deep into enemy territory. Usman Jawara bursts forward in pursuit, receiving the pass and taking on his defender. He quickly slides the ball to his teammate Adam Ignal who gives it back, allowing Jawara to break through and make a run towards goal. Esplinen rushes off his line to close down the angle but Jawara is too quick his blazing shot rockets toward goal, but it's blocked just before it reaches the target. The raucous crowd here at Lance Groner Stadium is loving every minute of this thrilling matchup. Cheers echo across the enclosure as they urge their team on to greater heights. The ball is on the feet of Ouroboros forward Jake Larson who takes on three Lance Groner defenders but unfortunately loses possession in midfield. Now it's the turn of the Lance Groner attack as the midfielders Kofi Fosuhina Sari and Nicola Lodon rush up the pitch with intent. However, they are stopped by a brilliant defensive challenge from Nazi Rumoro who clears away from danger. Funny enough, it was only two weeks ago when Moro was at the receiving end of his own spectacular goal against Helsingborg with a powerful overhead kick, earning him praises and admiration from all across Scandinavia. 
Back to action now as Langskrona has possession in their own third of the field. Landskrona are still dominating the game and Oe Bru are struggling to get into the offensive area. Kadura is catching hold of the ball from an Oe Bru throw in, and now Landskrona is on the move again. Fosuhina Sari sends in a lovely cross towards Jabara, who artfully controls the ball and takes a long shot. Esplinin is ready to block the shot, but he was too slow to react, and Landskrona take advantage of that opportunity. The crowd goes wild as the ball sails into the back of the net. Meanwhile, Lars Bjorndal has been having a poor game so far as his sloppy pass cost them an attacking chance. He needs to get his head in the game if Uwe Bru want to make a comeback. Kicking off the second half of the game, we can see Landskrona continuing to mount their offensive attack. Arma Kadura quickly dives off his line to make the save, hustling back to his goal. David Edvidson is causing trouble in Orobro's box, sliding past their defender and firing a shot towards their goalkeeper. William S. Linen is able to parry it out of bounds for a corner kick. The corner brings an aerial battle between Nicola Lodon and Maisie Umoro as they both try to get a boot on the ball. However, the ball sails past it out of bounds for a goal kick. We're at minute 83 into this game and there has been no scoring done as of yet with Lance Groner still leading Oe Bru at 3-0. The atmosphere in arena is electric, filled with cheers and chants coming from both sides as they encourage each team on. The scene unfolds under bright floodlights which illuminate the stadium's grand architecture with its tall bottom tiers surrounding the pitch and its massive main stand towering higher above it all. It's truly a sight to behold. It's a tense last five minutes at Landskrona Stadium as the teams battle for a crucial victory in this soccer match between Landskrona and Away Bru. The crowd is on their feet and rooting for one of two sides, Therese hardly a single voice in this commotion of passionate supporting fans. Nicola Lodon is quick on his feet as he collects the ball from the defense and plays it through to David Edvidson who takes a few steps forward with it. He feeds it to Adam Ignell who immediately passes it along to Kofi Fosuhina Sari who goes in for a shot but is unfortunately blocked by Samuel Dahl of Oegru. The ball trickles out to the wings where Victor Backman gives chase, but Philip Anderson of Landskrona quickly sends him packing and manages to keep possession for his team. Sitting here for this match, it's easy to appreciate the architecture of this stadium the jumbled stands form ever so slightly imperfect curves that wrap around into a traditional deep bowl with hardly any wasted space between its rows of seats, giving you an intimate crowd experience even with thousands in attendance. With just moments remaining in added time, Landskrona maintain their 3-0 lead as both teams push forward for another opportunity to score before the final whistle blows. The teams are now entering the closing minutes of the game and a flurry of activity has broken out as both sides attempt to break the deadlock. Landskrona midfielder, Nicola Lodon, is working hard hustling up the play while Eric Hedenquist and Melka Jernsson do their best to battle off Orobro's relentless attack. The ball gets played back towards Esplinin, who dives full length to save a long-range effort from Kofi Fosuhina Sari. He punches it back into play and Victor Backman collects it midfield and quickly launches a speedy counter-attack, shifting the ball towards Jake Larson on the right side. He unleashes a thunderous blast that rockets towards Arma Kadura's goal Kadura diving with arms wide to block. Landskrona scramble to clear their lines as both teams vie for possession in an intense endgame situation. As minute 88 begins, the crowd is on their feet as Uwe Bru takes on a corner kick in search of a goal before the game ends. They swing in the ball and Elias Basum heads it towards the Landskrona net only to be blocked out by defender Melka Jernsson at the last moment. The crowd erupts into a cheer, impressed by Yunsorn's timely block. This is followed by groans of disappointment as Eric Bjorndal sends in an off-target cross. As Landskrona regains possession, their pass back towards Arma Kadura, the goalkeeper, is intercepted by Jake Larson. He quickly takes it forward and takes aim for the top corner of Landskrona's goal. Quickly though, midfielder Adam Ignell comes racing out to make a last-minute save with his superb tackling skills and keeps the score at 3-0. The stands are echoing with cheers and applause as they appreciate such determined defending from Ignell. With just two minutes left on the clock, both teams are trying their best to find a breakthrough without compromising on defense, creating an exciting final few minutes.
The ball is passed to Kofi Fosuhina Sari in Mansgrona's half and he dribbles past Daniel Bjornquist of the way group. As Asari continues forward he passes it off to Adam Ignell who attempts to make a shot on goal. William S. Glinin reacts quickly and pushes the ball over the crossbar. Great save. The referee blows his whistle for a throw in for Uwe Bru at their attacking half. Victor Backman gets to it first and throws the ball into the box towards Kevin Walker who is challenged by Emil Lindman. It's an epic battle between Walker and Lindman with neither side willing to back down, but ultimately Walker wins possession of the ball. He chips it through the center where Eric Bjorndal takes a shot. But it's off target. Ah, too close. We have Nicholas Bergmark up front now. Bergmark threads a brilliant pass towards Jake Larson but Melka Jernsen makes an incredible interception before Larson can get a foot on it. An absolute masterclass defensive play by Jernsen, you don't see that every day. The clock is ticking. The Landskrona players are feeling the pressure as the Uwe Bru players press on the attack. Kadura manages to keep them out with a powerful diving save, but not without a cost. Philip Anderson is down after taking a hard challenge in the process. He is clearly injured and play has been stopped as medical staff rush onto the pitch to assist him. No goal is scored and the score in the game remains 3-0 for Landskrona as we await further news on Philip Anderson's condition. The game is winding down, but Landskrona midfielder Adam Ignell has one last attempt at a goal. He winds up and takes a shot, but it goes wide of the target. Ouroboros defender Neziru Moro quickly counterattacks, sprinting down the pitch. Just as he's about to release a shot at the goal, Landskrona forward Camille Jabara dives in to intercept it, only to be met with a fierce tackle from Oibru midfielder Kevin Walker. Jabara takes the impact hard and goes down to the ground clutching his ankle in pain. The referee immediately stops play and calls for medical attention for the injured Landskrona player. With time running out on the clock and no goal scored by either side, the score remains 3-0 in favor of Landskrona. Landskrona defenders are pressing hard at Ouroboros defense, trying to get their fourth goal. Nikola Lodon is right by goalkeeper William Eskalinin's door, making a valiant effort to convert. Eric Bjorndal holds up the Landskrona attack and pushes the ball forward, but an incredible tackle from Philip Anderson puts it back into Ouroboros' possession. The crowd cheers on as Victor Backman takes control of the ball and goes for goal. Melka Jernsen races up from the defense and makes a key interception just as Backman is about to shoot. Both teams keep attacking but no team manages to score with 10 minutes left in extra time. The stands are alive with cheering and cheering as the game draws closer to its conclusion. The teams are looking for that winning goal, but time is running out for both Lance Grona and Uwe Brew to break the stalemate. The crowd roars in anticipation as David Edvardson drives forward with the ball, he chips a beautiful cross into Camille Jabara, but the ball just wisps over the bar, the crowd sighs with disappointment. We're now three minutes away from the end of extra time, but both teams still press on in search of victory. Kofi Fosuhina Sari makes a dazzling run forward, twisting and turning away from two defenders before being brought down by Elias Barsi. The referee waves his yellow card as Asari claps his hands in frustration and the Landskrona supporters jump out of their seats urging their team on as they desperately search for an equalizer to send the game into penalties. It's all going down to the wire here in Landskrona as both teams fight for a game deciding goal in extra time. A ball is crossed into the box and it looks like it will fall for David Edvardson, but Eric Bjorndal beats him to it, flicking a header towards goal. However, Arma Kadura's outstretched arm saves the day for Landskrona and he makes an acrobatic save to deny Oebru a potential winner. Both teams continue to push forward but now the game has become bogged down by an increasingly frustrating lack of attacking quality. Neither side is able to carve out clear-cut chances as both defenses keep their shape. Neither goalkeeper has been tested in this half so far and the chances of this game going all the way to penalties look increasingly likely. The extra time begins and Lance Grona seems to have the upper hand from the kickoff. Immediately, they win a corner, but it goes just wide of the post. The second half has been quite static so far, as both sides battle for possession without creating real chances. The weather is still mild and pleasant with the temperature hovering around 75 degrees Fahrenheit, perfect for outdoor sports. The UA Brew team keeps fighting and their midfielder Sega manages to break through the Landskrona defense, but Kadura quickly rushes off his line and snatches the ball away from Sega's feet just in time. 
both teams make some substitutions in an attempt to boost their attacking play. It almost pays off for Oebru when Larson gets a shot on target from outside the box, but Kadura manages to push it over the bar. After some fierce midfield battles, Lanskrona finally gains control of possession as Fosuhina Sari dribbles past two defenders and creates space for himself to shoot from outside the box, but his shot goes just inches past the post and this intense game ends with no goals scored. The second half has been underway for a while now, but the game remains tense as neither team can seem to break the other's guard. The crowd are on their feet and roaring in anticipation of a goal. Meanwhile, as Lance Groner's David Edvidson surges forward with the ball he is attempt to make a dangerous pass, however, he is cut off by Ouroboros' Victor Backman and the ball goes out of play. As players attempt to make the fastest restart, Lance Groner's Nico Lodon takes a nasty knock from Elias Barsoom which sends him sprawling to the ground clutching his ankle. The referee has stopped the game and medical staff quickly rush onto the pitch to assess the situation, it appears that Lodon has sustained an injury and must come off the pitch. It looks like both teams will have to persist without their first team star at this point as they both fight for a win in extra time. Both teams are determined to break their deadlock and score the decisive goal. Lance Krona is pressing further forward, hungry for that all-important goal. They have a chance of a set piece as Arden Ignell unleashes an unstoppable shot toward the goal. Unfortunately for them, William S. Flynn pulls off a miraculous save to deny them the chance of turning the game around. Meanwhile Jake Larson from Oebru is jinking past defenders with his impressive dribbling skills. He keeps outfoxing the Lanskrona defenders but his passing lacks precision just enough to keep them in the hunt for a winner. He looks exasperated as he trudges off at full time, disappointed at his side's failure to put this one on away. The tension on the pitch is palpable as Lance Krona applies pressure to Oye Brew with a flurry of shots on target. Despite their best efforts, the home team is unable to break through, and Oye Brew is doing their best to keep them at bay. With only moments left in the half, it looks like the game could end in a draw, much to the displeasure of the Lance Krona fans in the stands. The two teams continue to battle for the ball, desperate for a goal. Eric Hedenquist of Lance Krona makes a daring run up the field and takes a shot from outside of the box only for it to be saved by William S. Glynn. The crowd erupts in cheers at his daring attempt. Suddenly, Camille Jabara receives a long pass from Philip Anderson and takes off downfield with lightning speed. The Uwe Brew defenders can't catch up, and Jabara sends off a blistering shot, but it goes wide. The crowd groans in disappointment as they realize their chance has been lost. With just seconds before time is up, Neither team is able to break through and they enter extra time. The score remains 3-0 as they head into overtime. The ball is now with Lance Krona, kicked forward by Emil Lindman and it's played out to Usman Jawara on the right wing. He moves quickly, cutting inside and sets up a chance for Adam Ignell, who goes for goal but the shot is blocked by Victor Backman from Oebru. With time running out, both teams are pushing to make a breakthrough. The spotlight then falls on Armakadura from Lance Krona who, despite now going into his 34th year of soccer, shows no signs of slowing down. Kadura has become something of a veteran in the lineup and pulls off an incredible save to keep the clean sheet intact his reflexes proving invaluable as he dives low to palm a cross away from goal. Lance Krona remains in control of the match with 20 minutes left on the clock. The teams have come back onto the field after half-time and both sides are eager to avoid extra time, but neither has been able to break down their opponent's defense so far. The match has moved into extra time and both teams are determined to push forward and find the opening goal. Kadura jumps out of his box to challenge a threatening ball, but he can't quite get it under control. Eric Hedenquist is there to sweep it away, quickly launching a counter-attack with a direct ball towards Camille Jabara on the right flank. Jabara's strong dribbling skills take him past two Uwe Brew defenders, allowing him to drive towards goal and lay off the ball for Usman Dewara. Dewara takes one touch before unleashing a powerful shot from just outside the box, but it drifts just wide of Eskalinen's post. The game is still goalless as we enter the final minutes of extra time both teams continue fighting for that elusive winning goal. Kadura launches a long kick out into open space, aiming for Ama Fosuhi Nasari in midfield. He juggles it gracefully before laying off alongside Adam Ignell who is quickly closed down by Nezu Moro and Daniel Bjornquist. The two Oebru defenders fight hard and manage to clear the ball away, 
launching their own attack forward with Jake Larson at its head. Larson outpaces Lindman on the left flank and looks upfield, searching for Eric Bjorndal's support in attack. His long pass sails over Philip Anderson's head but bounces out of position at the last second, allowing Philip Anderson to be first back onto it. He kicks forward towards Camille Jabara who can't quite keep his shot on target despite straining every muscle to do so. The second half of the match begins with Lance Krona in full swing. Philip Anderson leads a brilliant attack as they make their way into Ouroboros' half. He sends the ball through to David Edvardson who takes it to the goal line and crosses it for Camille Jabara, but Daniel Bjornquist is quick to close down the chance. The atmosphere is tense as both sides fight for every loose ball Maziru Moro of Oebru uses his skill to dribble past two players from Lance Krona, making them look silly in the process. He threads a lovely through pass for Eric Bjorndal, but Emil Lindman manages to intercept and take control of the ball with pristine precision. Usman Jawara charges forward on the right flank, displacing several defenders easily. He puts in a delicate cross which Kofi Fosuhina Sari nearly gets onto, but William Esklin in Orobro's goalkeeper has an incredible reflex save and keeps his team in the game. Victor Backman is playing an exemplary match today every time he runs with the ball at his feet he looks like he could slalom past every player in front of him. A moment like now Victor dodges two defenders unconsciously and plays a lovely through ball which nearly reaches its target. Unfortunately, Amakadura Lanskrona's goalkeeper collects it safely. The referee has blown his whistle, signaling the start of extra time. Lanskrona is on the attack as Camille Jabara attempts to break free from Daniel Bjornquist. He's dribbling forward with the ball, quickly passing defenders as he weaves and ducks his way through the defense. But Bjornquist is trying to keep up with him, chasing him down and stealing the ball away. Lanskrona responds by advancing with wave after wave of attack. Kofi Fosuhina Sari takes control in the center of the field, making play after play with a creative display of finesse and skill. With moments left on the clock, he sends a powerful shot to goal. William S. Glynn desperately dives in an effort to make the save but it's just out of his reach and hits the crossbar. The crowd explodes in anticipation as we wait for what will happen next. The match between Lance Kronobo is an Uebru SK is over. What a game this was, with both teams showing some skill on the pitch today. The crowd erupts as Lance Kronoboas takes the victory, showing that their spirit and determination allowed them to prevail here. Lance Kronoboas are now officially through to the next round of Svenska Kupen. This is an important milestone for them, as they make history by being one of the few teams to reach this far. All their hard work and dedication have paid off in a particularly impressive fashion. Onwards they go into ever increasingly difficult opponents, but with determination like today's match, I'm sure they can overcome any hurdle in their path. The match between Lance Kronobo is and Uebru SK is over. What a game this was, with both teams showing some skill on the pitch today. The crowd erupts as Lance Kronobo takes the victory, showing that their spirit and determination allowed them to prevail here. Lance Kronobo is now officially through to the next round of Svenska Kupen. This is an important milestone for them, as they make history by being one of the few teams to reach this far. All their hard work and dedication have paid off in a particularly impressive fashion. Onwards they go into ever increasingly difficult opponents, but with determination like today's match, I'm sure they can overcome any hurdle in their path.
Yotobori kick off the game and they move the ball into their midfield players. Svensson chips it over to Hagen on the wing who races forward with the ball towards Lance Kroner's goal. Lance Kroner's defense is back with Jernsen closing him down quickly and successfully taking the ball away from him. Lindman then plays a long pass to Lodon on the other side of the pitch who plays it up to Jabara in the final third. Jabara does well to control the ball under immense pressure from Kahn but his pass is intercepted in midfield by Carneo who releases Berg on a counter-attack Berg sprints away from defenders but his shot from outside of the box is easily saved by Kadura. Nice stop from Landskrona's keeper. The referees have whistled and the match between Yotobori and Landskrona is officially underway. Pontus Dahlberg gets a quick clear from the kickoff, sending a long ball upfield. Elias Hagen manages to get a foot on it, but Kadura is quickly off his line for Landskrona to make the save. And great anticipation from the crowd as well, you can feel the energy in these stands. Now Yotobori with control of the ball again as Marcus Berg sends it wide left to Usman Jawara, who sends a cross into the middle. But some smart defending by Johan Bangsbo and Adam Kahn to clear that one away. Lance Kroner now with some possession and Ali Fosuhin Asari manages to thread it through to Camille Jabara in the box, but Dahlberg is there once again to make the save. Great volley between Eric Hedenquist and Melka Jernsen keeping up the pressure for Lance Kroner, and now David Edvidson with a shot from distance that just sails over top of goal. The match is still scoreless after 10 minutes, keep up the energy everyone. were underway here in this matchup between Yotobori and Landskrona. Both teams are coming out onto the pitch full of energy, eager to make an impact on their first game. And the ball is rolling for kickoff, with Pontus Dahlberg controlling things for Yotobori and Arma Kadura for Landskrona. The two sides are trading possessions early on, the midfielders from both sides doing a great job to keep the ball moving. Elias Hagen from Yotobori made an impressive break forward, but his shot was stopped by Kadura. Marcus Berg has been very active in Yotobori's offense so far, trying to wear down the Landskrona defense. Kofi Fosuhina Sari of Landskrona is proving to be quite the midfielder, keeping possession and trying to find a way into Yotobori's net. So far it's been pretty even here at the pitch with no team scoring a goal yet, and we can expect this matchup to stay close throughout. Landskrona kicks off and passes it back to their goalkeeper. Kadura collects the ball and launches a long ball to Fosuhin Asari on the right flank who then turns and passes it to Jabara at the center. Jabara then carries the ball towards Yotobois' goal, passing through two players on the way. He makes a cross into Berg in Yotobois' side of the field and Berg takes a powerful shot from outside of the box. Pontus Dahlberg dives but can't get his hands onto it as it curves past him. Yotobori scores. Everyone leaps out of their seats in anticipation of another goal for their team. Yotobori are mounting a fierce attack down the right flank, but Landskrona's defense is standing firm. Pontus Dahlberg dives to punch the ball away from danger and the crowd erupts with cheers. Sebastian Olsen picks up the clearance and slides a great pass to Elias Hagen. Hagen cuts inside and unleashes a shot, but Kadura makes a magnificent save to deny Yotobori. Great play from both teams, this game is keeping the crowd on their feet. Landskrona quickly gain control and launch an attack down the right flank. Camille Jabara and Usman Jawara have linked up well and attempt to push the ball past Oscar Wendt. But Wendt is alert this time and slides in with a perfectly timed tackle to avert the danger. The crowd goes wild in appreciation of his defensive play. Yotobori break quickly on the counter-attack through Marcus Berg, who skillfully weaves his way past Lanus players. He releases the ball to Suleiman Abdullahi who drives forward, weeding past Hedenquist and Jernsen. However, his shot is blocked by Melka Jernsen at the last second and it's all square again as we reach minute 4 in this tense matchup. Yotobori with a quick counter-attack as they break up field. Marcus Berg with the ball at his feet, weaving his way through a Landskrona midfield. He drives into the box but has his shot blocked by Lindman. A defensive stand by the visitors, and Pontus Dahlberg does well to claim the loose ball. The tempo of the match has picked up considerably, both teams pressing from back to front. 
Lance Broner with a flurry of activity on the left flank Anderson and Jernson combining to set up Jabara on the edge of the box, he makes a slight touch but is denied by an excellent sliding tackle by Carl. That was crucial defending from Yotabori. The crowd letting out a collective roar as both teams exchange chances, seemingly unable to find that final breakthrough for a goal. The match is intensely fought in midfield, near the team able to hold on to possession for more than a couple of passes. A brilliant save from Kadura keeps it tied at 1-0. The goalkeeper getting down low to flick away Dan's goal-bound shot before Majid Abdullahi can pounce in for the rebound, Lance Groner just snatching it away at the last minute. The Yotabori players are dominating the ball with quick transitions and short, precise passing. Elias Hagen quickly breaks away down the left side of the field and launches a brilliant cross into the box which Marcus Berg meets with a powerful header. Pontus Dahlberg dives to his right but it's too late as the ball sails over him and into the top corner of the net. Goal for Yotabori. What a great effort by Marcus Berg to get his team off to a fantastic start. Now Yotabori will look to double their lead with some fantastic link-up play in midfield. The away team, Lance Groner, comes storming down the pitch with a great display of passing and control. Usman Jawara receives the ball in midfield, throws a sharp pass to Kofi Fosuhin Asari that splits through Yotaboy's defense line. Asari dishes off a perfect pass to Camille Jabara who heads it accurately to the bottom corner of the net past Pontus Dahlberg, Yotaboy's goalkeeper. Lance Groner take the lead, 2-0. What an incredible goal. Lance Groner is taking control of this game with some good passing and movement up the field. Lance Groner forward Usman Jawara is getting some good looks but Yotabori goalkeeper Pontus Dahlberg is doing an excellent job of keeping him at bay. Now we see Yotabori midfielder Simon Thurn making a dangerous run down the right flank, he's been a spark plug for Yotabori today, last week he scored two goals in one minute to turn a 1-2 deficit into a 3-2 victory. Yotabori supporters are hoping he can work his magic again today. He puts in a nice low cross towards Marcus Berg but Lance Groner defender Melka Jensen is there in time to make the clearance. He did well to keep Berg out of the box and avoid what could have been a huge scoring opportunity for Yotabori. The two teams are battling it out on the pitch with Yotabori making an aggressive start. Pontus Dahlberg, the Yotabori goalkeeper, has been quick off his line to deny Lance Groner any chances of scoring. Defender Oscar Wendt has been wreaking havoc on the left side, holding strong against anything that comes his way. Gorkong Leiden with a large and energetic crowd is the venue for this match and it seems that the stadium hasn't missed a beat since it was first built in 1891. The lush greenery of Sweden's famous Ullevi Garden is providing a beautiful backdrop to this highly contested game but neither team has yet been able to score. A blocked shot by Huse. Yotabori continue to pressure Lance Groner, with their midfielders, Thurn and Carneal, both pressing high to win back possession. Berg, Abdullahi, and Went are combining well on the wings in typical Yotabori style. Lance Groner are finding it hard to get forward, unable to keep the ball for longer than a few passes. The atmosphere is flat as the game drifts from one side of the pitch to another without any real creativity or energy being displayed. The crowd is getting restless and it looks like this game will draw to a boring conclusion with no team able to break the deadlock now at 2-1. The Yotaboys players are on the attack and they are pressing hard, trying to catch the Lance Groner's defense off guard. Elias Hagen gets the ball right at his feet, but Philip Anderson is there to win the ball back. Eric Hedenquist sprints forward with it and threads a perfect pass to Usman Jawara. He goes one-on-one -on -one with Pontus Dahlberg and clenches his feet around the ball. Sekou Diawara's shot is just inches away from goal, enough for Pontus Dahlberg to make a save and clear the danger away. The game has been very tight so far, as both teams fight for possession of the ball. The pitch is in excellent condition with beautiful dark green grass giving it a vibrant look, making it perfect for a good passing game which both teams seem intent to use as their strategy. The Yotabori fans are creating an electric atmosphere as they cheer their team on with loud shouts, hoping for a goal. The game is heating up, 
Yotabori pushing their possession inside their opponent's end. They've been a solid presence in the midfield exchange, with Elis Hagen in particular making an impression with his aggressiveness when challenging for the ball. His teammates have been helping him control the pace of the game and maintain a steady flow of possession between them. The action on the pitch is lacking however, as both teams seem content to keep it contained in the middle third, struggling to make any real impact on proceedings. As we move into the last 10 minutes of the first half, Yutabori maintain their advantage but Lanskrona are starting to push back and gain more of a foothold. David Edvardson seems particularly keen to seize control, launching forward runs that are drawing attention away from his teammates and allowing them to make incisive passes forward. The stilted action is continuing in what has been a rather dull affair so far. The score remains 2-1 in favor of Yotabori but they have been unable to convert any chances into goals yet. It's still anyone's game but at this point it looks like a contest between two teams content to battle it out without taking too many risks. The ball is in Yotabori's possession now. Elias Hagen moves it to Hussein Karniel, who passes it to Gustav Svensson on his right. Svensson sends it deep into Landskrona's half, brilliant pass. Camille Jabara rushes in to try and intercept, but Oscar went from Yotabori as their first, heading the ball away from danger. The crowd roars at this incredible effort from both teams. The players are all hustling for the ball now, the midfield a flurry of activity as the players chase the ball back and forth. Brave tackles are followed by swift passes and daring shots on goal, yet neither team has managed to score so far in this exciting game. It looks like this match will be a nail-biting affair all the way through. Kudos to the supporters of both teams who are keeping up a steady chant of encouragement and showing their true colors today. What an incredible atmosphere. Yotabori have the ball with Johan Bangsbo playing an impressive pass forward to Marcus Berg who takes a powerful shot on goal, but Amakadura saves well to keep the score at 2-1. On the attack again, Yotabori take it down the right side and Sebastian Olsen shuts down a Landskrona break. However, in his attempt to recover the ball, he appears to take a bad turn and limps off slightly favoring his left ankle. The trainers rush out with medical supplies as the game goes on hold for a few moments. Fortunately it looks like he should be okay to continue as play resumes shortly afterwards. Yotabori defender Johan Bangsbo tries to clear the ball out of danger, but it's blocked by Lance Groner midfielder Adam Ignell. Ignell then lobs it forward for the attackers, but Yotabori keeper Pontus Dahlberg is there to make a diving save and cover the shot. The sunshine has made its appearance in Gothenburg Stadium, with blue skies and a light cool breeze easing the intensity on the pitch. Fans in both sides are cheering up their teams. A neat combination from the Yotabori midfielders sends the ball across to Marcus Berg in the Landskrona box, but he fails to control and overhits his shot wide of the mark. The score remains locked at 2-1 as we head into minute 24. Yotabori continuously attacking with Marcus Berg making aggressive runs, but Landskrona's Philip Anderson and Eric Hedenquist do well to disrupt the combination play. Yotabori is doing well to keep the ball and they just created a good chance, but Amakadura in the Landskrona goal stops an effort from Hussein Karniel. Suddenly in all this action, Oscar Wendt appears to be injured for Yotabori and has forced to go out of the game for now. The referee has called for a medics and it looks like a serious injury here. No goals have been scored yet so it's still 2-1 on the scoreboard. The Yotabori goalkeeper Pontus Dahlberg dives quickly to make a save, but is taken out by a late tackle from Landskrona's Kofi Fosuhina Sari. It looks like the referee is going to call a foul. The crowd boos loudly as the foul remains unpunished. Elsewhere on the pitch, Marcus Berg is receiving some medical attention. It looks like he may have sustained an injury following a challenge from Nikola Logon. Play carries on as the Yotabori medical staff rush on to assess his condition. The score is still 2-1 in favor of Yotabori. The ball is now with Yotabori on the left flank, and Suleiman Abdullahi takes possession. He dribbles past a couple of Landskrona defenders before finding Marcus Berg in the box. Berg takes a shot, and it's deflected for a corner kick. The Yotabori supporters go wild as the corner kick is sent into the box with Elias Hagen waiting in anticipation. But Amakadura makes an unbelievable save. Landskrona quickly break upfield on the counter-attack, 
passing it to Nicola Lodon who sends an exquisite cross into Usman Philip Anderson waiting in the box. His header sails just wide of the goal. What a chance! The crowd here is electric, they are cheering every pass and celebrating every challenge. We are nearing half-time but the energy in this stadium shows no signs of slowing down. These fans definitely know how to get behind their team. The players on the pitch seem to be playing cautiously, knowing that one mistake could change the course of the game. Yutabori is pushing high up the field, looking for a chance to equalize. Elias Hagen launches it forward for Berg who brings it down with a beautiful touch but his effort goes just wide of the far post. Lance Kroner get a throw in on their right side which Kadura throws directly to Edvardsson. He quickly finds Jabara in space, but Carlin slides in out of nowhere and stops the attack from building. Still 2-1 in this big match. Yotabori are on the attack and send a long ball forward with Thurn. Lance Kroner's heat enquist intercepts, but his clearance is poor and goes straight to the feet of Abdullahi. He takes a touch and shoots powerfully towards the bottom corner, Kadura just manages to tip the shot away. Lance Kroner clear their lines and launch a counter-attack of their own. Asari brings the ball forwards, sprinting down the right side of the pitch. He plays a quickly taken 1-2 with Jabara before delivering a perfect cross towards Jawara waiting in front of goal. The striker takes one touch to bring it under control before finding the target and burying an unstoppable strike into the back of the netaway team lead 2-1. The Dragons have rallied from behind, and the pressure is now on Yotabori to conjure up an equalizer. Yotabori midfielder Elias Hagen puts in a brilliant passing play narrowly avoiding a tackle from Philip Anderson, before passing the ball to Marcus Berg in the penalty box. Berg makes a strong shot at goal but is met with an even stronger save from Lance Kroner's armor Kadura. Kadura's heroics earn the cheers of the home crowd. Meanwhile, Hussein Kani of Yotabori is putting in an impressive shift for his team. He's made countless crucial tackles and interventions that have helped to keep the score close. It looks like Kani will be crucial if Yotabori are to come out on top today. Yotaboy's defense is being pushed hard by the Lanskrona attack. Arma Kadura launches a powerful long-range shot toward Pontus Dahlberg, but his save is too little too late. The ball ricochets off Svensson's head and falls to Usman Jawara who hammers the ball into the back of the net. It's an unstoppable force and Yotabori have their work cut out for them now. The crowd roars for Lanskrona as they equalize the game, with the score now standing at 2-2. Yotabori enjoying a period of sustained possession as they work the ball around the pitch impressive. Some patient attractive passing between Elias Hagen, Marcus Berg and Hussein Karnil as they look to pick apart the Landskrona rear guard. Fans in Yotabori getting very excited now, they know how huge a goal here could be. With only 6 minutes left in the half, their players pushing forward but only half chances coming out of it. Loose ball into midfield and Jawara looks to scramble it away for Landskrona, but an excellent challenge from Olsen wins it back for Yotabori. Here comes Berg. He takes it on the turn and shoots from 20 yards out, melting effort that just goes wide. The crowd in full voice now as they roar on their team, fantastic engagement from both sets of supporters. Still 2-3, with minutes ticking away here in this close matchup. Yotabori are starting to feel the pressure now as Lance Krona gain momentum and quickly break away. A pinpoint cross by Fosuhin Asari finds Shawara in the box, who expertly flicks it over Dahlberg with a brilliant first touch. The Yotabori defense are appealing for offside but it's too late. Lance Krona take the lead with a stunning goal, sending their fans into delighted frenzy. Yotabois Elis Hagen plays a quick pass up the pitch to Marcus Berg in an attempt to take on Lance Krona's defense and start an attacking move. Quick to react. Arma Kadura of Lance Krona dives across goal and manages to keep out Berg's powerful shot. On the rebound, Berg passes back to Suleiman Abdullahi but Nikola Lodon quick against the flow manages to get the ball away from him with a brilliant slide tackle. Everyone in the stadium stands applauding for that incredible play. Yotabois misplace their passing as Fosuhin Asari races away with the ball down the left and sets up Jabara inside in box. Jabara unleashes a stinging drive towards Dahlberg's top corner but he is equal to it and makes a sensational save for Yotabori. Both teams are playing some great football as we draw closer towards halftime.
Jotaboy's keeper, Pontus Dahlberg, is out on the pitch making an impressive save and keeping Landskrona from scoring. Now Marcus Berg Jotabori is heading up the offensive with a long pass upfield. He gets it to Suleiman Abdullahi who takes a crack at the net but Kadura in goal for Landskrona manages to parry it away just in time. He then quists for Landskrona tries for a counter-attack but a strong challenge by Olsen keeps him from getting any further. The team seem to be evenly matched with neither side having full control over the game yet. The weather has been cloudy all day, giving rise to a chill over the audience and players alike. The sun has now disappeared completely behind the clouds and the players are sprinting across the pitch to try and take advantage of what little light remains left in the day. Fans cheer as they realize it is still anyone's game. It's all action here at the AB Volvo Arena. Yutabori midfielder Simon Thurn strikes the ball from outside the box, but Amakadura is quickly off his line to parry the shot away. Oh what a save! The defending in this match has been top-notch, and Kadura has once again proven himself as a formidable goalkeeper. And speaking of goaltenders, we should give mention to Pontus Dahlberg for his incredible reflexes during the match. We've seen him make some brilliant saves, including one where he had just seconds to make a diving stop from Marcus Berg's threatening shot. What a talent! The excitement in the stands is palpable as Yotabori midfielder Simon Thurn plays a delicate cross-field pass intended for Suleiman Abdullahi. But Landskrona defender Eric Hedenquist is there to meet it with a steady challenge and clears the ball away from danger. It's a thrilling moment for the crowd, erupting with every action on the pitch. Both sides are working hard, pushing each other to get forward in attack. Kofi Fosuhina Sari receives the ball from Landskrona's Nikola Lodon and cuts inside quickly but is shattered by Fern and unable to find any space for a shot at goal. The entire crowd collectively gasps at this sudden change of momentum, demonstrating their passion for the game just like they have all afternoon. The match continues with some exciting challenges and great team work being shown by both teams with no goals yet. Let's continue to wait in anticipation and hope that all this buzzing energy results in a goal. Yotaboy's defense stops Landskrona's charge in the midfield, the ball is passed back to the defense line and kicking it long to Marcus Berg. Berg shows off his lightning speed as he sprints down the right wing and passes the ball to Suleiman Abdullahi who is cleverly positioned in the box. Abdullahi quickly moves past his defender and shoots with power and precision straight into the upper right corner of the net. Go on. Landskrona take a surprise lead 4-2 with an electrifying play that had everyone on their feet here at Yotaboy Stadium. This crowd is erupted with cheers as their team complete an unbelievable attacking move, showing off their impressive offensive attack. Jotaboy's forward Marcus Berg takes off on an amazing sprint down the right side of the pitch, weaving in and out of the Landskrona defenders. He keeps pushing forward and manages to get close to the goalpost. The crowd is roaring with anticipation as Berg prepares his shot, but he's blocked at the last moment by a Landskrona defender. The crowd can't believe their eyes, what an incredible defensive play. Kudos to all sides for showing such passion and skill during this match. Yotabori have been putting in the work today, but it hasn't been enough against a rock-solid Landskrona defense. Pontus Stolberg has been an absolute beast in net, making some truly incredible saves as the attacks from Landskrona ramp up. The midfield, anchored by Simon Thurn and Gustav Svensson, have worked hard to retain possession for Yotabori, but the incredible speed of Usman Jawara on the wing for Landskrona has caused all sorts of problems for Yotabori defense. Armakadura has also been superb between the posts for Landskrona with his strong and decisive goalkeeping proving to be a difference maker in this game. We're going into halftime with a score of 2-5 in favor of Landskrona. Yotabori kick off the game to start the second half but it's a slow start from both sides and a bit of scrappy play in midfield. Landskrona take control of possession and move down the left, making some slightly dangerous passes before launching a cross into the box. Landskrona are really putting on the pressure now as they look for an equalizer. Pontus Dahlberg dives to his right, making a spectacular save and keeping Yotabori in the lead. Moments later, Yotabori make their way upfield with some slick passes. 
Marcus Berg is running at full speed as he receives the ball on the left flank and bears down on goal. Berg quickly shifts his body position and takes a powerful shot that hits off the woodwork. Abdullahi is there to collect the loose ball, takes a couple of steps inside and pummels it into the net, further extending Yurtaboy's lead. That was a fantastic solo endeavor by Berg that nearly ended up in goal, but Abdullahi shows his predatory instinct to make up for it. It's still 2-5 as we come close to full time, but Landskrona keep fighting hard in search of at least one more goal. They send plenty of men forward but Yotobori maintain their excellent shape at the back, protecting their three-point lead until regulation comes to an end. The referee blows his whistle and it's all over here at Gothenburg Stadium, Yotobori take home all three points with this 2-5 victory over Landskrona. Yotobori goalkeeper, Ponta Stolberg, triumphantly charges towards the middle of this pitch and throws the ball towards his defenders. Sebastian Olsen rises high up in the air and launches a powerful clearance kick right past midfield. Watching Olsen fly through the air is a sight to behold. Being cheered on by an incredibly engaged and energetic crowd, Jutta Boysesame Carniel snatches up control of the ball and swiftly takes off down the pitch. Carniel dodges past Landskrona's ingenious defenders with grace and agility, using a series of quick turns, flicks, and passes to keep possession. The crowd is on their feet impressed by Carniel's unparalleled technique as he successfully navigates past his opponents. The atmosphere is electric, but despite all of Yurtaboy's effort, no goals have been scored yet. The score remains 2-5 as we enter minute 46. Yurtaboy attempts to break the deadlock with a quick attack, but Landskrona manages to halt their advance and win back possession. A dangerous cross by Yurtaboy is sent into the penalty area but it's cleared away by Landskrona's defense. The ball is sent long up the pitch, and Abdullahi makes an incredible run down the touchline, quickly crossing over to the edge of the penalty area. Landskrona's defender Edvardsson steps in with a superb piece of defending, blocking Abdullah's shot. The supporters let out a collective sigh of relief as they celebrate Edvardsson's defensive play. Both sides are displaying some impressive tactics, but thus far neither have been able to find a way through, though chances have been few and far between in this match. At the start of minute 48, the Yotobori keeper Pontus Dahlberg looks ready to take the ball from one of his teammates in the defense. He sprints forward and passes it off to midfielder Elias Hagen. Hagen immediately takes control of the ball, dribbling towards the Landskrona goal. Suddenly, defender Emil Lindman barrels in from out of nowhere and steals the ball away from him. Lindman sets up a long pass to forward Usman Jawara who sets up a right-footed strike towards goal. But Dahlberg jumps into action and pulls off an incredible diving save he's been a rock in Yotaboy's net all game. Landskrona can't seem to get past him. Now the pressure is on Yotaboy once again, as they will be looking for some more offense to pull back some points on this snowy day in Landskrona. Yotaboy makes an effort to score, as they attack the goal with Marcus Berg, who has a powerful left foot shot. He unleashes a hard drive towards Armacadera's goal, but the Landskrona goalkeeper is alert and dives to his right to make an outstanding save. The crowd applauds with cheers of ooh. The crossbar shakes and the rebound falls to the feet of Elias Hagen, who quickly passes it off to Simon Thur. He attempts a long-distance shot but his aim isn't on target and it sails over the crossbar. Player anecdote Landskrona's captain Philip Anderson is really showing tonight why he wears the captain's armband. He is leading from the back by organizing his team, loudly calling out directions, and also making crucial tackles, judicious interceptions and stopping many counter-attacks from Yotobori in their tracks. He is one of only two players who have been on the pitch since kickoff truly an inspirational leader who deserves recognition for all his efforts. The Yotobori players are doing their best to slow the game down as they attempt to reduce the two-goal deficit. Dare staying extra defensive, looking to nullify any potential counterattacks by Landskrona. Pontus Stolberg just punched away a threatening ball deep in Yotobori's defensive third, while Elisabeth Hager intercepted the ensuing pass, allowing Yotobori an opportunity to launch a counter of their own. Hussein Karniel darts down the left wing, sending in a low cross which is deftly collected by Usman Diawara's feet at the near post. But Diawara's shot is blocked by Johan Bangsbo who pounces on it as he slides in front of him. There's no goal yet but the anticipation builds with each missed chance as we approach the 50-minute mark of this closely contested matchup.
Yotobori looks determined to make a comeback, taking possession and pushing for an attack. They send the ball up the pitch to Abdullahi who shuffles past Ignel before firing a shot at goal, but Kadura is quick off his line and makes an excellent save. Lance Krona then counter-attack, with Jabara breaking away as he links up with Fosuhin Asari on the right side. Bub Jabara's cutback is met by Jawara who unleashes a powerful strike from outside the box but Khan ducks in front of it just in time to put it wide for a corner kick. The corner ends up being cleared away and both sides struggle for control of the ball for the next few minutes before play is disrupted by an injury to Melka Jernson who must be helped off the pitch. After a brief break for medical attention, play restarts with Yotobori pushing forward once again. They try to carve out a few chances but neither side is able to get anything on goal before the referee blows his whistle signaling the end of game. It ended 2-5 in favor of Lance Groner. Yotobori is pressing hard, their forwards pushing forward with an aggressive intent. Suleiman Abdullahi surges ahead and combines excellently with Marcus Berg on the edge of the box. The crowd rises to their feet and enthusiastically applauds the performance on display. But their efforts are eventually frustrated, as Lance Groner's defense stays resolute in tracking back, denying Yotobori any meaningful progress. The midfielders, Nicola Lodon and David Edvardson show great energy in getting back and defending their lines. The home crowd is really engaged in this match, and they are cheering every move either teams make. Great atmosphere all around. Yotobori is looking to make a comeback with forward Marcus Berg bringing the ball up the pitch, but he's halted at midfield by a crucial defensive tackle from Lance Groner's David Edwardson. Pontus Dahlberg quickly launches the ball out of Yotobori's defensive line and Elias Hagen catches it in stride. He feeds a perfect pass to Gustav Svensson just inside Lance Groner's half of the field, who advances quickly and tests the defense with long shot. It sails just over Armakadara's outstretched hands and narrowly misses wide of the far post. The roar from the crowd builds as Elias Hagen is back for another chance. He takes aim again, firing off a powerful strike that forces Kadura into a tremendous save. That kept it scoreless. The weather is incredibly comfortable this evening. There is a mild breeze on the field and temperatures are holding around 70 degrees Fahrenheit. As expected for this time of year, there isn't a cloud in sight and players, staff, and fans alike are all taking energy from each other to stay energized in what has been an incredible match so far. And we are back in action, middle of the second half, Yotobori and Lanskron are still locked in an intense battle. The stadium is roaring, there is an undeniable energy permeating the air. Yotobori is pressing hard, Marcus Berg with the ball, swinging it out to the wings for Elias Hagen. He drives deep into the box. Lance Krona's defense scrambles to contain him but Hagen manages a nice feint and threads the ball through to Suleiman Abdullahi at close range who shoots. Blocked by Kadura. Lance Krona breathing a sigh of relief. Oh the crowd roar its appreciation for that effort by Yotobori. It's clear everyone in this stadium wants to see a goal here tonight. Pontus Dahlberg responds with some confident saves as Lance Krona counter-attack quickly and looks for more goals only to be foiled by Yotobois resolute defending. The atmosphere continues to build suspense as play persists end-to-end, -end, ball pinging around on either side now. We are still tied at 2-5, 54 minutes into this great game. The pressure is mounting for Yotobori, who are still trailing Lance Krona by three goals. Bruce Bonnie of Lance Krona goes for a sliding tackle to break free possession but David Edvardson of Yotobori is able to make a last-ditch effort to track back and clear the ball away from the danger. The crowd roars in appreciation as the Dane makes a heroic individual effort. Adam Kahn of Yotobori dashes forward with purpose and drives the ball with authority into enemy territory, picking out Marcus Berg in a central position on the edge of the box. The Swedish striker takes aim at goal and unleashes a fierce shot that sails just over the bar. Close, but no cigar. Back at the other end, Usman Jawara is looking to test Pontus Dahlberg in goal. He grabs control of possession and dribbles weaving patterns around two defenders before picking out an enterprising pass to Camille Jabara who finds space behind the defense line. He fires off a shot from 20 yards out which looks destined for goal but Dahlberg pulls off an extraordinary save with his fingertips. What courage from Jotobois number one. The action is back at the pitch as Yotobori makes an attempt to get the score back level with Lance Krona. 
On the left flank, an opportunity is presented as Elias Hagen swings in across for Marcus Berg to latch onto, but he narrowly misses the chance. Landskrona regains possession and clears the ball away. Kofi Fosuhina Sari receives the ball from David Edwardson and darts towards Gustav Svensson, but Svensson manages to stay on his feet, shutting down any potential for a move forward by Landskrona. The game has been dragging on like this for what feels like eternity now, and it seems neither team can find a way to break through the other's defenses. The players are starting to look exhausted as they match each other with no sign of a breakthrough. The excitement that filled this second half of play earlier has fizzled out and all that's left is a tedious, drab product of football between Yotabori and Landskrona. The score still remains 2-5 in favor of Landskrona with no sign of changing anytime soon. Yotabori pressing hard to get a goal, but the formations of both teams are strong. Johan Bangsbo delivers an outstanding tackle from behind, preventing Camille Jabara from taking his shot. The crowd erupts into cheers and applause for his defensive heroics. Hussein Karnil takes control of the ball and plays a delightful through ball for Marcus Berg. He looks to be in on goal but escapes the reach of Adam Ignell who was providing defensive cover. Berg collects the pass and sends a powerful shot towards the top corner only to find Kadura making a spectacular save tipping it over the crossbar. The crowd is really engaged in this exciting match, cheering on every kick of the ball and urging their team on. The referee signals the beginning of the second half and instantly we can see that Yotabori has come out with a purpose. They are racing up and down the pitch, looking for an opportunity for an opening goal. Up front, Marcus Berg is giving the Landskrona defenders a tough time as he drops deep seeking out the ball, while Suleiman Abdullahi and Elias Hagen are threatening on either side. Meanwhile, Landskrona is yet to make an impact this half but looks confident despite being three goals behind. In midfield, Adam Ignell, David Edvidson and Nikola Lodon are linking up their passes together trying to carve out an opportunity for their team. The crowd is in full voice here, urging both teams forward searching for that crucial goal that could shift this game in one direction or another. The crowd at the stadium is cheering wildly as the ball is back in play as Yotaboy's Marcus Berg strives towards goal. He quickly turns past two Landskrona defenders before he's tackled just outside of the penalty box. His teammate Ellis Hagen runs to retrieve the ball, but it's swiftly taken by Nikola Lodon who is looking to advance with it up towards the halfway line. But Landskrona's attempt doesn't come to fruition as Hussein Karnil quickly snatches it back, making a break for the wings of his own team. He passes elegantly across the pitch, Aiming for Simon Thurn but he doesn't quite make it, the ball slides past him and into the hands of Kofi Fosuhin Asari instead. Asari takes off with full speed, keeping his eye on goal as Yotabori goalkeeper Pontus Dahlberg bounds out of net, ready to grant an interception. Fosuhin Asari makes one explosive move past Gustav Svensson and sends a powerful shot straight for goal. The crowd roars with excitement, but their anticipation is soon squashed when Dahlberg makes an incredible save against all odds. Not a single goal has been scored in this game so far and the score remains 2-5 in Landskrona's favor. Yotabori is pressing high with their forwards, Marcus Berg and Suleiman Abdullahi, trying to make something happen. Sebastian Olsen has a good ball into the box from the left side of the pitch, but the Landskrona defense holds strong and clears it away. Pontus Dahlberg collects the loose ball, taking his time before launching a high ball to Elis Hagen. Hagen immediately runs forward with purpose, looking to make something happen. He takes on two defenders before finally being forced out wide. He cuts inside and sends a pass through to Marcus Berg who is lurking around the penalty area. Berg lines up his shot but Ahmed Kadura makes himself big and blocks it out of play. The teams exchange some chances but none of them materialize as both sides seem content to keep possession and slow down the game. It's scoreless as we move into the 64th minute, Yotabori remains ahead 2-5. The kickoff for the second half of the game has been taken and Lance Krona looks to make a powerful comeback as they charge down the field. Midfielder Nikola Lodon gains possession of the ball and does not hesitate to pull off an impressive spin move that leaves two Yotabori defenders in his dust as he surges forward. Lance Krona is sending some serious attacks on Dahlberg's goal, but even with all the pressure, he stays confident and remains a wall between his goalposts. Meanwhile in midfield, 
Elias Hagen of Yotabori is putting on an absolute show with a series of smooth passes and lightning fast reactions, proving he has what it takes to give his team a strong presence in midfield. The match continues to heat up as minute 63 comes to an end but so far neither side have scored, leaving the score still at 2-5 to Landskrona. Landskrona make a desperate attempt to close the gap, with Kofi Fosuhin Asari at the center of their attack. He fights tirelessly in the midfield and threads a pinpoint pass towards Adam Ignell, making a break down the right-hand side. Ignell takes it with an assured touch before taking a shot on goal, but Jutteboy's Pontus Dahlberg makes an incredible dive to keep it out of the back of the net. In response, Jutteboy launched their own counter-attack as Marcus Berg charges forward on the left. He sends a blistering cross into Suleiman Abdullahi who chest traps it to perfection before letting loose an effort from tricky angle that rattles off the post. It would have been one for the highlight reel if it had gone in. The fans cheering wildly in the stands as two player of rival teams dash to the ball. Yotaboy Simon Thurn quickly outpaces Landskrona's Kofi Fosuhin Asari and uses his long legs to gain an advantage. He passes the ball off to Ilya Hagen in midfield who quickly moves it upfield with a well-timed through pass into Marcus Berg's path. Berg takes it forward, but Landskrona defender Philip Anderson is quick enough on the chase and makes a magnificent last-ditch tackle as Berg moves around him. The crowd erupts in applause as players from both sides battle for possession once more. The game carries on for another five minutes with neither team able to grab a goal, bringing the score at 25, still favoring Landskrona by two goals. The crowd's attention turns onto Usman Jawara on the high press, tirelessly attacking back and forth against Yotaboy's defense. Despite his small stature, he continuously manages to outpace players twice his size, forcing them back and again while making space for his teammates to run towards goal. Using quick footwork of passing and dribbling he never tires. Just as it looks like hell break away alone with the ball, fencer Oscar Wendt makes lunging tackle pinning him just in time, sending both players rolling across on turf. The game grudgingly finishes with no further goals scored, a true display from both sides of courage and skill all over the pitch. Yotabori look like they are about to score. Ellis Hagen is driving forward with the ball, he jukes past two defenders with ease. He takes a little bit of a longer touch and lays it back for Marcus Berg who takes an explosive shot from outside the box, but it sails just wide of the goal. Applause from the crowd as Berg's shot was inches from equalizing the score. Yotabori is attacking by sending a long ball towards Marcus Berg on the left wing, but Landskrona goalkeeper Ama Kadura is quick to react and makes the stop. There's a lot of action in the midfield with Gustav Svensson making an incredible back tackle to deny Nikola Lodon a chance to keep the play going. On the opposite side of the pitch, Elias Hagen looks to get involved as he passes to Suleiman Abdullahi on the right side. Abdullahi has been having a great game with his accurate passing and fancy footwork, but this time he is unable to make it count as his attempt is intercepted by the Landskrona defense. Yotabori up the pressure, with Dahlberg advancing further up to join their attack. They win the ball and quickly move it up the right flank, where Berg launches across towards Abdullahi at the edge of the area. He takes a shot, but it's blocked by Jansen. The crowd roars as Landskrona stand firm in defense. The momentum shifts, as they swiftly launch a counter-attack and Jawara gets past Went with ease. He has space to operate in, and he charges into the penalty box. He sends in an inviting cross towards Jabara who shoots from close range, but his effort goes wide of the target. The game is slowing down as we enter into extra time, with Yotabori struggling to break through Landskrona's defensive line even with their man advantage for much of the second half. As fatigue sets in for both teams, neither side is able muster much from this deadlock situation giving them a much needed goal to bring them within striking distance. As the players come out of the half-time break, it's Yotabori with possession as Marcus Berg picks up the ball and drives towards goal. He's surrounded by defenders, but beats them all with a sharp cross-field pass to his teammate Suleiman Abdullahi. He rallies towards goal from the left, but Philip Anderson is there with a perfectly timed tackle and clears away to safety. The crowd are firmly behind their team here in Yotabori, cheering as Yotabori regain control of the ball. 
Elias Hagen sends it up to Hussein Kanil who shoots from outside the box but his effort is pushed wide by Amakadura in goal. A big save from Lance Groner there and now they push forward down the other end looking to increase their lead. Camille Jabara looks up and sees Kofi Fosuhina Sari making a run down the right hand side but Oscar Wendt executes a perfect sliding tackle before Jabara can deliver an accurate pass. The crowd erupts at that tackle. That concludes another quarter of intense soccer as neither team is able to find an opening for a goal. The score remains 2-5 for Landskrona and you can hear Yerdeboy's loyal support making itself known here in the stadium. What a great atmosphere this evening. Yotobori have a break forward as Elias Hagen storms down the pitch on the right wing, dribbling past several Landskrona players. The crowd in the stands roar, shouting his name as he passes by their sidelines. He puts up a cross towards Marcus Berg who connects with a header. The crowd stands to their feet in anticipation of a goal but Ama Kadura makes a remarkable save for Landskrona. He dives low and just manages to collect the ball and clear it out for corner kick. There is huge applause for Kadura from both sides of the field. Sebastian Olsen takes the corner kick but Landskrona's defense easily clear out the ball and immediately launch an attack. They rush forward quickly with Nikola Lodon leading the charge, passing it on to David Edvardson who hits a powerful shot on goal. Pontus Dahlberg reacts quickly and deflects the ball away, keeping Yotobori in lead at 2-5. Play is underway as Yotobori look to make up the deficit. Pontus Dahlberg is quick off his feet to overrule a Landskrona attack and the defending side regroup on the pitch. Sebastian Olsen quickly intercepted a pass and attempted a cross but the ball was blocked by Kadura in goal. On the counter-attack, Hussein Karnil breaks through to reach his target near the box, but his shot goes just wide of goal. There's some nice passing between Gustav Svensson, Simon Fern, and Elias Hagen, but it doesn't seem to be creating any clear-cut chances as Yotobori continue their search for a goal. The game has become a stalemate as both sides appear locked in lackluster play, appearing unable to break through each other's defense. The clock continues ticking on with neither side making any meaningful ground in the game and there is no sign of that changing any time soon. Yotobori is pushing forward with a last-ditch effort to break the deadlock. Elias Hagen is on the ball and launches a cross towards Marcus Berg in the box. Berg stakes out a claim for it and leaps in the air, but Lance Kroner is ready. Arma Kadura is on hand to punch it away, much to the delight of the Lance Kroner faithful who roar in approval. The Yotobori supporters express their admiration too, their vocal support ceaseless throughout the match. With only minutes left on the clock, it looks like Yotobori's chances are running thin. The crowd holds its breath as they wait to see if either side will manage to break through before the final whistle blows. The second half of the game has been going on for 73 minutes, and Yotobori has yet to score a goal. They haven't been able to move any closer to their opponent's Lance Krona, who still hold their impressive lead of 2-5. Now we have some troubling news coming up on the field as a Yotobori player goes down with an injury. It's Sebastian Olsen, the defender has been in pain since being tackled hard earlier in the half. The medical team is rushing out to help him as teammates and opponents gather around him in concern. Let's hope he makes a speedy recovery. The two teams return to their respective sides of the pitch for the start of the second half. Yotobori makes their first move of the game as Marcus Berg, eager to make up for his team's disadvantageous scoreline, launches a powerful shot to the right corner of the net. Lance Groner's Armakadura dives in daringly and saves his team from a potentially even worse scenario. Moments later, Yotobois defender Adam Kalm executes an impressive slide tackle to reclaim possession from David Edvardson in Lance Groner's midfield. The crowd cheers as they recognize Kalm's daring move, but Lance Groner continues their forward attack with Nikola Lodon passing the ball between defenders and craftily avoiding tackles until he finds Usman Jawara, who tries an ambitious shot on goal only for Dahlberg to make an outstanding save and retain his team's clean record. An almost goal is made but ultimately squandered due to impeccable goalkeeping from both ends of the pitch. The excitement builds as both teams fight for every inch on the field, with neither giving up ground. As we pass minute 74, it looks like this closely contested match may be decided by the skillful player making that one great move that creates a winning opportunity for one of these two talented sides. Yotobori goalkeeper Pontus Dahlberg just made a key save on Lance Groner's Camille Jabara shot in minute 76 of the game. As his defenders rush to counter, 
Johan Bangsbo won back possession for Yotabori swiftly and launched a well-crafted counter-attack. A quick pass from Hussein Carniel set up Elias Hagen for the shot, but Armakadora, Lance Grona's goalkeeper, anticipated the move and thwarted Yotabori's attempt to cut their deficit. Kudos to Armakadora for another sensational save. Yotabori is pushing forward, trying to reduce the score margin against Lance Grona. Marcus Berg receives the ball from his teammate, advancing towards the goal. He is being aggressively marked by Eric Hedenquist from Lance Krona but Berg manages to find a gap, quickly shifting the ball in his feet and taking a shot at goal. Unfortunately the defender was able to close him down and block it, a great defensive move. Pontus Dahlberg who is Jöteborg's goalkeeper right now looks disappointed as he saved just two out of eight shots he faced for Lance Krona so far. Yotabori is attempting to make a last-ditch effort to get back into this game late in the second half. Dare pushing their attack forward, with one final surge of energy. Marcus Berg is driving up the middle of the pitch, surrounded by defenders from Lance Groner. He's doing his best to weave through them and create an opening, but he's getting more and more crowded as he moves forward. Meanwhile, Elias Hagen is moving up on the left flank, trying to move in support. He snatches the deflected cross and takes a shot at goal, but it's blocked by Armakadura in net with quick reflexes. The crowd erupts in applause for both their team's valiant efforts this time around. The ball is back in play as Gothenburg players push forward, punching into the Landskrona defensive line. Sebastian Olsen sending a long pass towards Marcus Berg on the right wing, but Philip Anderson is there to meet him as he tries to make his way into the box. Berg intercepted and knocked down, with Anderson taking possession of the ball and driving across midfield. He fires off a shot just outside of the box, but Pontus Dahlberg is well positioned to make the save. The rebound falls to David Edvardson who tries an acrobatic effort but it falls narrowly wide. Yotabori breathe a sigh of relief. We are now deep into added time at 2-5. Yotabori looks determined as they continue to press forward determined to get on the score sheet. Sebastian Olsen quickly steps up and strides forward, snatching possession and going on a surging run before being stopped by a solid tackle from Emil Lindman. The Yotabori midfielders show great synergy, with Hussein Karniel confidently dictating play and distributing the ball to his teammates with skill. Gustav Svensson's remarkable athleticism is on show again as he covers every blade of grass, now pushing up in attack and giving Scar when support down the left flank. Marcus Berg almost gets the breakthrough for Yotabori, cutting inside nicely before being denied by Armakadura in a superb save. The intensity of the game continues to build as Lance Groner launches one last push for glory. Yotabori pushes forward in an attempt to save the game with a late goal, but Lance Groner's defense holds strong. Elias Hagen looks for a way past the defenders, but fumbles possession and it falls to Kofi Fosuhinasari. He lays off a pass to David Edvardson who charges forward with the ball in an attempt to break away from the Yotabori defenders. The referee blows his whistle and calls for a foul from Oscar went despite his seemingly clean tackle on Edvardson, much to the chagrin of both sides. The fans jeer loudly in frustration as they are not happy with the referee's decision. Yotabori with the possession of the ball and Pontus Dahlberg looks to deliver the ball forward. He finds Elias Hagen in midfield who passes it off to Suleiman Abdullahi. Abdullahi sprints down the right side of the pitch trying to find Marcus Berg, but he is met with a challenge by Melka Jernsen who intercepts his pass. Lance Krona now looks to press hard in defense, trying to stay steady and secure their lead with only a few minutes remaining in the game. Nikola Lodon gathers up the loose ball and tries to slip it through to Kofi Fosuhina Sari, but Adam Kalm dives in for a crucial tackle and Yotabori maintain their defensive shape. Lance Krona push forward once again and Johan Bangsbo needs all his strength as he fends off Usman Jawara, who is denied by the determined Yotabori midfielder. Both teams keep pushing hard as they attempt to close out the game, and possession continues switching between them as we wait for extra time yet there are still no goals scored. Yotabori is currently on a break as they attack Lance Groner's defense. The midfielders move into position while the strikers advance up the pitch. 
Marcus Berg takes hold of the ball and sprints past two defenders but is snuffed out at the ground's edge by a third defender. Lance Krona regains possession and moves towards midfield with the ball. Camille Jabara passes it to Kofi Fosuhina Sari before straying off and making a run for the penalty box. Fosuhina Sari dribbles carefully with the ball and as he approaches Yotaboy's penalty box, he steps over it to evade an incoming defender. A tackle is made in Yotaboy's side of the pitch, sending both players tumbling to ground. A free kick is awarded to Lance Krona as they push forward, looking for an opening goal to put them ahead by three points. The players are spread out across the pitch as both teams search for an opportunity on goal everyone dashing this way and that in their effort to gain ground quickly against their opponents. The dust from their feet rises around them in clouds, shifting and swaying in the air like so many kites on a gusty day. Amidst all this chaos, a momentary respite comes when all 22 players stand still, waiting for what comes next a free kick? A shot. A gritty battle over who will have possession of this bewitching game we call soccer. Jotaboy's Marcus Berg is controlling the ball on the edge of the box and looks for an opening in the Landskrona defense. He passes to Elis Hagen but a Landskrona defender intercepts. Kofi Fosuhinasari picks up possession for Landskrona and sends in a long pass deep into his own half looking for a teammate to pick up possession. Suleiman Abdullahi gets there first, traps it expertly and runs towards the box with the ball at his feet, taking on several defenders as he goes. He makes it to the edge of the box but his shot is blocked by a defender. The ball is cleared with Elias Hagen attempting to keep it in Landskrona's box but fails as Landskrona regain possession and launch a counter-attack. Yotabori is still in the lead with 2-5 as the clock winds down, but Landskrona is pushing forward with motivated energy for a late chance. Kofi Fosuhina Sari in the midfield tries to spark an attack, maneuvering around two defenders as he works his way upfield. After slipping past them, he sends a pass to Usman Jawara on the wing who takes it and dribbles towards the goal line. He fires off a cross across the box, but Yotabori defender Adam Kalm is there to clear it away. With only seconds left in regulation time, both teams are scrambling for any advantage they can get before time expires. The referee signals for play to continue, and Yotabori's Hussein Karniel sets up and kicks the ball off to his teammate Simon Fern. Fern dribbles the ball toward the box and quickly shifts his weight, duking out defender Philip Anderson. He looks ready to make a shot, but is quickly blocked by Melka Jernson and the ball is sent flying out of bounds. The crowd erupts in cheers as they watch the close call between Yotabori and Lance Grona. Both teams are still searching for a goal as the clock ticks away in this thrilling game. Yotabori launches another attempt at goal but the ball is blocked by Lance Grona's defense. Kadura makes an excellent save that draws a loud cheer from the crowd. Lance Grona is looking to make a breakaway, desperate to lessen the gap in the scoreline. Jabara takes control and dribbles past two Yotabori defenders, beautifully weaving his way through them before being fouled on the edge of the box. The crowd goes wild. The referee whistles for a free kick and the ball is placed carefully, but then nothing, the shot misses. Fans from both sides are in full voice, their energy really pushing both teams forward into extra time. Wow, what support for these teams. Yotabori is pushing forward looking to score the equalizing goal, but Lance Krona's defense is keeping them at bay. Lance Krona's left back Emil Lindman makes a crucial tackle in the box to stop a close chance for Yotabori. The stadium erupts with cheers as the crowd appreciates the great defending. Gould and Abdullahi exchange passes in midfield, looking for an opening in Lance Krona's defense, but their efforts are blocked yet again. Yotabori Svensson tries from the edge of the box but his fierce effort is put high over the bar sending a wave of groaning from the Yotabori supporters. Time is running out and neither side is able to break through as both teams struggle to gain possession in this tightly contested affair. Yotabori is pushing forward in attempt to score one more goal before the break. Elias Hagen collects the ball on the left side of the pitch and presses towards the box. He drills a sharp pass across to Marcus Berg, but Landskrona goalkeeper Arma Kadura intercepts quickly and claims possession. Lance Krona breaks down the field looking for a late goal. Camille Jabara takes control of the ball on the right side and is taken on a run by Usman Jawara into Yotaboy's penalty area. 
Johannes Bangsbo slides across to win back possession and turns it back towards his own goal. Sebastian Olsen collects it in Yerteboy's half and quickly dispatches it up front to Abdullahi, who sizzles a curling shot from deep, only for it to sail wide of target. The clock ticks down as both teams press for that late goal but neither are able to clinch it. The referee's whistle signals full-time Yerteboy 2 to 5 Landskrona. The clock is ticking as both teams push to end the game with a win. Yotabori is still down by three goals and needs a miracle if they're going to turn things around. Suleiman Abdullahi sends a long cross into the box, but it's too high and misses the head of Marcus Bird. David Edvidson from Landskrona counters with a powerful shot, Pontus Dahlberg in goal makes an incredible diving save. The crowd erupts in cheers as limbs fly in the air. In the background, the spectacular architecture of Mostin Stadium stands out with its large open seating area, separate stands for players and officials, and mural-style murals. Despite being designed almost a century ago, its classic style remains fresh and inviting. Fans are constantly on their feet cheering, while families commiserate together watching their favorite teams on the pitch. The two teams are battling for the win in extra time, with neither team having broken the deadlock yet. Yotabori is striving for a comeback and Landskrona is trying to hold off their rivals to secure the victory. Marcus Berg is taking on several defenders, doing everything to get a last-minute goal for Yotabori. Landskrona's Gregor Bukt is doing all he can to keep them in front and maintain their lead. Kofi Fosuhi Nasari passes the ball to Camille Jabara, who's on a break at the right side of the pitch. He unleashes a powerful shot towards goal, but Pontus Dahlberg in net stops it with an impressive save. It's still 2-5 with no side able to find a goal. The weather outside is grey and cloudy with high winds. Still enough energy out there to make it an exciting finish. The sides are deadlocked in this grueling battle with no signs of a breakthrough being made. Jotobois Pontus Dolbo has been nothing short of spectacular in net today, making amazing saves and keeping his team in the match despite Lance Groner's onslaught. He looks unstoppable as he confidently punches away anything that comes his way. Meanwhile, Marcus Berg is rallying the forces on the pitch, giving rousing speeches and providing bursts of energy to keep morale among his teammates high. His hustle and determination are palpable and it's clear why he is one of Yotaboy's most valued players. He never gives up, no matter what. Yotaboy's valiant attempt to claw back the goal deficit have come up short in the dying minutes of extra time. The energy on the pitch is starting to settle as both teams realize a goal is unlikely. We're seeing a lot of weary legs and arms being thrown in the air in frustration. The midfield are struggling to find space, as passes are being intercepted before they reach their target. Yotabori goalkeeper Pontus Dahlberg is marshalling his defense and trying to put them in positions to halt any counter-attacks from Lance Groner. With less than five minutes remaining, it looks like the game will close out with the score still at 2-5. Oh dear, this is looking like a boring conclusion to what started out as a thrilling match. All eyes on the referee now. The players are doing their best to take the lead with 10 minutes to go and the crowd is going wild with anticipation. Both teams attack and defend fiercely, but no team can break through. Jotaboy's keeper Pontus Dahlberg has been a standout star tonight and is keeping Lance Kroner from scoring another goal. He comes out of his box to clear the ball multiple times and showcases great athleticism. He attempts to pass the ball upfield, but it gets blocked by Lance Kroner forward Camille Jabara. The Lance Kroner defense then holds off a series of powerful shots from Marcus Berg until the referee blows for full time. What an incredible game we just watched. It's been a thrilling match between IFK Yotabori and Lance Kronoboas, and when the final whistle blew, it was Lance Kronoboas who stood out as victorious. What a great success for the team. The supporters of the two teams have been absolutely amazing this evening, singing their hearts out throughout the full 90 minutes of action. Athleticism and determination from both sides were on full display. And at last, after a hard-fought battle, it was Lance Kronoboas who showed us why they are still in contention for the Svenska Kupen. The magnitude of this win cannot be overstated, this is truly an incredible moment for Lance Kronoboas, who stand a great chance to keep progressing further in the tournament. The team has now dug deep into their reserves of spirit and faith, 
which will surely serve them well in their upcoming matches. Their opponents have never been tougher and can only become harder in the days ahead, but with this win under their belt, Lance Groenabouwers has sent a powerful statement to all challenges in Svenska Cupid. So congratulations to both teams on an amazing match, but especially to Lance Groenabouwers who reigned supreme at the end of this thrilling encounter. What an incredible game we just watched. It's been a thrilling match between IFK Yotobori and Lance Kronoboas, and when the final whistle blew, it was Lance Kronoboas who stood out as victorious. What a great success for the team. The supporters of the two teams have been absolutely amazing this evening, singing their hearts out throughout the full 90 minutes of action. Athleticism and determination from both sides were on full display. And at last, after a hard-fought battle, it was Lance Kronoboas who showed us why they are still in contention for the Svenska Kupen. The magnitude of this win cannot be overstated, this is truly an incredible moment for Lance Kronoboas, who stand a great chance to keep progressing further in the tournament. The team has now dug deep into their reserves of spirit and faith, which will surely serve them well in their upcoming matches. Their opponents have never been tougher and can only become harder in the days ahead, but with this win under their belt, Lance Kronoboas has sent a powerful statement to all challenges in Svenska Kupen. So congratulations to both teams on an amazing match, but especially to Lance Kronoboas who reigned supreme at the end of this thrilling encounter.
the referee's whistle brings the game to life and Landskrona take kickoff. Their midfielders send the ball towards the left flank for Usman Jawara and he immediately looks to turn his man inside out. He does so with a neat turn of foot, but Christopher Hansen, in BK Hacken's defense, shows great game awareness and charges forward to clear the danger. Kofi Fosuhinasari picks up the loose ball and passes it short to Nikola Lodon who finds himself under pressure from Mikkel Rygaard Jensen in midfield. Lodon is less than composed however, and skies his pass way over the heads of the defenders. Abrahamson in goal was already backpedaling as soon as Lodon made contact and stays alive just long enough to watch his effort sail high over his head, out of bounds for a BK Hacken goal kick. The Landskrona team kicks off and dare immediately on the attack. Usman Jawara receives the ball and dribbles past two BK Hecken defenders, drawing loud cheers from the Landskrona crowd. He then passes to Adam Ignell in the midfield, who in turn attempts a long pass to Camille Jabara. The pass is wide however, and BK Hecken regains possession. Blair Turga takes control of the ball and immediately starts dribbling downfield towards Landskrona's half. He skillfully passes it to Simon Gustafsson who is met with a challenge from Kofi Fosuhinasari. Kofi reclaims possession for his team but BK Hacken's defense manages to block a further attack by Landskrona as time expires for this initial play. The crowds in the stands cheer as both teams display some impressive plays despite no goals being scored so far. We are right at the start of the game and it's an energetic start by both Landskrona and BK Hecken. Both sides are looking to launch their attacks early and create chances. The ball is with Landskrona and they are looking to exploit the wings with Camille Jabara pushing down the left side, while Nicola Lodon has the ball in midfield, searching for an opening. He passes it up to David Edvardson who runs forward before being tackled by Thomas Totland. The ball is cleared for a corner to Landskrona. Both teams are pushing forward strongly trying to press high and deny each other any space on the ball. The intensity is reaching fever pitch as both sides challenge back and forth, with neither one able to break the deadlock just yet. Ibrahim Sadiq has managed to find a pocket of space on the right side but he is quickly closed down this time around by Adam Ignell's superb defensive performance. The first half continues like this, both teams getting closer and closer to scoring but unable to above all breakthrough. Still no goals as we reach half time with the score at 0-0. Landskrona kickoff, and Ibrahim Sadiq launches a powerful cross into the penalty box. It's too far ahead of Turgut and Abramson grabs it with both hands, punching it right back out to safety. But Camille Jabara is there for Landskrona, charging forward and taking the ball to the byline. He plays it back in quickly towards the penalty spot and Usman Jawara is on hand to meet it. Despite heavy pressure from Hammer in defense, he slides it underneath Abramson who can only watch as it nestles into the corner of the net. A super clinical finish from Landskrona they take a well-deserved lead. The game has just gotten underway and BK Hecken seem to be on the offensive. Blair Turgut is looking particularly menacing in the attack, carrying the ball quickly down the left flank. He lays a deft pass off to Ibrahim Sadiq, who looks to send a cross into the box, but his effort is blocked by Landskrona's Melka Jensen. The defender does a great job of sweeping up possession and averting danger with excellent defensive abilities. The action is hotting up on the pitch at Landskrona as Nikola Lodon of Landskrona charges past his counterpart, Oscar Udnes of BK Hecken and makes his way towards goal. He strikes the ball with a powerful shot but it's just wide. Oh what a missed chance. It's minute 8 now and David Edvardson looks to be in trouble. He takes a knock from Simon Gustafsson and looks to be struggling with an injury. We're seeing some medical personnel come out onto the pitch to give him some treatment, so we'll have to see what happens here with the home team player. Still 0-0 in this scoreless contest. It's a sunny day at Landskrona as the two teams come out of the tunnel. Both teams are full of energy and ambition, and each side is looking to put one in the back of the net. On one side, Landskrona in their classic home kit with Ama Kadura in net, and on the other, BK Hecken in their traditional away kit with Peter Abramson taking up custody in the box. The whistle blows and both teams take off, players hustling after each other up and down the green turf and battle taking control of possession. Kofi Fosuhinasari rises above his opposition on a strong aerial duel and chips it further downfield where his teammate Usman Jawara grabs it before a crowding defense can pounce on him. 
he quickly looks around him for an open pass, but none presents itself and he dribbles past three players directly down at goal. He passes it to Camille Jabara who releases a thunderous shot that looks destined for those magical three points, but Abramson denies them. The keeper dives to the ground just in time to stop it from making it into goal. Close call there from BK Hacken's defense. The game is underway and it's an intense start with no room for error. Lance Sprona with Kadura in net put the pressure on early in their offensive attack, while BK Hecken looking to keep them off the board are equal to dangerous. Abramson has been quick off his line to cut out potential scoring opportunities for Lance Sprona. Both teams running very physical and trying to gain the control of the midfield but both teams cancelling each other out so far. All players showing great cardio in this very demanding match, with the crowd cheering them on and appreciating every strong tackle or well-placed pass. Looking like an exciting 45 minutes ahead of us. Keep up the good work. The two teams remain locked in a fierce battle, neither willing to back down. Lance Groner's Armacadura and VK Hacken's Peter Abramson launch forward with full power, each team fighting for possession of the ball. David Edvidson does a powerful sliding tackle on Mikkel Rygaard Jensen and dispossess him of the ball. Adam Ignell quickly moves up the pitch and plays a precise through ball to Camille Jabara who makes a brilliant run through the defense. He sends in a sharp cross from the wing, almost finding Usman Jawara ready to tap it in, but it skips just past him and out of play. The pace of the game is slowly easing off and not as much action is taking place on either side at present. Both teams are giving their all but no breakthrough is coming yet, I still focus on the 0-0 scoreline as the half-time whistle begins to sound. The match is just underway and the air is electrified with anticipation. Lance Sprona and BK Hecken go head-to-head -head in a highly contested battle of skill and speed. On the left side of the pitch, Kofi Fosuhina Sari weaves in and out of his opponents before delivering a precise pass to fellow midfielder David Edvardson who takes off running towards goal. In an incredible display of athleticism, defender Johan Hammer rushes back and makes a skillful tackle to intercept the ball. The crowd rises in unison as they cheer his defensive prowess. In response, Camille Jabara quickly regains possession for Lance Groner and propels the team forward with his blistering speed. After exchanging several passes with his teammates, he looks for an opening on goal but is blocked by goalkeeper Peter Abramson who shows tremendous reflexes to block away Kamel's shot. Lance Groner's David Edvardson dribbles the ball up the pitch, easily beating two BK Hecken defenders and drawing a foul from defender Ivan Hovland. Edvardson steps up to take the free kick from 18 yards out, his left-footed attempt going just wide of the post. The game resumes with both teams evenly matched in midfield, near misses from Edvardson and Turgut as each team looks for a breakthrough. Both teams struggle for control of the match as a sea of red and blue kits blur together on the lush green pitch. Lance Sprona employs a short passing game in an attempt to get around BK Hacken's defense, while Abramson is alert to save several shots on goal with quick reflexes. Lance Sprona eagerly pushes forward, with Camille Jabara launching a long ball to find Usman Jawara. BK Hacken reacts quicker, and Ibrahim Sadiq quickly intercepts and surges towards the goal. He threads a pass to Blair Turgut who narrowly misses the net by inches. Lance Groner is on the defense and works hard to keep the away team at bay. Suddenly, Philip Anderson goes down clutching his leg in pain. The referee immediately stops play and calls for medical assistance as Lance Groner captain Emil Lindman looks on with concern. The two teams are tied up at 0-0 as we approach the 16th minute, but Lance Groner's forward Camille Jabara is determined to break the deadlock. Reaching a well-timed pass from Kofi Fosuhina Sari, he charges towards goal and unleashes a powerful shot from the edge of the box but it's narrowly blocked by a last-ditch challenge from BK Hacken's centre-back Johan Hammer. Jabara takes advantage of the resulting momentary confusion, pouncing on the loose ball and racing towards goal again but Abramson is alerting goal to make an important save. Lance Groner are still looking for that elusive first goal, while Abramson is proving hard to beat. It's an intense match so far as both teams are trying everything they can to get on the board first and take the lead. 
Lance Groner looks like it has the upper hand right now with their midfielder Kofi Fosuhina Sari making a solo run down the center of the pitch, but BK Hecken is managing to keep him at bay. As Asari charges forward Abramson is quick off his line to snatch the chance away before it can turn into anything dangerous. Great work from both sides. The crowd here in Landskrona is loving every minute of this match too and cheering on ferociously to spur their team onto victory. Kadura is alert as Blair Turgut of BK Hecken finds himself with a slalom into the penalty area. The Landskrona defense collapses inwards, pressing in to take away Turgut's pace. Out of nowhere, Kofi Fosuhina Sari steams into a sliding tackle, winning the ball and sending it away from danger. But unfortunately, the ferocity of his challenge has taken him off balance and Kirk Wallenstrom can't avoid colliding with him. The home player is limping on the ground in obvious pain, looks like he might have sprained his ankle. Meanwhile, play resumes and Abramson catches a low-driven cross from Jabara before launching it upfield with a rasping throw. The teams now reorganize themselves as they enter another phase in this tense 0-0 encounter. The atmosphere at Landskrona is electric as the home side search for an early goal. The defense holds strong, clearing every ball that comes their way and attacking quickly when the opportunity presents itself. The crowd is on their feet now as Adam Ignell curls a perfect pass to Camille Jabara. Jabara takes a touch and lays off the pass back to Ignell, who takes aim from 30 yards out. Abramson in the heck and goal dives low but can't keep out Ignell's impeccable shot. The crowd erupts and Landskrona go 1 0 up. Great work. Good build-up play has put them in front here at Landskrona. Could this be what they needed to take home the win? We'll have to wait and see. Landskrona's Kofi Fosuhina Sari is on the ball and trying to move it upfield, looking for a teammate in the attack. He passes it off to Camille Jabara who takes it into the box with a burst of speed and tries to outmaneuver Hammer, but just barely overshoots his mark as he passes it off. Hacken's Christopher Hansen is showing off some fancy footwork, though twisting and turning to keep up with the rapid pace of play, pulling off some impressive moves with ease. Eric Hedenquist is bringing an impressive amount of energy to his defensive duties today, zipping around the pitch like lightning and cutting out any potential attacks before they can even develop. The score remains 1-0 in this intense matchup between Lance Groner and BK Hecken. It's an exciting moment as the ball is served up to Lance Groner's Camille Jabara at the center circle. He drives forward, looking for a passing option, but he sees none. He decides to take matters into his own hands, pushing the ball towards BK Hecken's goal. There's a brilliant piece of skill from Jabara as he weaves in and out of opponents with remarkable agility he's just too tricky for them. Jabara is through on goal and thunders a shot straight past Peter Abramson in the BK Hecken goal, it's a sensational strike from the Lance Groner midfielder. The home fans go wild as the red and white shirts celebrate in the stands. A brilliant individual effort from Camille Jabara makes it 1-0 to Lance Groner. The ball is in play and Landskrona's keeper Ama Kadura is quickly off his line to make a strong save, denying BK Hacken's Ibrahim Sadiq a chance at goal. The ball is quickly cleared down the pitch as David Edvardson drives forward, zigzagging past the defenders. Suddenly Philip Anderson has the ball on the edge of Hacken's box, but his shot goes just wide of the goal. It's a heart-stopping moment for Landskrona's fans. Officials pause the game for a water break and out on the pitch we see Landskrona stalwart Eric Hedenquist approach youngster Kofi Fosuhina Sari giving him some encouraging words as he readies himself to return to play. It's clear to see Asari has been heavily influenced by Hedenquist throughout this game, always dropping deep and spreading out wide when needed. The game has been lopsided thus far, with Landskrona controlling possession and pushing hard to extend their lead. Kofi Fosuhin Asari and Camille Jabara have been especially impressive in the midfield, with Kofi creating chances for his teammates while Camille holds off his opponent to maintain offensive advantage. However, the BK Hecken defense has remained stubbornly sturdy, led by stalwart centre-back Johan Hammer and the energetic Ivan Hovland. Their steadfast embodiment of team defense has made it tough for the Landskrona offense to break them down so far. Almost on cue, Hovland makes a heroic forward run to burst through the lines and keep pressure on Landskrona's defenders. He might have gone all the way himself to cause trouble for Arma Kadura if not for Philip Anderson making a timely tackle that sends the ball back into midfield.
the sides are feeling the strain, as each team looks to gain a foothold in the match and assert their dominance. We're seeing some great action, but also a few hard challenges flying in as Lance Groner press forward in search of that first goal. The referee is being very strict here, dishing out cards faster than a casino dealer. He's brandishing bookings left and right, making sure no team takes any rash actions. Unfortunately he isn't letting play flow as much as he should every tackle has been met with swift and immediate punishment. The kickoff goes to BK Hecken and they are sprinting the ball up the pitch. Mikkel Rygaard Jensen controls the ball and unleashes a long distance shot towards the net. Arma Kadura is quick on his feet and dives to make an incredible save, keeping Lance Krona in the game. He pulls off an acrobatic move, but looks to be injured in the process as he stays down. The referee makes his way over with medical personnel as Nikola Lodon comforts his teammate on the pitch. The score still stands a 2-0 for BK Hacken, but with all of this commotion it would be quite a surprise to see either team score early in this half. The ball is in play for Lance Groner and short passes around the midfield have them moving upfield. Nicola Lodon spots an opportunity and tries to go through the defense with a through ball, but it's just a bit too long and goes out of play. Referee, who has been very lenient with his calls so far, blows his whistle and calls for a free kick for BK Hecken. Thomas Totland takes it quickly before the defending team can get ready and floats it up towards Ibrahim Sadiq near the box, he controls well but is quickly denied by Kofi Fosuhin Asari who manages to get in front of him. The referee really should have given at least a yellow card for that challenging tackle. The match continues as both teams are still looking for an opening goal without yet showing any real dominance on the field. Lance Groner is in control of the match and they are showing some real skill on the ball. Philip Anderson is really showing his talent on the pitch and he's been commanding the defensive line. He times his tackles perfectly and puts out any opponent threat quickly. On the other side BK Hecken is pressing hard but not yet able to break through Lance Groner's solid defense. The midfielders of Lance Groner have done a great job in intercepting passes and keeping possession of the ball. At the moment, the match has been dominated by passing between teammates a confident show from both teams. The ball is in play as Lance Grona fight to break down their opponent's defense. Kadiura is alert and on the lookout from goals from BK Hakan's attackers. Usman Jawara passes to Nikola Lodon who immediately lays it off for Kofi Fosuhin Asari. Fosun drives a shot towards the goal but Peter Abramson is sharp and dives quickly to make a save against the shot, preventing a goal for Lance Groner. The crowd roar with enthusiasm and appreciation for the great effort displayed by both sides. The score in the game remains 2-0. The Lance Groner players are trying to press forward, with Camille Jabara leading his team up the pitch. Kofi Fosuhin Asari is right behind him, looking to provide the deadly pass which could lead to a goal. Meanwhile, BK Hecken are pushing back and putting up a strong resistance. Their goalkeeper Peter Abramson is in prime form, outstretching himself to make an incredible, fingertip save. A joke about one of these players? Well, you know what they say about Philip Anderson he has such great ball control, he could juggle an anvil. Kadura quickly dives to the ground and attempts to block a shot from Turgut, but the ball curves just wide of the post. Abramson makes an incredible save at the other end, keeping his side in the game for now. On center field, Fosuhin Asari runs into open space with defender Lindman tracking closely behind. He shimmies past both Udners and Gustafsson before tapping a beautiful pass inside to Lodon who one touches it out of reach of Rygaard Jensen. The crowd roars as Lodon goes on a sprinting run towards the goal but it's cut short by an aggressive tackle from Ivan Hovland who is immediately shown a yellow card by the referee. Halfway through the game and the audience can feel that tensions are rising on this hot summer day. Lance Krona controls possession, trying to create chances while BK Hecken are tenaciously defending every move and counter-attacking with strong runs down both sides of the field. It's an exciting contest here at Lance Krona as both teams battle for control over this hard-fought turf. The half is winding down, and BK Hecken have controlled the ball in the midfield for the majority of time, keeping Lance Groner penned inside their box. The defense line has been steadfast, 
with Thomas Totland and Johan Hammer holding firm at the back. The middle has been equally stoic allowing little creativity through to Samuel Gustafsson up front. Lanskrona have held their own despite conceding two goals to Abrahamsson's side and Camille Jabara is pushing forward desperate to find a way through. Eric Denquist is manning his post at the back, making sure any surging opponents are kept at bay. Usman Jawara is causing some trouble for BK Hakan's defense with his darting runs down either side of the pitch, trying his best to get into a shooting position but so far failing. Both teams' fatigue is obvious to reach a palpable air of desperation as they both search for that crucial third goal that could decide this tight game. The pace has slowed significantly in comparison to how it began tackles are few and far between and both sides are focused on controlling possession rather than pushing forward as quickly as possible in order to get ahead. 30 minutes remain on the clock, and both teams still have time to try and score what could be a decisive goal but so far nothing has been able to breach any defense line. With 2-0 it currently stands, this game turned out to be much closer than anyone expected. The Landskrona defense stands tall and is able to keep BK Hecken away from their goal. Kadura makes a brilliant save, stretching to parry the shot out for a corner. Ibrahim Sadiq takes the corner and challenges the defense but it's cleared away by Lindman. The crowd is clearly engaged, giving a huge roar as Fosuhi Nasari takes the ball upfield. He drives into space and takes a shot from just outside the box but Peter Abramson tips it over for another corner. Brilliant effort from Nasari, but Abramson was equal to the task this time. The Landskrona fans can be heard cheering loudly, as Fosuhi Nasari continues to press forward and cause problems for BK Hecken defense. Kadura collects the ball after a cross by Turgut sails wide of the goal. Both teams are clashing in a battle for midfield supremacy, as Abramson punched away Lindman's effort just moments ago. The crowd here at Landskrona Stadium can feel the tension as every crunching tackle and passing play provide potential scoring chances. Edvidson takes control of the ball and passes to Fosuhi Nasari on the left wing, but his attempt is blocked by Hansen's well-timed tackle before going out of bounds. The game is slowing down now as both teams struggle to keep possession. Players of both sides are trying to break through with some intelligent passing plays but the midfield is bustling with activity as defenders turn away each team's attempts to penetrate the opposition's defense. The ball finds its way to Fosuhi Nasari, who sends it deep into the BK Hecken half. Kofi surges forward and jinks past two BK Hecken defenders, only to be denied by Abramson making a brave stop. Lance Frona mount another attack, as Jabara takes on even Hovland, but the latter recovers well, muscling Jabara off the ball. The move soon falls apart, as Abramson collects the ball from Edvardsson's deep cross. Lance Frona with a foothold in midfield have been resolute in their pressing, closing down passing lanes for BK Hacken's players every chance they get. However, the visitors have done well to keep the ball alive, finding their way through and out of tight spaces when needed. Both sides seem determined to add a goal before halftime arrives, but neither has been able to break through so far. Both teams step up their game in this dying moments of the first half, and neither side is holding back. Lance Sprona advances the ball toward the BK Hacken end of the pitch, with Kofi Fosuhi Nasari causing some trouble for the defense. He slips past one defender and puts in a cross, but an alert Peter Abramson gets to it before anyone else. The crowd in the stands gives an appreciative roar at the show of skill by both teams. Lance Sprona maintain possession and surge forward again, finding some space on the right flank. Adam Ignell spots Emil Lindman in the box and threads a tidy pass through to him. He takes a pair of touches to open up shooting space, but his shot is blocked by Ivan Hovland. The cheering in Lance Groner's supporters section is loud as they urge their team forward yet again. The whistle blows for half-time as both teams retreat to their respective sides with it still goalless at 2-0. The crowd cheers as a swift attack from Lance Groner puts pressure on BK Hacken's defense. Kofi Fosuhi Nasari takes the ball and weaves through the midfield, dodging defenders and sending a perfect pass to Usman Jawara who has made a brilliant run towards goal. He controls the pass with his first touch and with his second nails it into the back of the net. Lance Krona have taken the lead 2-0. Now that was truly masterful from Fosuhi Nasari, a beautiful link-up piece of play from Kadura to Anderson to Edvardsson to set up this opportunity. The crowd leaps to their feet in sheer jubilation, applauding every move. 
the Landskrona defense leads the charge as they desperately press forward in an attempt to break the stalemate. Kofi Fosuhina Sari collects the ball on the edge of BK Hakan's penalty box and sends a powerful shot rocketing towards Abramson. The keeper dives to his right, managing to get both hands on the shot and push it aside for a corner kick. Landskrona, led by their passionate supporters, come alive as they surge forward in desperate pursuit of a goal. Kofi Fosuhina Sari struttingly puts in a dangerous cross from the corner, which is eventually cut out by Hansen. The crowd roars wildly with anticipation, desperate for an equalizer, as Lance Krona keep pressure on their opponents with energetic defensive play. Emil Lindman charges forward from his position and puts in a last-ditch tackle on Turgut just outside the area managing to clear away any danger with some well-timed defending. With both sides locked in stalemate, the first half whistle blows and it's 0-0 after 41 minutes of play. Lance Krona starts a furious attack up the pitch with Kofi Fosuhina Sari leading the charge. He darts over the ball and drives it deep down the left-hand side of the field, leaving a glorious chance for a cross into the box. But, BK Hacken's Christopher Hansen steps up to challenge. He slides in using great awareness and brings down Kofi triumphantly. On the other end of the pitch, Ibrahim Sadiq is making his presence known, weaving past Lance Krona defenders all over midfield. It's clear that he has a special touch, one that he puts to good use when launching an impressive shot towards Armakadura in goal. The Landskrona keeper dives to his left to make a spectacular save, as Sadiq can only look on in frustration as his nail gun attempt goes wide of the mark. The game still stands at 3-0 but with time ticking away Sadiq and co have their work cut out for them if they are to make something happen before half-time. Who will snatch a goal before the whistle? Lance Krona's Kofi Fosuhina Sari is on the ball, driving past Hecken defenders and proceeding towards the goal. Abramson dives for the ball but Fosuhina Sari shuffles his feet quickly, passes it to Camille Jabara who takes a shot. The ball flies towards the goal mouth but is deflected at the last moment by Hacken's Thomas Totland. As Totland recovers to his feet, he shares a grin with his teammates, they all knew that they just witnessed a great defensive maneuver. The first half of the game between Lance Krona and BK Hacken has been a torrid affair, with both sides locked in a tense battle on the pitch. Lance Krona have been in control for much of the half and have enjoyed good periods of possession, pinning BK Hacken back for long spells. Kofi Fosuhina Sari has been particularly impressive for the visiting team, linking up well with Usman Jawara, who has had a number of opportunities to put his side ahead. For BK Hacken, Simon Gustafsson has shown glimpses of his quality, while Blair Turgut and Ibrahim Sadiq have worked hard to keep the score at 0-0. However, at the halfway point it's still scoreless between these two sides, with the score remaining 3-0. Lance Krona is still on the drive ahead, but BK Hecken is not giving up so easily. Ibrahim Sadiq gets the ball and passes it to Simon Gustafsson, but it's intercepted immediately by Adam Ignell who sends the ball flying with a powerful kick into the back of the net. Goal. Lance Krona takes a 4-0 lead. BK Hecken is pushing back, with Oscar Udenas trying to make a break through the right side of the defense. He winds up and takes a hard shot, and Armakadura makes an impressive leaping save. The players on both sides are taking no prisoners in this game as play intensifies. Eric Hedenquist makes a great run up to midfield and sends speedy winger Camille Jabara off on a sprint down the left flank. Jabara streaks past two defenders and nails an incredible curving shot that shoots past Peter Abramson for Lance Grona's fifth goal. A brilliant display of footwork from Jabara. And we're back on the pitch with another half full of non-stop action. Lance Grona's Armacadura is ready in goal, while Philip Anderson, Eric Hedenquist, Melka Jensen and Emil Lindman make up their defensive line. Ahead of them is Nicola Lodon, David Edvardson, Adam Ignell and Kofi Fosuhina Sari for the midfield with Camille Jabara and Usman Jawara ready to break away in pursuit of a goal. On BK Hacken's side, Peter Abramson is keeping goal with Thomas Totland, Johan Hammer, Ivan Hovland and Christopher Hansen lining up on defense. In midfield are Oscar Udnas, Samuel Gustafsson, Mikkel Rygaard Jensen and Simon Gustafsson and up front we have Blair Turgut and Ibrahim Sadiq. It looks to be an intense second half in an already highly competitive match. The teams are jostling for control of the pitch but Terry still no scoreline after more than 45 minutes of play. 
Landskrona have been putting pressure on defensively but dare not being able to break away as BK Hecken are staying organized at the back. Both sides are pushing hard to try to put their names on the scoreboard but it's still all tied up after more than 34 of the game. We'll see what happens next. The pace of the game has picked up in the second half. We are now 7 minutes into the second half and Landskrona have managed to keep the ball well in the midfield. Both team doing their best to get on the score sheet but with no luck so far. Nikola Lodon plays a great ball over to Camille Jabara who is making a run on the right side. He takes a shot that barely misses wide, sending a loud gasp through crowd here at Landskrona Stadium. The spectators here today had been passionate and engaged throughout this match, applauding every play. Now David Edvidson is passing the ball downfield to Usman Jawara who's making a run in behind BK's defense. Abramson dives forward to make an incredible save knocking it just outside of bounds and causing another roar from crowd which truly roars for every touch today. And Teresa's shot from the BK Hackens Mikkel Rygaard Jensen. It's a powerful strike, and the Landskrona keeper Ama Kadura is just able to make the save after some impressive acrobatics. What a save! Kadura isn't done yet, though he quickly picks up the ball and launches it towards his midfielders. The long pass finds its way to Nikola Lodon, but he isn't able to make anything of it as his touch is heavy and the ball is intercepted by Ivan Hovland in BK Hacken's defense. What a poor decision making by Lodon in possession there that could have been a great opportunity to advance forward and perhaps get another goal on the board. The ball is at midfield as BK Hacken brings it up the pitch. The Landskrona defense is pushing in hard, trying to stop them from penetrating the box. Philip Anderson dives, trying to get to the ball before it reaches Mikkel Rygaard Jensen. But, Jensen slides in first and takes possession, and looks to be clear through. But as he turns with the ball, tragedy strikes. Emil Lindman goes in for a tackle and his foot collides with Philip Anderson's shin, he immediately cries out in pain, clutching his leg. The referee blows for a foul, and the medics rush onto the field to aid him. It doesn't look good for Anderson who will be receiving some treatment on the sidelines. Things are heating up. Landskrona is pressing the attack and the energy in the crowd is palpable. BK Hacken's defender Thomas Totland slides into blocks a shot by Camille Jabara, diverting the ball out of play and receiving a chorus of cheers from the in-stadium crowd. Kofi Fosuhina Sari takes a corner for Landskrona which is cleared expertly by Ivan Hovland. Ibrahim Sadiq plays a long ball upfield to Oscar Udnes who plays it wide to Simon Gustafsson. He fires in a cross, but it's just outreach of Blair Turgut and is cleared off the line by Melka Jernsson for Landskrona. What an effort from both teams and what an atmosphere from the crowd. Keep it up everyone, we've still another 38 minutes of this thrilling matchup. As Landskrona bounces the ball off in a swift and purposeful dribble, BK Hacken's goalkeeper Peter Abramson immediately springs into action and charges forward. He makes a desperate dive as the ball is on its way to the back of the net and his outstretched fingertips just brush it away, sending it back out of play. An incredible save that had the crowds on their feet. The commentators are all in awe of Abrahamson's agility and reactions. Meanwhile, down on the pitch, Landskrona's forward Camille Jabara is having a stellar game. Despite being only 20 years old, he has shown tremendous skill and vision so far tonight. Jabara has lost track of time as he enjoys his run across the field, spiritedly mixing up his steps to evade any defenders that come his way before finally launching a powerful shot toward goal. Unfortunately for him, no amount of finesse can stop Abrahamson from blocking this one too. Lance Sprona is making a well-coordinated attack, with Nikola Lodon firing off a pass to Kofi Fosuhin Asari. Asari takes control of the ball, weaving around two BK Hacken defenders and delivering it to Camille Jabara, who quickly passes it back to Fosuhin Asari. Asari charges forward and shoots a fierce shot towards Abrahamson's goal, but the keeper parries it out of bounds. The crowd erupts into cheers and applause, so loud they can be heard even from the commentator's booth. It's clear that these fans are really engaged in this match and it promises to be an exciting finish. With just six minutes left in this match, anything could still happen. Landskrona continue to dominate the ball possession, with their midfielders and forwards trying to create some chances. David Edvidson and Adam Ignell both manage to make some good runs but their shots get blocked by the BK Hacken defenders. 
Nicola Lodon drives down the left flank and unleashes a powerful shot but Peter Abramson makes a spectacular save. The pace of the game is slowing down as neither team is able to penetrate the opposition defense so far. Both teams are making sure they keep their formation tight as they look for any possible openings in their opponent's defenses. The referee blows for a foul near the edge of Lance Groner's box, giving BK Hecken a free kick. Mikkel Rygaard Jensen takes the kick, but it sails well above the crossbar, resulting in nothing. The score remains 3-0 at minute 55 in this soccer match between Lance Groner and BK Hecken on radio. The ball launches off Edvardsson's boot as he makes an effort to create space for an attack. However, the pass goes to Jensen who immediately passes it back to Tottenham. The BK Hecken defense regroup and Tottenham that control in making a quick pass into the midfield. Asari and Jawara sprint into the opposing box in anticipation of a cross, but the move is snuffed out by Eden Hammer, who sends the ball away from goal with a clever flick. The skies are grey and overcast, with a light breeze blowing across the field. A few shaky kicks between both teams follow, as they try to hold possession and wait for a better opportunity. The Landskrona faithful crowd cheer loudly as Jabara receives the ball near midfield and makes an attempt at goal but his drive fizzles out wide of target by inches. The match continues to remain goalless at 3-0. The home team takes control of the ball with a driving midfield from Kofi Fosuhin Asari. Tackles start flying in from both teams, and as BK Hacken Simon Gustafsson presses hard for the ball, he unfortunately catches Asair's legs, leaving him limping off the field after being hit with a nasty tackle. The home crowd is furious, but the referee keeps distraction to a minimum and allows play to continue. Both sides now play cautiously, neither wanting to risk another injury occurring. Lance Kroner still hold possession of the ball while they look for a chance to capitalize on the advantage they now have with BK Hecken being down a player. At this point in time, we still stand at 3-0 and no goals have been scored yet. Lance Krona keeper Kadura charges out to sweep up the ball from the feet of Hacken's forward target, sending it all the way back to Anderson in defense. Anderson sets up a quick attack down the center for Lindman who delivers a pinpoint pass to Asari in the middle. Asari turns and sets off towards goal with Rygaard Jensen in pursuit. The crowd roars as Asari hefts a long shot at goal, but Abramson gets right across to push it away and spare his team further humiliation. The game has become bogged down with none of the two teams able to break through and really create any good chances. Passes seem to be going astray as both sides struggle to make something happen, leading to some tiresome periods of play where not much seems to be happening. Even the crowd seem to have lost interest, hushed murmurs replacing their usual support. The ball is now in midfield, with Lance Groner's Nicola Lodon taking control and looking for an opening. He finds one, sending a through ball to David Edvardson on the left wing. Edvardson takes a touch and leaves BK Hacken's Thomas Totman behind with a few nifty moves. Edvardson sprints down the field and cuts to his right as even Hovland tries to catch him, but he can't keep up. Edvardson throws in a cross and finds Usman Jawara who flicks the ball over Peter Abrahamson's head, but it just goes wide of the post. Lance Krona midfielder Kofi Fosuhin Asari receives the ball after an inspired run from Emil Lindman. He dodges a tackle from Christopher Hansen and then shimmies around Oscar Udmas. There's no stopping Asari as he makes his way swiftly towards the goal, but then somehow gets caught off balance by Ibrahim Sadiq who steps forward and forces Asari to lose possession of the ball at the last minute. This is why they call Sadiq the wolf. He has been able to foil opposition's attacks time and time again with his relentless tenacity, never giving up until every last angle is explored. Spectators are standing in awe of this magnificent defensive effort by Sadiq. The teams are heating things up as the game enters its final phase. The intensity is palpable as BK Hecken press forward on the attack, looking to break through the formidable Landskrona defense. Abramson is quick to scoop up a loose ball in the box, crackling energy in their exchanges. Both sides have had plenty of chances but neither have been able to convert into a goal and the score remains 3-0. Landkrona have been playing tight in their defensive half, with Kadura providing cover at every turn. Fosuhin Asari makes an imposing run down the right flank, Bale like speed and agility, but even he cannot make it past Abramson who pulls off an incredible save. All eyes are now shifting towards Totland and Hammer up front, can they break away from their man marking and force an upset?
The electric atmosphere in the stadium is palpable as both teams make their presence known on the pitch. Lanskrona's forward Camille Jabara pushes his way up the pitch, taking on five defenders and expertly handling them off with sheer determination. As Jabara reaches the edge of the box, a tackle from BK Hacken's Christopher Hansen forces him wide, much to the crowd's disappointment. There's a snippet of action on the other side of pitch now as the Lanskrona midfielder David Edvardson makes an impressive teleport move to escape his marker and enter into a one-on-one -on -one battle with Eden Hovland. After a few fancy footwork moves worthy of any highlight reel, Edvardson takes his shot but sends it just wide. The players take a quick breather while in possession of Lance Krona but soon enough Kofi Fosuhinasari is at it again, showing off his innate ability to claim possession no matter what before initiating an attack from deep in his own half. His teammate Usman Jawara rejoins him as both players move up the pitch in what seems like tandem for a minute, until Jawara finds himself under siege by BK Hecken defenders who close him down and force an errant pass out for a goal kick. The crowd is getting restless, as both teams are playing in a cautious, low-key style of football. Lance Krona has possession of the ball and is working it around the BK Hacken's defense. Ole Ignel collects the ball in midfield and passes it to Nicola Lodon on the left side. Lodon runs with it into the penalty area and takes a shot but it goes wide. The referee blows his whistle for a goal kick. BK Hecken takes possession and they quickly try to break through Lance Krona's defense with a series of passes. But the defenders are firm in their tackles and they manage to clear away every attempted attack by BK Hecken. With no real options forward, BK Hecken tries hitting long aerial balls towards their forwards, but they are all in vain as they are comfortably collected by Amakadura, who steps up to make an easy save. The game is becoming increasingly dull as both teams struggle to get past each other's defenses. The energy that had kickstarted the match seems to be slowly losing its grip as neither team is able to carve out a clear chance on goal. With neither side dominating proceedings, we can only hope for something exciting for the remainder of this match. It looks like Lance Grona is attempting to keep possession and build up the offensive attack. Kadura rolls the ball out to Anderson who then passes it along to Ignel to carry it up the field. Kofi Fosuhinasari comes in to support the attack with an impressive run along the left side, beating several BK Hecken defenders with ease. However, as he is about to pull off a shot, there is a sharp clash of bodies as one of the BK Hecken defenders goes down. Emil Lindman of Landskrona falls and remains on the ground, clearly in pain. The medics rush onto the field while play is stopped and Lindman has to be helped off by teammates. It looks like he may have rolled his ankle in that challenge, let's hope he's okay after that one. Meanwhile, no goals yet so it remains 3-0 on the scoreboard at Landskrona. It's in minute 64, and both Lance Krona and BK Hecken look determined to find a way past their opponents. For Lance Krona, it's Kofi Fosuhinasari who shows the most attacking intent, charging into the final third with the ball at his feet as his teammates provide support on either side. His marauding run draws a foul from Ivan Hovland, who tries to trip him up with a lunging tackle. The free kick is set up for Philip Anderson to take, but before he can get his shot away, the referee rightfully blows for an infringement by Adam Ignell. BK Hecken are handed a reprieve, but they are far from out of danger yet. But it is Fosuhi Nasari who has been the star of this second half so far. He jinxes his way past three defenders on two occasions and keeps possession when it could have easily been lost. He looks a sure-footed presence on the pitch, always looking to break down opposition and create chances for teammates. An industrious midfielder if there ever was one. The pressure is on for both teams to break the deadlock in this match. Lance Krona's Camille Jabara is looking to take advantage of this opportunity, making a solid run down the flank. On the left side of the pitch, BK Hacken's Ibrahim Sadiq has been an influential player throughout the match and is trying to lead his side back into the game with some inspiring passes. Both teams come close to scoring but their efforts are denied as Ama Kadura and Peter Abramson make two incredible saves. Credit has to go to both keepers, who have kept their nerves under control, and particularly so in Kadara's case who today celebrates his 30th birthday but chooses not to mark it with a goal conceded. As the second half kicks off, Lance Krona and BK Hecken contest every inch of the pitch in a frantic attempt to get the first goal of the game. Lance Krona's midfield is dominated by Nikola Lodon and David Edvardson, both players shifting between defense and attack with swift footwork and incisive passing. However, 
neither side can manage to break their opponent's defensive line. The air is thick with tension as neither team has been able to find the back of the net yet. Skies are grey, almost matching the muddy pitch as bursts of rain hit the players and spectators alike. A few brave fans are standing behind their teams, determined to cheer them on despite the chilly weather. Lance Groner's Kofi Fosuhina Sari resolves to use tricky footwork to break through his opponent's defenses but is crowded out at every turn by BK Hackens in Hovland, Johan Hammer and Christopher Hansen in tight formation. Ten minutes down in this tense period of play, neither team has been able to tip its balance towards victory. Score remains 3-0 unchanged from when this nail-biting second half began. The kicker from BK Hecken, middle Rygaard Jensen has just made a quick dash down the left flank. He fires off a powerful, swerving shot that goes just wide of the post. The crowd collectively groans, realizing just how close that was. Lance Groner's Ahmed Kadura breaths an audible sigh of relief, having just kept the score at 3-0. The crowd remains positively engaged, giving the players motivation to continue their onslaught on either net. Both sets of fans are firmly behind their respective sides as Cameron Jabara from Lance Groner looks to make something happen on the edge of his side's half. Great atmosphere here. The ball is sent in field by Philip Anderson who quickly attempts to break through the opposition, but Ibrahim Sadiq successfully blocks his way. Camille Jabara picks up the ball and passes it to Oscar Udnes who tries to get past Melka Jernson and Emil Lindman in Lance Groner's defense. The left winger skillfully dribbles through and attempts a shot from just outside of the penalty box. Arma Kadura dives, but displays impeccable reflexes as he makes a heroic save. The crowd cheer loudly for their team, showing no signs of weariness at this point in the game, keeping spirits high and fully engaged with every move on the pitch. He then quist dispatches the ball with a long ball forward on the right. Asari collects it deftly and squares to Jabara, who quickly lays it off for Lodon on the inside. Lodon takes a touch, swats an option air and pushes it between defenders to Jawara. The forward takes a couple of touches, but is blocked off by a defender just as he fires his shot at goal. The ball rolls away to Totland on the edge of the box, but before he can launch an attack, Jensen slides in with a perfectly timed interception and clears the ball upfield. The field is buzzing with energy as the match between Lance Groner and BK Hecken continues, and both teams are leaving it all out on the pitch. Lance Groner are pushing forward into the BK Hecken half of the field, with David Edvardson driving forward down the center of the field. He passes to Usman Jawara, who manages to slip past a defender but just can't find the right finishing touch to skillfully shoot a goal. The Lance Groner supporters let out a collective groan in disappointment, while the Hecken fans chant their team's name from their end of the stadium. On the opposite side of the field, BK Hacken's Mikkel Rygaard Jensen finds an opening and runs at Kofi Fosuhina Sari, but his kick is narrowly blocked by Emil Lindman. Abramson scrambles out to collect it just in time before Asari gets there. The match continues in fast-paced excitement among both teams, as they race up and down the pitch aiming for that all-important winning goal. The crowd cheers every false hope and close call, demonstrating unwavering support for their favorite team as they battle it out until referee's whistle sounds. Lance Rona players are settling into their defensive form as they display a well-drilled defensive effort, stifling play from BK Hecken. Both teams are sharing possession in the midfield, with neither side creating much of a chance. Nicola Lodon and Adam Ignell try to launch a counter-attack for Lance Rona but it breaks down with their final pass not quite finding its target. The game is slowing down, with each team taking longer pauses between their attacking plays. Then, a quick counter-attack from BK Hecken. Christopher Hansen manages to find Ibrahim Sadiq on the left wing, he quickly passes to Blair Turgut who is in plenty of space in the box but his shot drifts just wide of the goal. A great opportunity for BK Hecken, but Lance Groner can breathe a sigh of relief as they remain 3-0 up on the scoreline. The match has slowly become less and less inspired as the minutes pass by, but both sides put forth a tremendous effort. Lance Groner's goalkeeper Arma Kadura is still keeping a formidable back line, determined to maintain the 3-0 lead over BK Hecken. A funny story about Arma Kadura is that he showed up 45 minutes late for his first practice at Lance Groner and their coach was not amused. However, once Arma stepped onto the pitch, it was clear why he had been signed, 
his top-notch goalkeeping abilities more than made up for his tardiness. A big tackle from BK Hackenblair Turgut sends Camille Jabara flying across the pitch and Turgut receives yellow card for unsporting behavior after the referee's whistle rips through loud and clear. A free kick is given to Lance Groner just outside the penalty box, putting tremendous pressure on Abramson in goal for Hecken. The tension heightens as Camille Jabara steps up to take the free kick set by Kofi Fosuhi Nassari. Kadura watches with anticipation from his spot behind the goal and Abramson falls into position ready to save whatever comes his way. Fosuhi Nassari takes a direct shot, aiming for the bottom left corner of the net, but can't quite get past Abramson. The Landskrona players let out a collective sigh of relief since their lead still stands undefeatable at 3-0. Here we go, Landskrona with the possession and they are pushing for the score. Kofi Fosuhi Nassari trying to break through the defense of BK Hacken but he is stopped by captain Thomas Totten with a brilliant slide tackle. Landskrona counterattack. Camille Jabara is running quickly towards goal dribbling past defenders, he finds Usman Jawara who strikes, but Peter Abramson using lightning fast reflexes punches it away. Great save by Abrahamson. He is key player in BK Hacken's defense today. Kadura just punched the ball away from Turgut as he was in full sprint trying to make something out of a dangerous cross from Udnes. He then quist jumps in to clear it with a powerful header and sends the ball deep into opposition territory. It looks like VK Hecken really pushing for something here, as Anderson and Ignell are joining the attack. The referee is not helping the game's intensity by calling several fouls, but this time he gives a penalty after a sliding tackle by Lindman that could easily have been given as a yellow card. Rygaard Jensen steps up to take the penalty but gets quickly stymied by Ama Kadura as he dives right to his left and knocks the shot away. Lance Frona is relieved and keeps their 3-0 lead. It looks like Lance Frona is in complete control of the game, with BK Hecken struggling to keep up. Lance Frona's Camille Jabara just called for a long pass from Nikola Lodon, but it falls short and Abramson in goal collects it cleanly. Now we're seeing some fancy footwork from BK Hacken's Ibrahim Sadiq, as he tries to dribble past Arma Kadura in the Lance Krona net but Kadura is quick on his feet and manages to cut him off, barely managing to punch the ball away. Eric Hedenquist then grabs it and clears it long. On a side note Hedenquist has been impressive this match so far. He hasn't conceded a single foul despite all the pressure he's been under. The tension grows in Trangen's IP Stadium as the clock winds down. Lance Krona and BK Hecken are both desperately trying to find the back of the net, with both teams trading dynamic build-ups and pushing into dangerous areas of the field. Lance Krona's Camille Jabara receives a pass from Kofi Fosuhi Nassari, driving towards goal with blistering speed but his long-range shot goes wide of the mark, sending a collective groan roaring through the stands. BK Hecken look to launch a counter-attack but Philip Anderson reads the play brilliantly, clearing out any danger with a strong tackle. The crowd erupts in cheers as the ball goes out for a corner kick. However, nothing comes of it in the end and it remains 3-0 at full time. The Lanskrona attacking trio of Jabara, Jawara, and Fosuhi Nassari are in deep attack. Jabara passes to Asari but the defender takes it away. Kadura is out quick to make the simple save. Abramson shows his athleticism with a diving save. The crowd erupts in applause as both teams clash for an aerial duel with Kadura claiming the ball just before it goes out of bounds. Lance Krona saves the drive with a well-executed counter-attack. Anderson launches a long ball up the field for Jabara but Hedenquist makes a diving tackle to keep him from receiving it. The fans are on their feet in appreciation of this captivating move. Hansens makes his way down to the left flank cross, however Kadura comes out again to claim it before Rygaard Jensen can connect with Turgut. Outstanding play from both teams. Kadura launches the ball upfield to Jawara. He controls it cleanly and turns towards goal. Lodon rushes the defenders and finds some space in the area. Taking a shot on goal, but Abramson dives in to make a fantastic save, keeping BK Hecken in this game. Jawara leaps up to catch the rebound, but his effort goes wide of the post. A near chance for Lance Krona. Fosuhi Nassari quickly gets hold of possession and carries it wide, before being brought down just outside box. The referee stands with arm outstretched, Free kick for Lance Groner.
the usually relentless Landskrona team have been in cruise control during this second half, not letting a single goal-bound chance to BK Hecken. They have held a secure defensive shape and energetic midfield presence throughout. Speaking of energy, David Edvardson has put up an impressive showing in the midfield today, cutting out passing lanes and turning over possession several times from interceptions. He looks to threaten once more as he gets on the ball in the final third, looking to spark some danger for Landskrona. He hauls off his shot but puts it just wide of the target. Still no goal scored by either team since the first half. The match is entering its last period, with Landskrona still leading 3-0 against BK Hecken. Landskrona has been attacking fiercely this second half, and the crowd is encouraged by their strong presence on the pitch. BK Hecken, on the other hand, is struggling to find an answer to Landskrona's relentless offensive game. Despite their best efforts, they cannot seem to break through and score a goal. After multiple attempts from both sides, neither team is able to create clear-cut chances and the game gets increasingly dull with each passing minute. The clock ticks away slowly, with still no goal from either side and the score remains at 3-0 in Landskrona's favor. The fans start to lose hope and the energy dissipates on the pitch as both sides are running out of ideas. A lackluster match reaches its conclusion with no goals being scored in this half or in fact any of the previous ones, proving a convincing win for Landskrona in front of their cheerful supporters. Oh, a chance for Landskrona to extend their lead. Jabara cuts inside and takes a shot from 20 yards out. Abramson does well to get his fingertips to the ball and steer it wide of the post. Landskrona regroup and keep pressing forward. Jawara weaves between two Hecken defenders and looks to shoot from just outside the penalty area. But his shot flies high, Anderson was there to mop it up and send it back into the attacking half for Landskrona. The game is getting more and more intense as both teams desperately search for a goal in the last few minutes of this second half. Abramson is on alert as another one of Ignell's long passes finds its way towards Fosuhin, who turns immediately towards goal but sees his effort blocked by the Hecken defense. Both teams are digging deep and producing some great football, but so far neither has been able to find a goal, score still 3-0. Both teams have had a few chances in the game since the halftime break, but nothing has materialized just yet. Landskrona are still in the lead with a score of 3-0, but BK Hecken hasn't given up hope. Asari receives the ball from Lindman and sends an impressive cross into the box. He finds Jawara who goes for a powerful header, but it is denied by Abramson in goal for BK Hecken. Abramson get up immediately and launches an attacking move for his team. He passes to Gustafsson who then passes it on to Turgut. Turgut maneuvers his way inside of the box but unfortunately his shot on goal is deflected wide off of Hedenquist's leg. The crowd roars with excitement over this thrilling play. Landskrona take possession of the ball, with the defense clearing it upfield to the midfielders. Kofi Fosuhin Asari proves to be their best option in attack, as he charges forward with the ball, leaving defenders in his dust. He unleashes a shot that flashes past the goalkeeper's outstretched arms, but rolls just wide of the posts and out of bounds. BK Hecken regains possession and quickly passes it around the midfield looking for an opening against Landskrona's defense, but they are unable to find one. Ibrahim Sadiq darts forward and strikes a powerful header that Ama Kadura does well to block away for his team. The sun beats down on the pitch today, and temperatures reach a balmy 25 degrees Celsius. The clear sky above allows supporters on both sides of the stadium to witness every inch of this intense match between Landskrona and BK Hecken all eyes now fixated on what the final few minutes may bring. We are back in the action, and it's clear BK Hecken are pushing for one more goal to get them on the scoresheet. Turgut looks hungry for a goal as he charges down the left wing, putting pressure on the Landskrona defense. Kadura is quick off his line to cut out the attack and clear danger. On the bench, Simon Gustafsson has been jumping up and down with his finger in his ear. I'm sure he's listening to instructions but I jokingly think he should make sure it isn't cramping him. Back on the pitch we go, minute 86 with no score yet. Both teams pushing for a goal. The ball gets kicked deep into the attacking half of BK Hacken's side, finding fullback Christopher Hansen in acres of space. He collects the ball and darts forward, making a sharp turn to lose his defender and create some space for himself. 
He makes a crosses that just misses everyone in the box and goes out for a goal kick. The goalkeeper Peter Abramson takes a deep breath, letting out all the excitement from this near miss. In the meanwhile, Camille Jabara from Lance Groner has been jokingly playing keepy uppy with his own teammates to keep everyone loose and entertained despite the long game. What unbelievable skill Joe! And we're back in the action. Lance Groner with the ball, forward Kofi Fosuhina Sari looking to keep the attack going. He dribbles past a couple of defenders and tries to pick out a pass to Camille Jabara, but keeper Abramson is quick off his line to clear it away. Jabara regains possession and plays it wide, Uden is coming up with a challenge but Hedenquist is there in defense to stop his progress. The ball is played back into midfield, Lodon sending it over to Edvardson who finds Anderson on the right flank. He sends a pinpoint cross into the box, but even Hovland rises above everyone else to head away the danger. Lance Krona switch play quickly and dare back on the offensive again, Fosuhi Nasari picking up the ball in midfield and driving it forward. He gets to the edge of the box and lays it off for Jawara who has an effort from outside of TH box, Abrahamson makes an incredible save diving across goal. That was close. The referee blows his whistle signaling for play to stop as time runs out on what has been an entertaining game with Lance Groner taking home a 3-0 victory. We have a charged atmosphere here in the stadium as both teams search for the final goal of the match, with just one minute to go. Lance Groner is pressing forward onto BK Hacken's defense, looking to find a crack in their line and create an opening. Philip Anderson advances from midfield and plays A through ball to Camille Jabara who attempts to break the defense with an ambitious shot from the outside of his boot, but the ball sails just wide of the goalpost. The crowd erupts with their hopes for a comeback, cheering on every move and tackle. Hecken does their best to keep strong as they battle through this intense flurry of attacks. As the clock winds down, both teams are giving it their all on the pitch. Lance Groner's midfield has been outstanding with their controlled passing, quickly moving the ball about as they look for a way to break through BK Hacken's defense. Kofi Fosuhi Nasari has been particularly impressive in leading the attack he never stops working and is making darting runs to keep the Hecken defenders on their toes. Lance Groner have possession and are trying to create one last scoring chance for themselves, with another combination of slick passing taking them towards the BK Hecken goal. They launch a long ball forward, will they get the goal they need? The game is coming down to its final moments as the clock strikes 91 minutes. Lance Groner is trying to break the tie, with Camille Jabara on the ball chipping it past BK Hackens even Hovland and onto midfielder Adam Ignell. He passes it forward to Usman Jawara who attempts a shot, yet blazes it well over the crossbar in a dramatic miss. Energized despite their failed attempt, Lance Groner regroups, with goalkeeper Armakadura taking charge and leading his side up the field. As they move into full swing, they try to put together another attack but the pressure from BK Hackens defense takes its toll and they eventually turn it over. The crowd erupts as Blair Turgut drives in a powerful run against his opponents. Charging forward with eyes only on goal, he looks determined to make this one count. In a remarkable move, Ibrahim Sadiq steps up to round off a great team effort with a lunge for the ball. As the teams approach the extra time, both teams are giving it their all to secure the winning goal. Lance Groner's Kofi Fosuhi Nasari has been particularly impressive on this second half displaying some amazing defensive skills and making three successful tackles so far. Now he is playing a daring ball to Usman Jawara just outside of BK Hacken's penalty box. Jawara charges forward and is faced with Hacken's defender Christopher Hansen, but miraculously he manages to pass him by with a well-timed step over. He moves closer to the goal and blasts an ambitious left-footed shot. Abramson Hacken's goal dives outwards, but he just can't reach the ball half an inch wide of the post. An outstanding effort by Jawara that nearly resulted in a dramatic equalizing goal. Lance Krona keep pressing and they have one final free kick before the final whistle blows. The ball is laid down, here goes nothing. The action starts with BK Hacken's Ibrahim Sadiq with the ball, dribbling down the field. He launches a shot from close range yet Lance Groner goalkeeper Armakadura saves with a deaf punch. Following this, Camille Jabara makes a run up the pitch for Lance Groner and passes to Usman Jawara who is just outside of the penalty box. 
BK Hecken defender Ivan Hovland commits a foul, sending Jawara tumbling to the ground. The referee somehow waves away the call and the play continues on. Landskrona's David Edvardsson tests Abrahamsson's goalie skills with a mid-range drive that is easily collected by Abramson. However, every time Therese an infringement by BK Hecken, it seems as if Therese no call being made by the referee. It's mysterious why they are not using their whistle to protect players from dangerous tackles yet are really quick to pull out yellow cards for what seem like minor offenses. You'd expect situations such as this one to be met with cards especially since we are in extra time now and one team desperately needs to equalize. This inexactitude from the referee is certainly not helping either side in getting that crucial goal. The teams are prepared for the start of extra time, eager to make one last push to try and break the deadlock. Tensions are running high as they try to capitalize on any mistake the other team makes. The supporters cheer loudly and keep their spirits alive, making their presence heard throughout the stadium. The players ebb and flow across the pitch, hunting possession of the ball as each team strive to find a way through. Rousing runs from Blair Turgut of BK Hecken allowed him some space from defenders, but Philip Anderson gets back in time to maintain his defensive line, denying entry into the penalty area. Moments after, Kofi Fosuhin Asari produces an ingenious piece of play as he weaves between three defenders before offloading to Usman Jawara who surges forward with intent, yet his shot is scuffed wide. Disappointment for Lance Krona as their fans light up with encouragement and applause for the effort made. The match still stands at 3-0 when it comes out of extra time. The crowd grows louder in appreciation of both teams' efforts, a well-deserved standing ovation for 90 minutes that produced no goals but great entertainment. The extra time is ticking away and Lance Krona have yet to make an attempt at scoring. Kadra's quick action, however, is keeping the BK Hecken attack at bay. Anderson is proving to be a strong defensive anchor for Lance Krona's backline. Abramson is alert, managing a few crucial saves in the previous minutes of play to deny the home team. Lindman finds some space in the midfield and sends a pass towards Asari as they search for an opening. Asari threads a neat wall through to Jabara but Abramson rushes off his line to deny him before any real damage is done. The game remains level at 0-0 as we approach the final minutes of extra time. Turgut picks up the loose ball on the edge of Landskrona's box and goes for goal with a powerful drive but Kadura dives bravely to make sure that it sails just wide of his post. The stadium erupts with cheers from the home supporters as their goalkeeper gets an important touch on the shot. Lance Krona looked determined not to concede in this match as they launch a counter-attack down the right flank. Leyden's delivery in towards Asari causes panic amongst Hacken's defense and they manage to scramble away before anything dangerous can come from it. The referee checks his watch and then blows his whistle for the end of extra time and that signals full time. It ends all square in Lance Krona with both teams sharing out a draw at 0-0. The referee calls for a break in the action, and the two teams take a moment to regroup and get some much-needed rest. Lance Krona look to be in complete control of the match as they are by far the more dominant side here. They are looking sharp, holding their shape, and keeping their cool in playing possession-style football with textbook passing movements creating some great chances going forward. However, all this playmaking excellence is being impeded by poor officiating from the referee. He has made several dubious decisions that have unfairly benefited Hecken and disallowed Landskrona valid scoring opportunities. It's clear he has an agenda to favor one side and it's getting out of hand at this point. Now we are back in play with Landskrona continuing their impressive build-up play upfield. Philip Anderson cuts past Samuel Gustafsson to find Camille Jabara who is taken down by Ivan Hovland right on the corner of the box. It's a great chance for Landskrona here. But once again they are met with insecurity from the referee who waves play on without even considering a foul was committed. Hovland gets away with blatant handball here as Jabara was clearly poised for a shot on goal. It's an incredibly baffling decision from the official that could spell disaster for Lance Krona if he continues like this. The game is in extra time and both teams are looking to put the match away. Lance Krona is controlling the ball, on the hunt for a goal that could decide the game. The midfielders, Nicola Lodon, David Edvardsson, Adam Ignell and Kofi Fosuhin Asari, have been battling it out in midfield, trying to break through BK Hacken's defense. But it's no easy task. BK Hacken's backline of Tomas Totland, Johan Hammer, even Hovland and Christopher Hansen has remained resolute so far, preventing Landskrona from making their mark on the game. 
Meanwhile, forwards Camille Jabara and Usman Jawara are working tirelessly up front but with no luck so far. Despite their best efforts, it looks like we're headed for a stalemate, the score still sits at 3-0 as we enter stoppage time. The energy on the pitch is waning as both sides grapple for control of the ball this could be a dull end to what was an exciting game of soccer. The referee blows their whistle signaling kickoff of the game into extra time. Lance Krona's forward, Usman Jawara, is the first to move into attack. He takes on BK Hacken's defenders head-on and appears to have created some space for himself but suddenly gets tugged back by defender Johan Hammer. The referee smells a foul play and moves in quickly but instead of ruling in favor of Jawara and awarding them a free kick he finds himself giving warnings instead. Landskrona players and fans are left stunned at the referee's decision as this could have been an opportunity to find that much sought after goal. The final few minutes of the second half of the game seems to be an exciting one with both teams pushing hard for a short-lived comeback in this thrilling match. Landskrona's forward Camille Jabara takes control of the ball on the edge of BK Hacken's box, waiting for support from his teammates but instead he is tackled harshly by Ivan Hovland. The tackle was met with a loud cheer from the spectators as they watch Jabara's body twist out of shape in midair and fall to the ground. He shakes off his pain and continues to play on with great determination and resilience. He's definitely proving to be a hero on the pitch today. We've had an absolutely electric atmosphere here today in Oscote Porton, for the match between Lance Cronobo is and BK Hecken. An electric atmosphere, and after the final whistle, there are wild scenes of celebration from the fans of Lance Cronobo is as they are victors this evening. Their victory means they continue their march towards Svenska Cup victory, but with each game comes bigger challenges. This victory tonight was a tremendous success for Lance Cronobo is, they have performed at such a level that should give them so much confidence as they move up the bracket. The players of both sides gave it their very all in this match, and some fantastic goals were seen throughout, in what was one of the most entertaining matches in weeks. Just brilliant football all round worth all the hype. Tonight's result is one that will be remembered for a long time by you faithful Landskrona fans every team needs luck, but I tell you what they're making their own just now. Congratulations to Landskrona Boas Q raucous cheers from the crowd. We've had an absolutely electric atmosphere here today in Oscote Porton, for the match between Lance Cronobo is and BK Hecken. An electric atmosphere, and after the final whistle, there are wild scenes of celebration from the fans of Lance Cronobo is as they are victors this evening. Their victory means they continue their march towards Svenska Cup victory, but with each game comes bigger challenges. This victory tonight was a tremendous success for Lance Cronobo is, they have performed at such a level that should give them so much confidence as they move up the bracket. The players of both sides gave it their very all in this match, and some fantastic goals were seen throughout, in what was one of the most entertaining matches in weeks. Just brilliant football all round worth all the hype. Tonight's result is one that will be remembered for a long time by you faithful Landskrona fans every team needs luck, but I tell you what they're making their own just now. Congratulations to Landskrona Boas Q raucous cheers from the crowd.
and we're off. The Landskrona side gets the ball rolling, looking to establish their attack early. Armakadura is out of his goal, ready to put his team on the front foot. The Malmo side is also ready, with Nicholas Moissander in defense looking to quell any potential attack from Landskrona. Both teams are pushing forward with speed and intensity, sending the ball from one end of the pitch to the other at a quick pace. A scramble near the touchline results in a throw-in for Malmo, who now have possession as they look to mount an attack of their own. Passes seem to be exchanged quickly between Isaac Felin and Anders Christiansen up front as they maneuver forward. Felin nearly heads in a cross from Sergio P, but it's just out of reach. The crowd cheers as both sides battle for control of the ball, so far it's still 0-0 after 6 minutes of play. The teams line up on the field and the referee signals for kickoff and the match is underway. Both teams come out strong, eager to gain an early advantage. Landskrona's Camille Jabara quickly takes control of the ball, dribbling down the field with stylish finesse. He is closely followed by Malmo's Oscar Livicki, but Jabara expertly evades him, making a beeline for the goal. The entire stadium watches in stunned silence as he charges forward, effortlessly weaving his way past defender after defender. Malmo's goalkeeper Johan Darlene steps up in an effort to stop Jabara's impressive run. The two players clash, but it is Jabara who prevails and sends the ball zipping towards the net. But it's too late. The referee's whistle blows just as he makes contact with the soccer ball, signaling that halftime has begun. The score stands at 0-0 as both teams break for a well-deserved rest for 15 minutes. The game has kicked off and Lance Krona have possession of the ball, Kofi Fosuhina Sari is quickly up the pitch, but he's closed down by Malmo's Martin Olsen and they lose their chance to get a shot away. Lance Krona looks to regain possession, but Malmo is resolute in their efforts to deny them the ball. The match is starting to turn into an arm wrestle with neither side able to get a foothold in the game, possession turnovers are frequent and the first few minutes have been rather dull. Lance Krona is mounting pressure on their opponents, but can't find a way through as Malmo remains strong defensively. Still no score on the board after 15 minutes of play, 0-0 after all this time. Landskrona forward Camille Jabara takes off with the ball and some fancy footwork, weaving his way through the Malmo midfield. He delivers a perfectly weighted pass to Nicola Lodon who crosses it into the box. But Malmo's Lassen Nielsen is there to put a stop to the attack. He pressured the Landskrona forward and clears out of danger. Poor decision making from Jabara there putting his team in a difficult position. The ball is kicked off by Malmo in the Landskrona half. Kofi Fosuhina Sari moves up to challenge Sergio P, but P gets the better of him, playing a clever pass to Sren Reitz, who is immediately closed down by Adam Ednell. The ball breaks loose and Nicola Lodon sprints forward to collect it and bring it into midfield. He plays a neat pass to Camille Jabara who is quickly closed down by Lassa Nielsen. Jabara tries a flick but it's intercepted by Anton Tinnerholm who clears it under pressure and sets up an attacking move for Malmo. Isaac Felin has taken possession at the edge of the box, with David Edvardson tracking him back. Felin feints left, then crosses to Reeks at the back post, who heads just wide of Kadera's goal. Great defending from Edvardson almost denied Reeks an opening goal. Kadura of Landskrona makes a brilliant save, diving towards the goal line to keep a shot from Felin of Malmo out of the net. The spectators in the stands go wild, cheering loudly and shouting their support for the team's valiant defense. Davidson of Landskrona picks up his momentum and sprints past Moisander from Malmo, sending a powerful shot straight down the field. With lightning reflexes, Darlene in goal for Malmo dives and tips the ball away from danger. The crowd roars, mesmerized by this excellent display of skill and agility from both sides. And that concludes an end-to-end action-packed start to this match here at Landskrona as we head into the break with no goals for either side, still 0-0. It all started with Malmo's defense, who cleared the ball to midfield, where Christiansen and P start a combination between them. Christiansen shields the ball and moves forward, whilst P creates space for him to receive a good pass. Livicki is wide on the left side, he spots Nanezi in center who quickly runs towards the goal. Nanezi spots Felin unmarked receiving a sharp pass from him making Felin sprint towards Landskrona's goal.
Quickly Kadura intervenes leaving Felon with no luck as Kadura manages to clear the ball away and keep the score 0-0. Zero zero. What an amazing save from Kadura. Landskrona's David Edvardsson makes a strong run up the left with the ball, outpacing his defender as he moves forward. He shoots from the edge of the box, but his attempt is blocked by Malmo's Lasse Nielsen. Malmo's Anders Christiansen swiftly follows up and feeds a precise pass to Srenbreets for a shot on goal, but Arma Kadura pushes it wide for a corner. The corner is taken short, with Sergio P floating in a teasing cross that evades everyone in the box. Nicola Lodon clears it with an impressive header, briefly unbalancing the defence and firing up Lance Groner's counter. Usman Jawara collects the ball on the right and sends in a whipped cross that forces Johan Darlin into a spectacular save to keep things even at 0-0. Zero zero. The game continues relatively uneventfully, slowing down as both teams seem content exchanging control of possession without creating any chances of note, easily seen as they make no attempts to break away from each other in an attempt to score. There's little creativity or spark between any players all heads are down as they continue going through the same sequences again and again, it looks like it could be quite a boring game. The referee blows his whistle, restarting the match with a kickoff. Lance Krona passes the ball back to their goalkeeper Arma Kadura who quickly kicks it up the pitch to Camille Jabara. Jabara brings it forward, dodging through multiple Malmo defenders before passing off to David Edvardsson. Edvardsson attempts to shoot but his effort is blocked by Nicholas Moisander. The rebound is snapped up by Oscar Levicki of Malmo and he passes back out to Sren Reeks on the left wing. Reeks quickly drives forward and attempts a shot but it's blocked by Melka Jernsson and cleared out of danger. The game has gotten quite boring now with both sides unable to break through past each other's defense. Neither side has managed to create much of anything going forward, and the score remains at 0-0 with no clear sign of that changing soon. It's 9 minutes on the clock and the opening of this game is still wide open. Landskrona controlling possession so far but getting little production in their attack, Malmo pressing hard and trying to pressure them into mistakes. Oh! Philip Anderson is down here, it looks like he just couldn't get out of the way as Sergio P had a shot on goal and he got caught up in the crossfire. He's getting treatment from the medical staff here as Philip hasn't gotten up yet. Hopefully he'll be able to come back into the game but in the meantime, it looks like Lance Krona will have to soldier on without one of their key defenders. Still no goals, score remains 0-0. Zero zero. It's a tense start to the game here in the Lance Krona Stadium, with both teams evenly matched so far. Lance Krona's midfield has been driving their attack, and Kofi Fosuhina Sari has been quick and skillful on the ball. Malmo midfielders Sergio P and Oscar Levicki have done well to maintain possession in their own half as they look for openings into the attack. The defensive duo of Eric Hedenquist and Melka Jernsson have been solid at the back, stopping any advances that Malmo have managed so far. Ten minutes already gone in this match and neither team has managed to break the deadlock yet. Let's keep our eyes on the pitch to see which team makes the first move. Landskrona captain David Edvardsson just played a tremendous ball towards the center of the pitch where his teammate, Kofi Fosuhina Sari is running to try and connect but Malmo's Nicholas Moisander dives in for a timely intercept just in front of him. Moisander is up on his feet and sprinting down the left edge of the field, edging closer to Landskrona's penalty area. The cheers from the crowd grow louder as Asari runs back and puts pressure on Moisander, who releases a long-range pass to Anders Christiansen. Unfortunately, his pass is blocked by Philip Anderson who sends the ball back upfield into Malmo's half. Emil Lindman is quick to get on it, moving it up to Arma Kadura in goal for Landskrona. Kadura kicks it beyond midfield where we then see a race between Usman Jawara and Lassa Nielsen for control. The stands are roaring in anticipation, but ultimately Nielsen comes out ahead with the ball at his feet, quickly passing it off to Thelen who is making a run towards Landskrona's end line. Felon moves around one defender and takes a shot at goal only for Eric Hedenquist to get there just in time with an incredible block on the line. It's a hard-fought game here at Landskrona Stadium. We've just seen Nicola Lodon dart down the wing and make an impressive cross into the middle, but no one on either team is able to get a foot on the ball. It looks like we may be in for a very tight game here. Dot, and it's now minute 12, so far neither Landskrona nor Malmo have been able to get on the ball. Kofi Fosuhina Sari is having a great game, 
avoiding tackles left and right and showing some real skill out there on the pitch although if him being honest his shots have been well, they haven't hit the back of the net yet, let's put it that way. Meanwhile, over on the Malmo side of things it looks like Sergio P has fully recovered from that nasty ankle injury he suffered last week. He looks great out there flying up and down the field with his signature speed. In any case, that wraps up this play-by-play -play from me now both teams will once again try to break this 0-0 deadlock as we head back into action. Oh. And one final joke about a player what did Usman Jawara say to fellow Lance Groner midfielder David Edvardson? Nothing, he already had David's ear. The ball kicks off with Lance Groner and quickly scrambles to the feet of midfielder Nikola Lodok. He is completely unfazed by the physical pressure from Malmo, quickly striking a pass to forward Usman Jawara. He races up the pitch, his feet barely keeping pace with his blazing speed. He takes a shot for goal but keeper Johan Dahlin is there to make an incredible save. David Edvardson takes a run and drives the ball through Malmo's defense, skillfully weaving through their lines and getting almost into the box before being forced out in a tackle by Lasse Nielsen. The crowd roars as they watch him go. Edvardson doesn't slow down, though. His determination to get that goal is palpable as he clings onto the ball, taking it all the way back up to midfield before sending it out wide to Kofi Fosuhina Sari, who makes an incredible first touch, lifting it over Malmo's head and into dangling open space past defenders Martin Olsen and Nicholas Moisander. It looks like he's got an open run on goal. But then, defender Anton Tinnehom appears seemingly out of nowhere, clashing body to body with Fosuhina Sari just outside of the box and sending the ball flying backwards off his shin, yet still managing to keep possession. It's only moments later when Eric Hedenquist slides in from nowhere to place himself in front of Fosuhina Sari and intercepts his attempted pass across the line. The collective crowd roar one last time as if to say not this time. The ball is in the middle of the pitch as Lorenzo Thelen from Malmo passes it to Oscar Lubicki, Eric Hedenquist from Landskrona quickly intercepts it and passes the ball to his teammate Kofi Fosuhina Sari. Kofi dribbles towards the goal and shoots before being blocked by Nicholas Moisander. The shot goes wide of the goalpost and Lance Krona fails to get a lead on the pitch. A joke about a player, did you say? How about this why was Martin Olsen always so late to practice? Because he never had a sweet con. Lance Krona is showing a spirited play taking hold of the ball in the midfield with Carlson and Edvardson leading the attack. Kadura watchfully guards his goal, launching out to put a stop to any associated threats. The defense is proving more than a match for Malmo, displayed in Hedenquist's hustle to deny a shot on goal by Malmo's Lubicki dot in the center of the pitch midfielder Fosuhina Sari attempts an audacious crossfield pass towards Jabara up top. Like lightning, Malmo's Moisander readies and intercepts midair before it can find its intended target keep the feet given a says impressive velocity on that particular strike. Malmo launch an attack down the right flank with Nanesi sending a great ball into Thelen. Thelen brings the ball into the box before chipping it across to Reeks, but Kadura slides in to deny the shot and clear it away. Lance Krona looked to counter as Lodon feeds Jabara down the wing and he gets up ahead of steam taking on Tinnehome before smashing his shot just wide of the post. The crowd gasp at the missed opportunity for Lance Krona. Malmo immediately regained possession playing it back to Darlene who launches a long pass out of defense which is brought under control by Livicki near midfield. But Fosuhina Sari is quickly on him applying pressure forcing him into a mistake and Lance Krona are back in possession. Kadura looks upfield for options and finds Lindman, who turns and pins Moisander back deep in defense before passing over to Ignell who has time to pick out his cross but his delivery is too deep and sails harmlessly over the box. The match is back underway and referee Daniel Olsen blows his whistle to begin the second half. Both teams have been evenly matched in this first half, but now Lance Groner has a chance to make their mark in the game with a chance from Kofi Fosuhina Sari as he darts down the wing and takes a shot at goal. Johan Darlene, the goalkeeper for Malmo, makes an impressive save. The crowd can feel the tension as both teams are looking to make the breakthrough. The architecture of the stadium is impressive, with large stands built throughout that refuse to give an outside view of the stadium. It's impossible not to be taken in by its atmosphere, as flags wave proudly in support of both teams and chants emanating from competing fans fill the air. Its walls display impressive mosaics of each team's colors while a giant video screen broadcasts each moment of every match across its stadium-wide platform.
Lanskrona breaks through on the left with a run from Usman Jawara down the wing. He drives into the box and takes on two Malmo defenders, unleashing a curling shot at the far post, but it's denied by a brilliant save by Johan Dahlin. Malmo take control of possession in midfield, as Lanskrona drop back into their defensive shape. Both sides exchanging short passes with no real penetration, as neither side looks to create space for more threatening attacks. The game is slowly winding down here at Orskoda Park, with both teams content to keep possession until halftime. Neither Landskrona nor Malmo have been able to conjure up any real attacking threat as of yet and it looks like well go in the halftime scoreless. The action has been fast and furious so far, with both sides trading blows across the pitch. Landskrona have been pressing hard in the midfield, looking to get the ball up to Kadura who they rely on to keep them in the game. Malmo are determined to create chances of their own and are applying some pressure in their defense line. The game is slowing down now, however, as both sides struggle to break through each other's defenses. Neither side has managed to put one in the back of the net yet, with both keepers on top form between the sticks. The score stands at 0-0 as we approach half-time, so it's all down to which team can find their finishing touch before the whistle. Action on the pitch is really heating up. We're nearly 20 minutes into the match, and both teams are working hard to break the deadlock. Landskrona's Kofi Fosuhina Sari and Malmo's Oscar Livicki both have chances, but the goalkeeper Armakadura for Landskrona makes a crucial save to deny Livicki a solid shot. The crowd at Landskrona Stadium is certainly impressed. Throughout this match, it's been end-to-end -end action with neither team able to create many clear-cut opportunities. Both defenses have stood firm so far, and it looks like being a tight match all the way through. Lots of great energy out on the pitch right now and I can feel the anticipation in the air any moment one of these teams could snatch a goal. Credit to both teams for giving everything they have, and huge credit to all you passionate fans here tonight. Keep that energy up, you never know when one of these teams will strike gold. The ball is in play as Malmo creates a chance up the pitch, sending it up to Reeks. He competes for the ball against Hedenquist and wins possession before making a cut inside. Rabid cheers from the Malmo fans in the stands as Reeks threads a pass through to Thelen. Thelen collects the ball and shoots quickly, but his effort is blocked by Jernson, an incredible save. The Landskrona supporters cheer loudly with appreciation in response, knowing that could have been the deciding goal of the match. As play continues, both teams press hard in search of that goal-scoring opportunity. Lodon wins the ball off Christiansen and sets up Edvardsson with a swift pass. Edvardsson tries to send it into Fosuhina Sari in space but Olsen is there on defense with an interception. The Malmo faithful applaud their team's defensive resistance while Landskrona groans at their missed chance. Landskrona goalkeeper Kadura rushes forward, stretching his left foot to intercept a high pass from Malmo midfielder P. The ball is expertly blocked and cleared upfield. Malmo's Nanesi takes a shot from the center at goal but is denied by Anderson as he makes an acrobatic save just outside the box. The crowd roars in appreciation of the defensive play and Landskrona players look relieved when the ball is kicked away to safety. A long ball from Lindman to Fosuhin causes trouble for the Malmo defense, but eventually Olsen manages to intercept and sends it back into midfield. The atmosphere in the stadium grows intense now as both teams battle for possession, drawing in more and more fans with every well-executed movement. Neither side has been able to break through yet, but it remains an exciting match nonetheless. The two teams are currently locked in a battle at midfield, with neither side gaining an advantage. Landskrona's Kadura has been a standout goalkeeper, making a handful of key saves to prevent Malmo scoring. Champions Malmo looking to press forward, while Landskrona are trying to break quickly on the counter-attack. David Edvardsson of Landskrona looks to break but is shut down quickly by Tinaho. As the whistle rings out for halftime, the score remains 0-0 a tight and tense game that has seen few chances created with much of the play in the central third. The second half promises more action as both sides go in search for their elusive goal. It's a tense atmosphere on the pitch as we enter the 24th minute, both teams determined to find a breakthrough. Landsprona have been patiently working their short passes around Malmo's midfielders, with Nicola Lodon, David Edvardsson and Adam Ignell keeping the pressure high. They almost make it past the defense but their pass falls just short of Kofi Fosuhina Sari at the edge of the box. At the other end, 
Felon looks to combine with Reeks in a fast counterattack, but Eric Hedenquist is there to make an interception. The ball shifts back and forth between Turin and Malmo's defense, creating a stalemate in midfield neither side can break through. Both teams are sensing an opportunity to take advantage as they press forward trying to outmaneuver each other. As they hold each other off near the box, we see a flurry of passes and movement from both sides as players battle for control of the ball. The crowd erupts into cheers as Melka Jernson almost sneaks his way through defender Olsen's guard but Olsen manages to reach out his foot in time to stop him from getting through. The game is growing increasingly intense with neither team able to capitalize on any opportunities as tactical defenses overshadow anything creative or attack-minded by either side. The score remains 0-0 at this pivotal moment of the match, who will come out on top? The Landskrona defense has been standing tall against the Malmo onslaught, with Philip Anderson and Melka Jernson proving particularly impressive. Now, they're on the attack as Kofi Fosuhina Sari challenges on the right wing, and David Edvardsson shows his strong footwork in trying to make a breakthrough. Still no goals though as Edvardsson's shot sails wide of the mark. The teams are now both feeling the intensity as they try to break through one another's defenses. There's palpable energy in this game as both sides press forward with dog determination, and a goal in the next few minutes could very well result in the victory. Malmo's Sebastian Menezi is causing all sorts of problems for Lance Groner's backline and keeper Arma Kadura is having to be on his toes to close him down as he tries for a shot. Lodon of Lance Groner is making his presence felt in midfield, seeing off all challenges with strength and precision passing. It's going to be down to which team can grab that ever-elusive first goal. The action has heated up at the Landskrona Stadium. Landskrona's Kofi Fosuhina Sari has the ball and is making a run upfield, but is quickly challenged by Malmo's Anton Tinaho. Asari holds onto the ball, dodging every challenge sent his way with nifty footwork. He threads a pass to Usman Jawara in front of goal, who takes a shot. It's a powerful drive that was going in but Johan Darlene manages an incredible save for Malmo. The crowd erupts in applause for both sides as the tension intensifies. The match continues to hurl towards an exciting finish with neither side giving an inch. Can either team break the deadlock? Tune in to find out. The ball is in play now, and Lance Groner is making a play from the left side of the field midfielder David Edvardsson sending a ball towards Usman Jawara out wide. He traps it and makes towards goal, leaving behind the Malmo defenders. He's in a great position to make a shot, but suddenly the ball is intercepted by Malmo defender Lasse Nielsen. What brilliant defensive work to keep them in the game. He sends it flying downfield with an inch-perfect pass to Anders Christiansen who takes control. Christiansen keeps possession for Malmo and is now bearing down on the Landskrona box, as he gets closer he delays his pass brilliantly to Sven Reeks out wide. A superb move from Malmo there and a credit to their teamwork. The action of the game intensifies as both teams are in a deadlock for control of the pitch. Landskrona midfielder David Edvardsson is proving to be a handful for the Malmo defense, striding past opposing players with incredible speed and agility. He takes a shot on goal, but goalkeeper Johan Darlene dives to make an impressive save, keeping the score at 0-0. But David isn't done yet, he continues making explosive runs down the field that open up passing opportunities for his teammates, who are now closing in on goal. With masterful precision, he sets up Nicola Lodon who shoots towards the net, only to see it sail just inches high. Great effort all around. The fans are on the edge of their seats as the two teams fight for midfield possession. A long ball is launched from the backline of Lance Groner and it's brought down brilliantly by Camille Jabara. He turns and drives towards Malmo's penalty area but just as he looks to shoot, he is challenged by Lasse Nielsen and forced to lay it off instead. Now Malmo are on the offensive, with Anders Christiansen looking dangerous through the center of midfield. He shifts past his marker and looks to split open Lance Groner's defense with a deft pass, but just at the right moment Eric Hedenquist slides in to intercept and set up a thrilling counterattack. On the other side of the pitch Kofi Fosuhina Sari charges forward, looking to pick up momentum but he is cut off brutally by Nicholas Moisander who thumps it upfield. In a flash, Landskrona take back possession and Armakadura launches a rocket ball towards Nikola Lodon who heads it wide. 
The intensity of this game is really heating up now as both teams attempt to create something special that could put them one goal ahead. The ball is played back to Malmo's goalkeeper, Johan Darlin, and he quickly plays it out wide to midfielder Oscar Livicki. Livicki runs upfield and passes it off to forward Isaac Thelen. Thelen comes under pressure from Lance Krona's defender, Melka Jernsen, and plays a quick give and go with Philippe Anderson. The crowd erupts and cheers as they both scramble for the ball. Both teams fight hard for the possession of the ball but neither team can find an opening pass to create a scoring opportunity. The energy of the crowd in this match has been phenomenal. They are cheering each player on and showing their enthusiasm for this match. And we're back in the game. After a bit of a slow start on both sides, we are finally starting to see some action. Lance Groner's Camille Jabara making a daring run up front, bursting past several defenders with electric pace, but the Malmo goalkeeper Johan Darlin keeping up with his speedy opponent and getting to the ball just in time for a vital save. An excellent display of speed and agility from Jabara, and even better reflexes from Darlin. The ball is with Lance Groner, and Dare trying to engineer an attack, with Kofi Fosuhinasari making an aggressive run on the ball. He moves up the pitch, swiveling past his marker, but has his progress stalled by Martin Olsen of Malmo as he wrenches it away. Olsen quickly looks for a pass to launch a counter-attack, but Philip Anderson of Lance Groner dives in and denies the effort. Fosuhinasari needs to be more careful with possession, it almost led to a dangerous opportunity for Malmo. Lance Krona's Nicola Lodon is making a break down the pitch, driving forward with the ball at his feet. He's got an opportunity to take it into the Malmo box and he finds Camille Jabara in the center, but his attempt is blocked by Martin Olsen. The crowd roar in appreciation at the intensity of both teams' defenses. Both sides are really going all out here. Eric Hedenquist scoops up the ball and attempts to cross it over to Kofi Fosuhinasari, but it's cut off by a quick defensive move from Lasse Nielsen. Malmo have possession of the ball now and Anders Christiansen looks like he's taking it on, starring down an open field with only Arma Kadura in goal. But Emil Lindman slides back just in time, delivering a timely tackle that keeps Malmo from making a break for goal. The stadium is full of cheers as everyone feels the excitement and energy of this tightly contested game. The score is still 0-0 as we enter minute 37. Players on both teams have been trading off possession, but no clear chances have been created yet. Lance Krona are attacking the left flank while Malmo are exploring the middle of the pitch in search of a breakthrough. David Edvidsson surges forward but his shot sails just wide of the goal. The Malmo fans in the stands stand up in excitement hoping for a goal, but it's not to be. Headed clear by Lasse Nielsen and Matthias Olsen make an essential intervention to deny a couple of Lance Krona crosses. The crowd roars their approval in appreciation for some outstanding defensive work. Both sets of supporters rise to their feet, clapping wildly as neither team has been able to find an opening yet. The ball is shifting rapidly between the two sides as Lance Krona have begun to push forward on the attack. Malmo intercept the ball and move it into the midfield, looking for an opportunity to create a scoring chance. Lasse Nielsen dribbles down the center, searching for an open pass while being closely marked by Kofi Fosuhinasari of Lance Krona. The open space is quickly filled as Malmo's midfielders close in on the defense and force them further back towards their own goal line. The crowd at Lance Krona's stadium roars in anticipation as Nielsen sends a long-range through pass towards the feet of Isaac Thelen who brings it down with control and grace. Thelen finds himself surrounded on all sides by defenders and ops to square it off into open space near the edge of the box where P receives it under heavy pressure from Anderson of Lance Krona. The atmosphere builds from intense to electric as everyone in attendance realizes how close both teams are getting to scoring a goal. Both sides continue to trade chances back and forth, but neither can seem to break through in stunning fashion as Arma Kadura keeps dominating his area with fierce shots stopping confidence. The stadium architecture reflects Sweden's golden era of football dominance throughout the 70s and 80s, providing an inviting atmosphere that transports visitors back in time to this famous age with its spectacular old-school stands and visible infrastructure undergoing renovation at certain spots in order to modernize its charm. 
The ball is kicked up the field from the back line and it looks like David Edvardson is going to take control of it. He lunges forward, but Malmo's Lasse Nielsen is hot on his heels. Edvardson battles hard, but Nielsen outmaneuvers him and takes possession. The Lars Nielsen then quickly passes to his midfield teammate Oskar Levicki and lands the ball right at his feet. Levicki steadies himself and sends a sharp pass in the opposite direction towards Isaac Felin, Malmo's left winger with blistering speed. He receives and turns away from Eric Hedenquist, Landskrona defender, and races down the field towards goal with incredible agility. Hedenquist musters all of his energy to keep up and dives in as Felin approaches Landskrona's 18-yard box. But Felin pulls out a masterful move inside of Hedenquist's tackle and continues towards goal. Kofi Fosuhina Sari, Landskrona midfielder intervenes just in time right in front of the box and successfully dispossesses Felin in a fierce slide tackle. The crowd erupts as both sides press forward in pursuit of the ball. The referee blows his whistle and play continues here at the Landskrona Stadium as both teams look to gain the upper hand. Landskrona's David Edvardson is attempting a through pass to winger Camille Jabara, but Malmo's Nicholas Moisander is quick to react and intercepts the ball. With a deft touch, he passes it to striker Isaac Felin who lets loose an unstoppable shot towards goal only for Arma Kadura in the Landskrona goal to make a truly remarkable save. But wait, something's wrong in the Landskrona half of the pitch, it looks like Usman Jawara has picked up an injury. The medical staff rush onto the field and assist him off of the pitch. It looks like his game is over here today, as Mia Ua Hole Ward replaces him on the field. The energy is increasing with each passing minute as both teams are throwing portion to the wind, desperate for a goal. Malmo are looking for an attack down the left wing, the ball is sent into Nanezi who makes a swift pass over the defense. But Landskrona intercepts and regains possession. Kadura quickly passes the ball into Fosuhina Sari who snakes his way through the opposition defense and takes an audacious shot from outside the box. What an onslaught of power and sheer determination. Gulal. The crowd erupts in cheers as Fosuhina Sari puts Lance Krona in front. What a fantastic display of skill and finesse, we have witnessed today. Lance Krona now lead 1-0. The Lance Krona defense is holding off a fierce offensive from Malmo, but the pressure is mounting. Ignel, Kadura and Fosuhina Sari are pushing the ball back deep in their half, but the Malmo attackers are just too quick. Felin surges forward on the left flank, but it's well defended by Jernson who clears the ball out of play. The weather is clear with a cool breeze touching down from time to time lending an energy to proceedings on the pitch. The audience roars as Landskrona player Usman Jawara fights for a 50-50 ball against Malmo goalkeeper Johan Dahlin, who dives out to make a spectacular save. Landskrona continue the attack with Adam Ignell sending a brilliant pass out to Camille Jabara in the box. Jabara lines up his shot but the ball just sails wide of the post. Malmo respond with a swift counterattack, and as Christiansen finding himself in plenty of space on the left flank. He swings in a pinpoint cross for Sren Rieks, but his header goes wide of the far post and out for a goal kick. Let's take a moment to lighten things up with a joke about Malmo star Isaac Felin. How do you get Isaac Felin to smile? Just tell him he's scoring against Lance Groner. The first half has certainly been an exciting one. Lance Groner started the game with a bang, Armacadura making some fantastic saves to stop Malmo from scoring. In the defense, Philip Anderson, Eric Hedenquist, Melka Jernson, and Emil Lindman have been outstanding so far. In midfield, Nicola Lodon, David Edvardson, Adam Ignell and Kofi Fosuhina Sari have been razor sharp passing the ball around and capitalizing on every chance they get. Up front Camille Jabara and Usman Jawara have caused Malmo's defense all kinds of trouble throughout the half. Malmo have certainly not been sitting still either. Despite Lance Groner's strong defense Johan Darlene at goalkeeper has made some fantastic saves to keep them in it. Lasse Nielsen, Anton Tinnehom, Nicholas Moisander, and Martin Olsen have done a good job of maintaining their defensive shape. In midfield Anders Christiansen, Sergio P, Oscar Levicki and Sebastian Danese played their part well executing a perfect build-up play oftentimes leaving Lance Groner's defenders in knots. Up front Isaac Thelen and Sren Rieks had some near misses but failed to convert any of their chances. So that's it for now folks, no goal yet but plenty of excitement as we go into the break.
Landskrona kicks off the second half and they make a move forward, with Kadura clearing the ball up the pitch towards Fosuhin Asari. Asari looks for a teammate and finds Jawara in the center, but the pass gets intercepted by Nielsen. Malmo now looks to respond with Christiansen advancing up the right flank and making a cross towards Thelen, but it is blocked out of bounds by Hedenquist. Landskrona shifts their attack to the left side with Jabara dribbling past two defenders and delivering a shot from outside of the box, but it goes wide as Darlene is called into action. Malmo regains control of possession and P.E. makes his way towards goal. He passes to Nanezi on his left, but Lindman steals the ball away from him. Lindman looks for an outlet pass and spots Ignell, who takes a pivot shot from outside a penalty area, only to see it deflected away safely by Moisander. Kadura then launches a long-distance kick back up to Fosuhin Asari in midfield, who quickly feeds Jawara in space 30 meters out. Jawara takes two touches before unleashing an audacious strike that flies just above the bar. Landskrona continues pushing forward, looking for another chance as they keep up their pressure on Malmo's defense. Even though they don't get a goal yet they still hold on to their 1-0 lead as we wind down what's been an intriguing match here at Landskrona Stadium. The first half of the game was a close one, with no team taking a definitive advantage. Landskrona started out strong in the second half, but Malmo's defense has been holding steady on the back line. Now in minute 46, we see both sides feeling each other out, probing for any weakness in the opponent's arrangement. The midfielders for both teams tussling for control of the ball and chunks of space on the pitch. Some strong tackling has disrupted their opponent's rhythm with Landskrona keeping tight possession momentarily only to lose it again on the next challenge. The game is slowing down as temperatures rise and players tire from running continually up and down the pitch. Landskrona nearly snuck in a goal just one minute ago, but Malmo goalkeeper Johan Darlene made a save to prevent it from happening. At this point, the score remains fixed at 1-0 for Landskrona and time is quickly running out for Malmo's chance to level things up again. The tension is thick as Landskrona tries to hold on to their one goal lead over Malmo. We have David Edvardson making a strong run down the edge of the field, but Lasse Nielsen is hot on his heels, tracking him every step of the way. Edvardson takes a shot, and it's deflected wide by Nicholas Moisander, incredible defensive display by Malmo. Camille Jabara goes for the rebound, but Johan Darlene comes up with a great save to keep Lance Groner at bay. The crowd is going wild as the intensity continues to rise. Eric Hedenquist executes an acrobatic challenge on Sren Reeks in midfield and wins possession for Lance Groner. Kofi Fosuhin Asari takes control and passes it off to Adam Ignell who fires a through ball down the right flank, but Anton Tinnerholm steps in expertly at the last second to bring it under control. Malmo pressing hard for that all-important tying goal, but Landskrona keeping them at bay so far. The second half is underway with Landskrona in possession. Adam Ignell passes the ball forward to Camille Jabara who takes a shot on goal, it's just wide. The crowd cheers in anticipation as the pitch is alive with electric energy. The players race around the grass, challenging for control of the ball. Malmo fight back, passing up the pitch and hooking in a cross that lands at Isaac Berlin's feet. He dribbles it past Eric Hedenquist who lunges to intercept the ball, but falls short. Felon looks up and takes his shot, a long-range effort that speeds towards goal but is curtailed by Landskrona's keeper Arma Kadura who dives to his left to save it. The match goes on with both teams pushing for a chance to enter the attacking third and searching for an opportunity to score a goal. The game heats up as players slash into tackles and knock each other off balance in their desperate quest for victory. The game has picked up intensity here in the second half and both teams are beginning to smell a chance for victory. Landskrona currently lead Malmo 1-0 and they continue to put pressure on the visitors. Camille Jabara continues to impress, flying down the left flank with the agility of a mountain goat, he unleashes an unstoppable cross which puts the goalkeeper in all sorts of trouble. Johan Darlene manages to make a fingertip save but it is very close. We then turn our attention over to midfield for a moment and how about the performance of Adam Ignell for Landskrona. He's been cool as ice out there today, not letting any Malmo player beat him yet. He's defended well and even managed to win back possession. Go Adam. The ball is kicked off as Landskrona halved elected to get the score flowing. 
Camille Jabara deftly takes it down with a header and dispatches it to David Edvardson who is cutting in from the left. Edvardson makes a fainting run that gets the defenders off balance before he dinks a pass to Usman Jawara who lets rip with a powerful shot that spins towards the top right corner of Johan Dahlin's goal. But Dahlin dives fantastically to his right and guides it around the post with his fingertips. The crowd roars in anticipation as they realize how close they have come to witnessing another goal, and they are on their feet in recognition of this incredible save. Lanskrona goalkeeper Armakadura charges forward out of the box and hoofs the ball upfield. Malmo's Lassa Nielsen is determined to win possession, but he is denied by Adam Ignell's sliding tackle. The ball launches into the air and lands at David Edvardson's feet. Edvardson dribbles past Nielsen and sends a long ball to Kasim Jabara, but Johan Darlene in goal is alert and quickly makes his way to the edge of the box to collect the ball. Malmo regroup around Darlene and Martin Olsen leads a swift counterattack. In no time, the ball makes its way upfield to Sren Reeks just outside the box, but his shot drifts wide of the post. There's a collective sigh of relief from both teams as Reeks' attempt sails harmlessly into touch. The game continues as Lance Groner try to add to their 1-0 lead. Lance Groner has possession of the ball and Kofi Fosuhin Asari is playing it forward to Camille Jabara in the attacking third. Jabara attempts to make a run towards goal but is stopped by an aggressive tackle from Martin Olsen. Olsen launches the ball upfield towards Thelen, who makes a smart layoff back to P. P charges forward but has his progress stopped by Adam Ignell, who wins the ball and plays it back to Nicola Lodon in midfield. Lodon keeps possession for Lance Groner as the crowd cheers on every touch he makes in anticipation for something more. The ball is now in the hands of Malmo as they attempt to equalize the game. Rasmus Tinnerholm from Malmo has taken possession and is driving upfield in a formidable attack. He passes to Oscar Levicki, who weaves around Lance Groner's defense and puts it back to Tinnerholm. The veteran player takes a crack at goal, but his shot is blocked expertly by Arma Kadura in Lance Groner's goalkeeper position. Great reflexive save by Kadura, keeping Lance Groner in the lead at 1-0. Lance Groner's Arma Kadura is making an amazing save and the crowd erupts. Kadura dives quickly to his right, stretching out his arm and using every inch of his body to push the ball away. It's a remarkable effort that is sure to be remembered. The ref awards Lance Groner with a corner kick. Eric Hedenquist steps up and takes it, sending in a sweet pass, but Malmo's defense clears it away. Nicola Lodon picks up the ball in midfield and plays it wide right to Kofi Fosuhina Sari who controls the ball with ease before slipping a pass through the defenders for Camille Jabara. This time, Johan Darlene is able to come off his line in time and collect the ball for Malmo. Impressive coordination between Jabara and Asari though. The two teams square off as the second half resumes, with Malmo looking to find an equalizer. Lance Groner's Philip Anderson makes an impressive slide tackle in midfield and redirects the ball towards Kofi Fosuhinasari. He dribbles past a few defenders, but his shot is blocked by Malmo's goalkeeper Johan Dahlin. The ball winds up with Malmo's Anders Christiansen, and he drives it down the wing for what looks like a sure goal. But Eric Hedenquist swoops in from out of nowhere to make a perfectly timed tackle and preserves Lance Groner's 1-0 lead. What a play from Hedenquist! The teams have picked up their intensity in this second half of the game, as they both look to make a difference on the scoreline. Lance Groner's Camille Jabbar has been impressive in his movements so far, trying to create opportunities with his runs and passes. And Malmo's midfield general Sergio P is displaying his usual impeccable technique, seeking to control the game with his constant pushing and pressing dot just a few moments ago, we saw an incredible piece of skill by Lance Groner's Armacadura. He made an acrobatic save off a powerful strike from Malmo's Isaac Thelen leaping high into the air and dashing towards his net in time to stop the ball from entering. What an amazing show of athleticism from this agile goalkeeper. The action resumes with Lance Groner's Kofi Fosuhina Sari dribbling the ball down the pitch, split-second reactions from Malmo's midfielders quickly break up his attack. Then, it's a race back as Anderson chases after a long-range pass up to Thelen but he loses control just before he could shoot and the ball finds itself safely back in the goalie's gloves. 
It remains 1-0 with barely 30 minutes left in regulation. Both teams are pushing hard passing around the pitch with precision and speed, searching for any opening they can take advantage of. The crowd roars as Fosuhi Nasari makes one more run on goal, muscling his way through Malmo's defenders only to be denied by an incredible save from Darlene. It's tense stuff at Landskrona Stadium, this majestic arena built in 1932 whose history has been studded with so many legendary moments. The terraces are packed with blue and yellow flags as fans cheer their team on seeking that critical goal that could lift them above their opponents. The ball is at midfield, with Nicola Lodon of Landskrona and Anders Christiansen of Malmo fighting for possession. Christiansen steals it away and passes to Sebastian Nanesi, but Emil Lindman quickly challenges him and gains control. Lindman then plays the ball forward to Kofi Fosuhina Sari, who skips past his defender and makes a cross pass into the box. Usman Jawara gets on the end of it, but his shot is blocked by Lasse Nielsen. Landskrona keeps up the attack and Philip Anderson makes a threatening step over that forces Anton Tinnehome to make a desperate slide tackle to clear the ball into touch. The referee blows the whistle, ending play for now. Landskrona's midfielder, David Edvardson, is on the ball and he is weaving through Malmo's defense with extraordinary pace. He passes it over to Kofi Fosuhi Nassari who sends a long cross into the penalty area. Malmo's goalkeeper puts his body on the line and pulls off a stunning reflex save. He parries the ball away so that it lands in front of the feet of Landskrona's forward, Usman Jawara, who attempts a shot from inside the box. The shot slams off the post to safety. A great effort from Usman Jawara who almost had Malmo on their way to conceding an equalizing goal. Landskrona are pushing forward, with Sarre whipping in a cross from the right flank. It's met with a loud roar from the crowd. Jawara gets ahead on it, but the ball rings across the goal mouth, before being cleared. But Dare refusing to back down. This time it's Jawara charging forward, his long legs carrying him into the opposition's box. He looks up and finds Nanezi with an inch-perfect pass. Nanezi takes a few dribbles and unleashes a shot on goal, goal. The entire crowd erupts as the ball sails into the back of the net, giving Lanskrona a 1-0 lead. The players surge in celebration and the supporters are going wild. A moment of magic from Nanezi has given Landskrona their first goal of the match. The team from Malmo seem to have the upper hand in this matchup as they keep pressing on the Landskrona side. Felin is leading the charge up front, pushing his way into the box and looking for some room to get a shot away. He's defended tightly by a wall of Landskrona defenders but is still able to find some space. Meanwhile, it looks like the match is starting to slow down ever so slightly as both sides start to take more care with their passing, taking a breath before committing too strongly forward. Nothing bar a wonder goal from either side is going to make this game turn around now though, with the score still at 2-0 and no real openings that either side can capitalize on. Malmo take possession of the ball as they cross midfield, but David Edvardson quickly slides in to take it back for Landskrona. He plays a great through ball to Kofi Fosuhina Sari, who charges down the pitch with the ball at his feet. The Malmo defense looks shaken as he sprints past them, and Fosuhina Sari drives into the penalty area. With a swift fake to his left he's able to break past Nicholas Moisander, and as fast as lightning he slams the ball straight into the net. Goal. Landskrona widen their lead with an emphatic strike from Kofi Fosuhina Sari, chance of joy echo around the stadium. What a goal. The score is now 2-0. It's minute 64 of the game and all eyes are on the pitch. Landskrona's Kofi Fosuhina Sari gets the ball back in the midfield after a great pass and surges forward, attempting to outrun the Malmo midfield personnel. He finds an opening in front of him but is quickly brought down by an impressive tackle by P. Landskrona still has possession of the ball and Kadura launches a long ball towards Camille Jabara up front. Jabara is able to bring it down but is being swarmed by two Malmo defenders. He quickly passes it off to Usman Diwalra on his left-hand side. Diwalra takes on Sofonius from Malmo with a series of stepovers what skill. He then unleashes a shot from outside the box that looks destined for the top corner but Johan Darlene is alert as ever and pulls off an unbelievable save. Only one player could make a save like that, Johan Darlene. 
as they say nothing stops a Darlene Wall. The whistle blows, signaling the start of the second half. Lance Sproda has the ball and passes quickly to David Edvardson in midfield. With precise skill, he passes it off swiftly to Kofi Fosuhin Asari on the right. Asari collects it with ease and zips past a couple of defenders on the outside before cutting back inside, using his speed and agility to dodge a tackle and keep the attack alive. He searches for an opening, making a penetrating pass towards Ama Jabara up front. Jabara is met by pressure from Martin Olsen but stays on his feet, narrowly evading the tackle as he moves forward towards goal. He dribbles towards Malmo's goalkeeper Darlene before sending in a smoldering chip shot for a chance at glory. However, it sails over the crossbar just inches short of success. The chants from the crowd echo around the stadium and excitement intensifies. Moments later, Nicola Lodon receives yet another pass from Edvardson that puts him in an advantageous position near the 16-yard box with only one defender in his way. The Landskrona midfielder dribbles left and then right, astonishingly releasing a low shot past Malmo's defense for a blocked attempt at goal. It looks like Fosuhina Sari is starting to warm up nicely as he continues to display his talent as a crafty winger, no doubt raising his stock value. It's the 67th minute and the game is still 3-0. Kofi Fosuhina Sari and Adam Ignell of Landskrona are playing at a high level their aggressiveness and strength on the pitch drawing admiration from spectators. Kofi has already drawn a couple of fouls with his excellent footwork and is poised to make an impact throughout this half. Ignell, meanwhile, is constantly breaking up plays by skillfully intercepting passes near the center of the pitch. On the opposite end, Malmo keepers Dalm is becoming quite the showstopper in his own right as he stays vigilant in goal using his tall stature to block most shots on net. It continues to be a fast-paced game as both teams strive to make a splash before time runs out. The ball begins with an exchange of possession between Lanskrona and Malmo. Carson Jabara takes command of the ball and propels it forward down the field. He drives towards the goal but is met with a strong defensive line from Malmo. David Edvardson backtracks, clearing the path for Kofi Fosuhina Sari, who makes a surging run towards the goal posting. The defender, Martin Olsen, shadowing Asari with carefully calculated steps, attempts to make an interception but is unsuccessful. Meanwhile, Eric Hedenquist moves in to pick up Asar's pass before charging ahead on offense. The referee pauses the game as he calls a foul against Hedenquist's opponent Lassa Nielsen, which brings a temporary pause to the aggressive action on the field as we enter into minute 68 of play in this game between Landskrona and Malmo. The game has been swift so far but is beginning to slow down as both teams adjust their strategies for attack and defense in attempt to break through for a goal. Lance Krona remains head at goal 3-0 over. Malmo after 68 minutes off play. Lance Krona and Malmo continue to battle it out, both sides pushing hard for a goal as time ticks away. Lance Krona's Kofi Fosuhina Sari flies down the pitch, putting pressure on Malmo's defense as he tries to squeeze in a goal. He passes the ball to his teammate, Camille Jabara, who takes a shot towards the goal but it sails just wide of the post. The goalie for Malmo, Johan Darlene, scrambles back into position for another play. Dottenson and Edvardson battle for control of the ball at midfield, but neither can find an advantage and it's kicked back towards Kadura in Landskrona's goal. The game has become rather dull with neither team finding an opening possessions are often broken up quickly and ending with no result as both defenses stand firm in their lines. With minutes remaining both teams seem re-signed to end the match scoreless with a 3-0 deficit standing between them at the start of play. It's an electrifying atmosphere at Landskrona Stadium as Landskrona managed to keep their 3-0 lead. The away team, Malmo, have made several strong offensive efforts but goalkeeper Ama Kadura has saved shots from both Isaac Thelen and Sren Reeks during the second half. Now, we are entering minute 70 of the game and Malmo are pushing for a goal. Melka Jernson makes a last-ditch tackle to stop Anton Tinnehome's sprint through the box. He was close to putting Malmo on the board at this crucial moment in the game. Landkrona's home crowd erupts in cheers as they feel they witness their team escape conceding a goal. Kofi Fosuhina Sari takes possession and quickly passes it off to Camille Jabara who drives toward Malmo's penalty box with confidence. He shifts past two defenders and takes a shot. It misses just wide right. More cheers come out from Landskrona fans who were certain it was going in.
The tension in this game is felt even through the radio wave, as both teams battle for possession of the ball with singular focus. Lanskrona's midfield scramble to keep the ball away from Malmo's forwards atop a sea of legs trying to steal it back. On the left side, Nicola Lodon takes the ball forward with an impressive move, flanked by David Edvidson and Adam Ignell behind him. He dances circles around three opponents and gains some space, launching a pass towards Kofi Fosuhi Nasari in the center. Just before he reaches his teammate, Nanesi slides in from behind, stealing the ball once more. He quickly passes it to Thelen who makes a break down the right side of the field with Reeks joining him on his flank. They get within 25 yards of goal before Emil Lindman knocks Reeks off balance, ending their advance. Malmo win the free kick and set up just outside of goal while they regain their composure. Captain Anders Christiansen whips a curling shot towards Arma Kadura in goal who rises above all others to make a spectacular diving save. The home crowd erupts in cheers as Kadura whips out his gloves and punches away any remaining danger. Lanskrona's Erik Hedenquist comes flying in to intercept a ball that Malmo's Isaac Thelen had been chasing for the last five minutes. With a Herculean effort he manages to nudge out the ball from Thelen and passes it off to midfielder Kofi Fosuhin Asari, who quickly moves it further up the field. But Asari is quickly closed down by Malmo's Anton Tinnehom, who doesn't give him much space to work with. However, Asari won't give up easily, as he turns and fakes one way then another before delivering a fantastic cross into the box. Unfortunately, None of his teammates are in position to convert the opportunity and the ball flicks off the goalkeeper's gloved hand out of play. Meanwhile, Adam Ignell of Lance Groner has been attracting attention with his remarkable energy and enthusiasm on the pitch tonight. Even in such a close game he is always talking strategies with his teammates and encouraging them with his crafty skills. He has successfully pulled off some spectacular moves with quick feints forward and backwards before driving at defenders, creating chances on goal for Lance Groner all night long. Anton Tinnehom steps up and delivers a pinpoint long pass forward, perfectly met by Thelen. He rockets towards goal, quickly outpacing the Landskrona defense. He swings his leg in A there to shoot, but Kadura is alert and dives to tip the ball away just before it breaks the goal line. Malmo players cry for a penalty but the referee waves play on. Starting the 75th minute, Malmo works the ball up the left sideline with Anders Christiansen leading the way, weaving through Landskrona's defenders. He makes a pass to Thelen who sends a long cross into the box towards Srenriks. Just as he goes to strike it, Melka Jernsen steps in to block the goal and prevent Malmo from scoring. The game then slows down as both sides take some time to catch their breath, regroup and strategize their next move. As we enter into minute 80 of play, both teams are still locked at 3-0 and look set to finish the match without either team finding a goal. The ball launches away from the Malmo defense and lands in the hands of Kofi Fosuhi Nasari, who sends a powerful shot that sails towards Johan Dahlin's goal. The crowd roars, urging the ball over the line, but in a miraculous save it is just stopped inches from the net. Fosuhi Nasari claps his hands as he celebrates his near miss. Lance Krona keeps possession as more shout from the crowd, pushing their team forward. Ladnan races up on the left wing with an impressive burst of pace and passes it out to Jabara who threads it to Jawara. He steps into the box with only Moisander in front of him but under pressure he stumbles and loses control of the ball which goes out for a corner. The crowd groans as they see their opportunity slip away and brighten with anticipation for what may come on this final corner kick. The referee blows his whistle, signaling Lance Grona to take their last chance at clawing back into this match. Ignell steps up and delivers a perfect cross towards Edvardsen's head but Moisander arrives first and duly clears it away. That should be game over as no one could realistically save that header but we'll have to wait until the final whistle. Malmo are playing with real effort, but Lance Grona's relentless defense is holding fast. The Malmo players are pushing forward in hopes of a goal, and Lars Nielsen does a superb job on the ball, exhibiting incredible skill as he jukes and dodges his way past the defense. He sends it wide to Anderson Christiansen, who takes a few steps and rockets an impressive strike straight for goal. Unfortunately, the shot goes just wide of the near post. It was still an amazing effort worthy of recognition great work by Christiansen.
the fans in the stands are on the edge of their seat, anxiously anticipating the close of this exciting match. Armakadura is between the posts for Lance Krona, and Hell now have to face a last-ditch effort from Malmo as they search for an equalizer. Anton Tinnehom is quickly closing in on goal, but Melka Jernson manages to keep him at bay. He delivers a hard tackle that sends Tinnehom skidding into the turf, a fitting end to his bold attempt at glory. The crowd let out a collective gasp, unsure how to feel about what happened. But never fear, for everyone can find precisely the sentiment they were seeking in Eric Hedenquist's reaction to it all raising his arms in celebration and singing a song from the terraces. Meanwhile, goalie Johan Darlene is trying to lift his team's spirits with some witty banter as he readies them for one final push towards victory. Hey Sren, he calls out, looks like we've been playing find the goalie again today. The momentum is in Lance Krona's favor and it looks like they might take this one home. Malmo are desperately defending, looking to minimize the damage. Eric Hedenquist of Lance Krona shows a lot of composure, dominating the center-back position against the Malmo attackers. He makes an admirable effort in containing them and just now forces an outlet pass. Kofi Fosuhi Nassari from Lance Krona attempts a shot on goal but it is blocked by Lassa Nielsen of Malmo at the last moment. Great defensive play from Nielsen. He really saved Malmo there as they look towards trying to make a comeback before the final whistle blows. The action is fast and furious, with both sides giving it their all. Lance Krona tried to get a goal, but their attack is thwarted by Malmo's tenacious defense. The Swedes show no sign of slowing down as they try to keep their lead intact. Meanwhile, the weather outside is beautiful, the sun beaming down through the clouds creating a dazzling sight. The temperature is pleasant and comfortable, perfect conditions for a spirited game like this one. On the pitch, we are seeing some fantastic technique from both teams as they maneuver around each other trying to find a weakness in the opposition's defense. There's been several close shots made on goal by both Lance Krona and Malmo but so far no breakthrough as we approach the closing stages of this matchup. The game resumes with Lance Krona in possession. David Edvidson takes the ball down the left wing and sends a cross into the crowded box. The Malmo defenders scramble to clear but it's too late Kofi Fosuhina Sari pounces on the loose ball and drives it powerfully past keeper Darlene. Lance Krona take the lead 4-3 with just 5 minutes remaining in the match. The clock is ticking and pressure is mounting as both teams desperately search for a goal. Malmo launches one last attack, breaking away with P leading the charge. He finds Thelen in front of goal but Armakadura is quick off his line and clears away the danger. Fans of the match are held in suspense as the final seconds count down. Then, at last, we hear that final whistle. Lance Krona has won by a score of 4-3. to three. The Malmo Arena towers high above us its captivating architecture making for an unforgettable atmosphere as thousands of passionate fans cheer for their victorious team. Tonight, Lance Krona gave their fans something to cheer about. Lance Krona and Malmo are still engaged in a tense battle on the pitch, with both sides desperate for a goal. On one side, Lance Krona's armor Kadura is doing his best to keep their lead intact with some solid saves. At the other end, Johan Darlene is proving equal to the task for Malmo. Both teams have had some close calls but neither has been able to break through on either of these well-manned defenses. This seems to be a game of patience as overtime begins to tick away and the final whistle draws near with no one able to find the net. Action has been lackluster in recent minutes, making for an uneventful game and many long spells without any real excitement. Fans at home will have likely changed the channel by now as they settle into an all too familiar pattern of monotonous soccer, hoping something remarkable happens soon before boredom truly sets in. The game is slowly coming to an end and the crowd here at Lance Grona are desperately hoping for a late spark from their team. We see Kofi Fosuhi Nassari trying to create something out of nothing, first taking on two defenders before making a pass to Jabara who tries his luck from distance, but his effort goes well off target. Malmo are doing well in containing Lance Krona and pushing them back. Thelen looks to break forward but is quickly closed down by the defense. Just as it appeared that nothing else would happen in this game, David Edvidson comes up with a surprise move. He attempts to tackle the ball away from Martin Olsen but misses it, making a funny tumble instead. We won't be seeing David trying that move again in the near future. The 90th minute has arrived and tensions are high. Lance Krona's Kofi Fosuhi Nassari sends a long ball from the midfield that lands directly in front of Camille Jabara, who is eyeing for a goal. 
Perfectly timed, Jibara takes the shot and it looks as if it will go into the net but Malmo's Johan Darlene dives and saves the ball, keeping Malmo's 3-0 lead. And David Edvardsson of Landskrona gets the best move of all. When the announcer said throw in for Landskrona he responded in an exaggeratedly deep voice throw in for La Ana Kruana, what dramatic flair. As the final whistle blows, all fans applaud and cheer for both teams, who put on a spectacle. Oh but what's this? A humorous moment before the game had to end? It seems that Kofi Fosuhin Asari of Landskrona was seen sprinting towards the goal just after time expired while his teammates tried to stop him. There really is no stopping Kofi Asari when he's determined. The referee blows the whistle signaling the end of the game. Both teams come to the middle of the pitch in anticipation of the result. As Landskrona and Malmo players emerge from their defensive positions, it's clear that no one was able to break through. Landskrona are victorious with a score of 3-0. This has been a rather dull game, with both teams trying to keep possession in their own half for most of it neither side had enough firepower to make anything significant happen in attack. The 3-0 scoreline does nothing justice to either team's endeavor nor ambition. There have been very few opportunities for either team and this match will go down as a less than memorable contest. The crowd roars at Landskrona as forward Usman Jawara pulls off an impressive move, dribbling between Malmo's defender Lassa Nielsen and midfielder Anders Christiansen. But in a desperate defensive move Nielsen manages to pull back Diawara's rise making him lose the ball dot at minute 93 the energy of the game is still high as Malmo's forward Isaac Thelen puts on a swift sprint towards Landskrona's goalpost. But David Edvardsson steps up to defend and blocks the shot, prompting cheers from the home crowd. The heat is on in this game, but even with 9 minutes left there appears to be no way for either team to put points on the table. It has been an exciting match and we salute both teams for their hard work. Both team captains Kofi Fosuhin Asari and Nicholas Moisander have shown tremendous leadership all throughout, they have worked tirelessly, both coaching their teammates strategizing plays from the sidelines and actively participating on the field whenever needed. Lance Kroner's David Edvardsson brings the ball up the left side of the pitch. Malmo's Lassa Nielsen closes in on him, putting pressure on Edvardsson who eventually is forced to make an errant pass. Malmo's Sebastian Nanesi races to intercept it and successfully sends it out of bounds, resulting in a Landskrona throw-in. Eric Hedenquist throws in, getting it to Kofi Fosuhin Asari who shoots it towards the goal. The shot just misses its mark as Johan Darlin makes a spectacular save with one hand. The crowd roars with cheers. Landskrona's Arma Kadura can be seen meticulously scolding his defense after conceding many costly turnovers in the game thus far. The game is heating up as Lance Groner make a penalty against Isaac Thelen of Malmo. It's now or never for the home side to at least level the score. Arma Kadura takes the penalty shot and sends the ball soaring towards goal but Johan Darlene is quick to analyze the trajectory and dives to his right, getting a firm pair of gloves on the ball and keeping Lance Groner off the scoreboard. The crowd boos as Adam Ignell of Lance Groner sends in a sloppy pass that fails to connect with Camille Jabara. His overzealous corner kick costs his team valuable time and possessions as Malmo moves swiftly in transition. Ignell looks dejected after his mistake, which almost proves costly for his team. The crowd is on the edge of their seat cheering, shouting and clapping wildly as both teams fight to find a breakthrough. Lance Kroner's Camille Jabara dribbles rapidly down the pitch and sends a great ball into the penalty box. Malmo's Martin Olsen jumps to head it, but his shot goes wide. The crowd's hopes can almost be felt, as they chant for their teams to put some more pressure in for a potential game-winning goal. Kofi Fosuhin Asari from Landskrona follows up with a body shot, but Johan Darlin pulls off an incredible save with his fingertips. The crowd erupts in applause, all in appreciation of the brilliant play. The clock ticks away and the game is coming to an end. Both sides are still pressing forward they want to wrap up with a win or at least a draw. There are beads of sweat on every player's forehead, and tension builds as time winds down and neither side finds the netting, can the match extend? Lance Krona has possession of the ball, and they are looking for an opportunity to break the scoreless tie. Kadura looks for any openings coming down the right flank, but his route is blocked by Malmo defenders Nielsen and Tinnehoe. 
Malmo is trying to deny Lanskrona space by pressuring them to pass while they double mark potential threats. Edvardsson and Posuhina Sari try linking up in midfield with a long pass through the heart of the pitch, but Olsen snuffs it out before it can get to Jawara up front. Both teams remain evenly matched, as fatigue sets in for each team. The pace of the game has been affected, with players waiting for an opportunity or mistake from their opponents rather than pushing forward with intensity. Shots are few and far between, as both teams are seemingly content at this point to keep their respective scores intact. All that can be heard from the stands is chants and cheers from fans as neither team appears able to break through this stalemate and force a change in outcome on this night. We are in the intensity of extra time now as both teams try to find that elusive goal. Lanskrona's Usman Jawara pushes forward with the ball, but he is quickly halted by Malmo defender Antonio Tinajo. But in true Jawara style, his quick passing and footwork has enabled him to keep the ball and evade Antonio's pressing advances. The crowd rise to their feet as a chant for Usman rings throughout the stadium. In a moment of true athleticism, Jawara manages to get around his defender to create an opportunity for a shot. But just as Usman is about to unleash his strike, the buzzer sounds indicating the end of time and Lance Krona still have their 3-0 lead intact. It's been an exhausting game with incredible performances from both sides, and Diawara's athletic display was surely one of the highlights tonight. The Lance Krona players haven't been able to break through Malmo's defense and the score remains 3-0. Both teams appear to be getting fatigued, with players on both sides slowing down a bit. The referee adds one more minute of extra time, giving the teams one last chance to make something happen in this match. Outside, the weather is dry but cool a perfect day for a soccer match. The sun is still up and shining brightly, casting its light onto the pitch as the players go back and forth attempting to score one more goal before the clock runs out. Even with all the action going on in front of them, many of them can be seen glancing up at the beautiful sight above them. Malmo's forward Isaac Thelen receives the ball from midfield and drives into the box, quickly outpacing the defenders. But his shot goes wide of the goal. Lanskrona goalkeeper Armakadura is quick off his line to claim the ball. Lanskrona launch a fast break against Malmo and David Edvardsson gains possession of the ball. He drives towards Malmo's goal but is blocked by defender Anton Tinnehome who dives in with a crunching tackle and recovers the ball, saving Malmo from conceding another goal. Not to be outdone, Malmo come right back at Lance Groner with Sren Reeks taking a pass from Anders Christiansen at midfield and advancing towards the penalty area. He passes off to Oskar Vicky but Kadura intervenes with a dive, blocking Lewicki's shot. The action continues on both ends of the pitch as both teams fight for control of possession but neither team can find an opening in their opponent's defense. The final whistle blows and Lance Groner emerge victorious 3-0 over Malmo in a thrilling 90 minutes of soccer. The crowd is in an uproar as the game enters extra time. The players from Landskrona and Malmo are giving it their all on the pitch and time is ticking down. Both teams have had their chances in this game and now is their chance to bring home the victory. Landskrona's Armakadura has been on top of his game, making some brilliant saves to keep them in the game. Both sides are pushing forward, but neither team seems able to break down the opposing defense. Philip Anderson of Landskrona tries a long-range shot, but it's saved at the last second by Johan Dali. The crowd screams as Usman Jawara of Lance Grona goes on a mesmerizing run, winding his way through the Malmo defenders with ease. He gets into a great position but is unable to connect with Camille Jabara to get that vital goal. Martin Olsen of Malmo sends in a cross, which almost results in a goal. Isaac Thelen just misses out on making contact with it at the last second. With only seconds left on the clock, both teams continue to push for that winning goal. The crowd is standing up and cheering wildly for their team as time runs out. No team has gotten that elusive winning goal yet and time runs out with a score of 3-0. The Landskrona East rallying their last efforts as the minutes start to tick away and are looking to one of their star players, Usman Jawara, for a potential winning goal. He's had a quiet game so far but has come alive in this waning moment with excellent defending and ball control. He takes the ball at speed, running through Malmo's defenders before launching a brilliant strike into the back of the net. Everyone is on their feet. The goalkeeper jumps out and attempt to block it but it's too powerful. Landskrona are back from the brink. 
The referee confirms the goal and the celebrations ensue. Usman Jawara has saved the day and brought his team Lavelle going into extra time. He turns to his fans, raising his hands in triumph while they go wild in jubilation and optimism for what the future holds. The game is heating up as we enter extra time in this match. Lance Krona looks to put the match out of reach while Malmo continue to battle, hoping for a miracle. Both sides are pushing hard and the crowd is getting restless waiting for a goal. Kofi Fosuhina Sari passes the ball toward Camille Jabara, who drives down the left flank with speed. He sends a cross in which is nearly intercepted, but he's saved by Eric Hedenquist and he sends it back across goal where Adam Ignell leaps up trying to head it in. Just before he can connect with the ball, Anton Tinnehome intervenes and clears it away to safety. The crowd roars in anticipation of a big moment that faded away in an instant. The referee who has largely gone unseen during this match continues to frustrate fans as he lets another obscure foul slide by without any reprimand for either team. Clearly not wanting to influence the course of the game, Head rather let the players duel it out without his interventions, though it remains questionable if this will result in fair results today. The referee blows the half-time whistle and Lance Krona begins to really apply some pressure. Kofi Fosuhina Sari makes a brilliant run down the left wing and creates several chances as a result, but they fail to score as Johan Darlene makes two brilliant saves in goal. On the other side of the pitch, Malmo's Oscar Livicki is having a stellar game, stopping countless shots and interceptions from the Lance Krona attack. The game is quickly heating up as both sides have chances, but neither team can put one in the back of the net. The match looks like it would end with a draw before extra time, but no one has been able to find that killer goal yet. The fourth official signals that there is only one minute left in the game. The coaches of both teams are on their feet, urging for one last chance to break the deadlock. Malmo's Sren Reeks takes a powerful shot from outside of the area, but Armakadura makes a diving save to keep the score tied at 3-0. There is a palpable sense of urgency as Lance Krona press forward in search of a late winner, with Kofi Fosuhinasari threading in deep passes to no avail. Malmo maintain their composure and look to hold on, as time slowly ticks away and neither team capitalizes on any game-changing moments. Finally, the referee blows his whistle signaling the end of the match it's 3-0 after extra time and Lance Krona take the win. Lance Krona's midfielders and forwards, Camille Jabara and Usman Jawara, are pushing forward in an aggressive attack. Nolan Laudon and David Edvardson work together to move the ball up the field into Malmo's defensive territory. Kofi Fosuhina Sari and Adam Ignell pick up on the momentum and make a quick pass to Usman Jawara as he quickly weaves his way through Malmo's defenders to receive the ball. The crowd holds their breath in anticipation for what could be an incredible goal from Lance Krona, but Anton Tinnehome from Malmo intervenes quickly to snatch the ball from Diawara's feet. Tinnehome's quick reflexes are applauded by both teams' fans with a huge round of cheers for his efforts. Ladies and gentlemen, we've heard the final whistle in this breathtaking match between Lance Krona is and Malmo FF. After a fantastic game of courage, strategy, skill and lots of passion from both teams, it is Lance Krona is who will be taking part in Europe's premier club competition the Europa Conference League. This momentous win represents a huge accomplishment for the team. Throughout this competition they have shown resilience, determination and excellence qualities that will undoubtedly help them compete in Europe. Further to this great success for the team, the city of Landskrona can now bask in their achievement with pride. And many more fans across Sweden are now sure to catch Bud for Landskrona Boas. It has been another incredible night of football, congratulations to Landskrona Boas on bringing home this amazing victory. Ladies and gentlemen, we've heard the final whistle in this breathtaking match between Lance Krona is and Malmo FF. After a fantastic game of courage, strategy, skill and lots of passion from both teams, it is Lance Krona is who will be taking part in Europe's premier club competition the Europa Conference League. This momentous win represents a huge accomplishment for the team. Throughout this competition they have shown resilience, determination and excellence qualities that will undoubtedly help them compete in Europe. Further to this great success for the team, the city of Landskrona can now bask in their achievement with pride. And many more fans across Sweden are now sure to catch Bud for Landskrona Boas. It has been another incredible night of football, congratulations to Landskrona Boas on bringing home this amazing victory.
Du har lyssnat på Drömmar om Europa. Presenterat av Olset. Ett spel från svenska spel, sport och casino. För dig över 18 år. Stödlinjen.se